that's my life now. Just an old toothless hobo. Guess I have to eat tapioca, tapioca pudding for the rest of my life. Yeah, those dreams are not fun. I literally had that dream yesterday. Or last night. But it's funny. The more I have the dream, the more, like... Because last night, it, it having that dream, I almost, like... It almost sent me into a lucid state. Because, like, I was, I was dreaming that I was spitting out my teeth, but then a part of my brain was like, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't panic. My teeth are actually fine. This is probably just a dream. I remember having that thought in my dream. It didn't wake me up, though. Or send me into a lucid state, but it, like, calmed me down. I was like, no, my teeth are fine. Are we back? Yo, what's the fuck? What the fuck's happening? Are we good? I look away for one second while I tell you about my fucking stupid tooth dream and suddenly my damn stream breaks. What's happening? You don't control me, says Jum after listening to what I told him to do. We're good, we blipped. Stream died for a second. Okay, well, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Still never reset the router? Yeah, I keep forgetting to do that. We keep forgetting to do that. I don't know if it would work, though. I mean, maybe. That's the only thing I can think of, because our internet has actually been very good in the two years that we've been here. I've had no, like, actual issues. It rarely goes out. Um, like, never. It never goes out. I can't remember the last time my internet went out. I thought it was me because I'm on a mobile in a bunker, but nope, still sugar. <laughs> Damn, that's, that's saying something, huh? Man, my internet's usually good. It's very weird. Did you guys hear my thrilling, enthralling story about my my dream where my teeth fall out and I have to spit them out into my hand? Or was that lost to the blip? Are you dreaming about teeth? Dreaming about feet. Naturally, Jum is dreaming about feet, dude. <laughs> Listen. Yo, let's not let's not bring the feet back into the conversation, all right? We can't bring the my, or the feet back into the conversation because uh, my man Moonlit is in the chat, and I'm gonna actually have a stroke if he opens up his wallet again. Now you see, li literally, wh what was I saying? The second I said something, there's Moonlit. Yo, seriously, no, don't do it. I'd feel bad. I would actively feel bad if you gave me any more money. At least wait like a month. Replenish your replenish your stocks. Can I do it? I need my fix. No. No. I shouldn't have even said anything, dude. I should not have. We should just start playing the game, honestly. Let's throw a little marbles. Let's play a little marbles, chat. By the way, Jump, great news, bro. We actually have another day in our sponsorship. That means you can download it. Let's go, dude. Yo, we got Adam in the chat. Let's go. Looks like the stalling worked. Fishing time, season 54. Wow, they got seasons. Whoa, they... Yo, they, they changed this up. Marble's got an update. Okay. Okay. There's a Grand Prix now? Tilted. Bloop. Marble up. I don't even know what that means. Let's just do a little race. Let's do a little race, yeah? Pick a random race with viewers. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's run some marbles. Let's run some marbles, chat. Exclamation point join to play, or actually exclamation point play to play. Let's 
song request is now playing? I hope not. Wait. <laughs> Exclamation point place shares a command with stream elements. It's joy? No, it's not. It's play. Wait. Yeah, no, it's play. Stream Elements? Excuse me? Yeah, I think uh, Stream Elements is having a little tit because apparently that's the same. Uh, apparently Stream Elements also shares the uh, exclamation point play command. But it's fine. We could ignore Stream Elements. Nothing's actually happening. We're talking about the measurement. Teeth thing got to the point where another one of my teeth actually chipped IRL. I said, fuck this nonsense. I just took a metal file and filed it down a little bit so it didn't cut my tongue. Ah! Oh my god, that's horrible, dude. Jesus. That sounds painful, bro. Are you okay? Are we spinning today? Yeah, most likely, Adam. We will most likely be spinning today because we will be finishing Omori today. In fact, maybe we'll just spin now. You know what? After after a, a couple of marble runs, I'm gonna go ahead and spin the wheel, just so that we know what uh, what to expect for uh, next week. All right, chat. Everyone who's joined has joined, right? No one else is in here. Let's do it. Where's my marble? It's been a while. Let's see if my little marble still has it. I forgot how to control this fucking thing. You will excuse me. Man, I start all the way at the end? That's some bullshit, dude. What? What is it? Why do I have to start all the way back there? That's not fair. Come on, bro. Whatever. You guys need the uh, handicap, honestly. I'm so good at marbles that the handicap is actually necessary. I'll be there before you guys can even say titty. Never mind, apparently Zetel. Zmarb is making a hell of a comeback today. I am on his ass though. Zmarb is making a comeback. Looks like he wants to start this season on strong, but I am right at his tail, nipping at his butt. Zetel, I'm coming for you, brother. Someone news is trying to catch up, but he cannot just, he cannot match the pure velocity that me and Zetel are bringing to this rate race. Folks, we have a good one on our hands. Everyone else is kind of lagging behind here. Adam and Moonlit, a newcomer to the marbles race, struggling a little bit. Maybe he can find his groove, but it seems like, wait a minute. Someone new is catching up to me, which I find to be quite bullshit. You better stop cheating. Zetel, you're going to have to wait for us, man. I don't know how you're up so fucking far right now, but you need to calm down. Oh, my God. He's going through blazing, blazing breakneck speed. I have slowed my marble. Please don't get stuck. Just go through. Babe, get away from me. My own girlfriend threatening to take my second place spot because the Z health has a, apparently been practicing. Oh, who's taking second? Oh, who's taking second? Snowbound me. Oh, oh, let's go. I'll take second. Honestly, that's fine. I'll, I'll take second. That's a good start. Z Marb apparently uh, has been practicing on his off time. He's really, he's really raring to go. Jump, of course, his slow ass. The last one to join the fray. Not bad, not bad. I think we all knew Jum was gonna be last, let's be honest. It's cause you didn't deuced. Jum, did you deuced at all? You deuced it too early, that's what it is. You deuced it way too early, bro. <laughs> if I download marbles, how the fuck do I join? You don't have to download marbles. Yeah, you can join at any point. You just type in exclamation point play. You don't have to download marbles. That's the beauty of marbles. All right, we'll do one more. We'll do one or two more, and then we will uh, we'll spin that wheel back there. We'll decide what we want to do after that.
Exclamation point play if you want to play. I'll have you know that the only reason I got second place there and not first was because I had a candy cap. All right. Just so you know. Do not be fooled, chat. I had a handicap that time. This time I'm starting right in the middle. Maybe. Yo, what did I say about opening your wallet, Moonlit? What the actual fuck with the 15 gifted snipes, bro? An actual tear. Bringing his Gatling gun once again. Blasting our fucking sub all the way up to 95. Holy shit. We're literally almost at 100 gifted subs. What the fuck is happening, bro? Brother, I told you to I told you to give it a month. You gotta you gotta <laughs> you gotta replenish the, the coffers. <laughs> Yo, let's go, dude. Moonlit making it rain yet again, dude. Another 15 gifted subs. We're almost at a hundred subs, bro. I did it while you were playing a game this time. <laughs> You fucking mad lad, dude. I told you to cl keep your wallet closed today, man. This always happens. When someone ends up giving me what I feel is too much money, I, I end up feeling guilty about it, you know? Like, this is too much support. I feel bad. Like, I'm not, I'm not worth this much money, dude. Regardless, I appreciate it, obviously. But, uh, you know, just... Just... Yeah, yeah, if you want, maybe next month. Maybe next month. You work a little bit, refill them coffers. And if you want, at that point, you can give me a little bit more. Yo, lady dies a lot. I see you in chat. How you doing, bro? Welcome on in. You trying to play, lady? Exclamation point play. We're playing uh, not for gamble cubes yet. Although we can if somebody wants to set up a gamba. Am I in the wrong stream? <laughs> Yo, Luca, you're not in the wrong stream, okay? We're stalling for a little bit. I wanted to stall because, honestly, I was waiting for Adam. I was waiting for Adam and Viren because uh, uh, I wanted to play Omori, but I started a little early, so I felt bad. We're going to be playing Omori in just a second, Luca. We're going to do this last game right here, um, and then we're going to spin that wheel back there to decide what our next game is going to be. And then we're hopping right into the Omori action and we're finishing it today. I knew the spell would work. Yo, Zmarb has come back in with a vengeance, dude. <laughs> come on, Sugar, you deserve it. I appreciate that. Thanks for being sweet. It just it, it feels it just feels like like I don't, you know? I'm not a big big boy streamer and donos like that are reserved in my mind for big boy streamers so whenever i get it like you know once it's you know okay cool and then once it starts getting to like a lot i feel i feel guilty i feel personally responsible for the you know the mental anguish of uh of the person's financial advisor in this case um, <laughs> in this case, my man's my man Moonlit's financial advisor. Do I uh, do I actually have to launch the marble? No. Nah. Thanks again for the fifteen. Uh, thanks again for the fifteen gifted. My man Moonlit, I appreciate that. Don't get it twisted, okay? I definitely appreciate all the all the support. I just personally feel bad after a while. Imposter syndrome will fuck you up. Yeah, maybe. Yo, Hunter, how you doing? Don't worry, my oil factories won't dry, won't run dry anytime soon. <laughs> okay, dude. All right. All right. If you say so, brother. I mean, if you've got oil factories, you probably do got a lot to spare. Uh, seriously, man. All jokes aside, thank you. It's a big, massive gift. After yesterday's massive gifts, I mean, I'm going to run out of ways to thank you at this point. I appreciate you, man blowing away our uh blowing our way our daily goal by the way once again feels good all right we're gonna start the, this last game here um 
Hunter, we're playing... Uh, well, first of all, welcome to the Twitch chat. Also, we're playing marbles. If you want to join, just type in exclamation point play. I'll give you exactly 10 seconds. Exclamation point play, and then you can... There you go. There you are. Perfect. All right. Looks like the racers are ready. We got another circle uh, here, and then another... Uh, this actually looks a lot like the last one that we played. Uh, this time, though, chat, you're going down. All right, I've warmed up. Z-Marb has wasted his spell. I'm also going to exclamation point deuced. Boom. You guys are fucked now. I deuced it. I deuced it all over the place. <laughs> It's the marbling time. <laughs> what is this game? It's called uh, Marbles. It's like a race, like a little marbles race. Yo, what did I say, by the way? Yo, what did I say? I'm in it to win it. My deuce was perfect. Perfectly timed deuce, bro. No one's even close. Except Hunter, who doesn't even know what this game is. But he's still doing really well. Look at that. Look at that. All these people out in the Goonies. Meanwhile, I'm straight up in the front. Hunter, you better not steal my spotlight. I swear to God. I had a perfect deuce. A more perfect deuce does not exist. I basically... Oh my God. People are taking dives. See you later, babe. See you, someone new. I guess you're someone old now. Yo, Hunter, get off my dick. We're winning this one. What I say, bro, I'm here to win. This is a new season of marbles. A new sugar. Z-Telf. Z-Marb still actually holding it up in front, bro. Third place, a first place finish, and a, and a third place finish. I mean, our front runners are definitely showing themselves today. Me at first, Hunter on uh, at second. z -Telf third. Bit Bite fourth. Cat Tachibana fifth. And then everyone else is out in the Goonies. Unfortunately, someone using Cosmic Kitten uh, decided to bite the dust. They did not finish. Uh, just be better, babe. Come on. Get on this level, babe. What is that? You're embarrassing me. Top three is pretty good. Top three is pretty good, especially after a top two finish right after that. I mean, damn, you're, you're showing up. You're showing up today. Another one bites the dust. No shot. Jum, you were last place last time and you're ninth place this time. Your deuce game is off, brother. You got a deuce like me, dude. That deuce at the very beginning is pivotal. It's like the Mario Kart start. You know, like in Mario Kart, if you if you press the button at the right moment, you, you start with a boost. That's why you gotta you gotta time it perfectly for that deuce. Get you that uh, you know initial burst of momentum. <laughs> I forgot that we had a command called deuced. <laughs> I'm the best deucer? I don't know, bro. I'm going to give you one more shot, all right? Jum, you got one more shot to prove your deucing. Why is it always the same map? No, hold on. Oh, I want a, I want a different map. I want a different map. I want one that doesn't start with a circle. Castle Siege. Castle Siege sounds pretty dope. Let's do that one. All right, last one for today, chat. Damn, this one's kind of cool. We're playing pinball at the very beginning and then uh, we come down here and it's a mad dash to the end there Exam exclamation point play the join guys exclamation point play to join you have precisely 30 seconds after this one all right after this one we're gonna have to do the finale of course, the, the one for all the marbles, uh, the Battle Royale, um, which is customary, of course. This is the first, this is the first preseason, it's the preseason playoffs right now, okay? 
for marbles, our marbles champion, and uh, we gotta we gotta start start it off right. Let's see who's taking the belt for the preseason. Gamba is up. If you're on Twitch, Gamba is up. Uh, if you want to gamble your hard-earned internet points, um, you can go ahead and do that. What's the Gamba, by the way? What what are the Gamba rules? Aren't you supposed to play Omori? <laughs> yes. And we are going to be play, playing Omori, okay? Does the deuce actually do every, anything? Of course. The deuce is the most important thing. If you don't deuce correctly, you're never going to win. Only the best deucers show up at the top of the leaderboards. If I get to top three... I'm kind of on a tear. I don't know. You would have won that bet the last two times. We'll see if you win it this time. Well, uh, probably not actually, because I can't gamble my points. It's banned in my country. No. <laughs> Rip, dude. Ripping pepperonis, man. You're not alone, though. There's plenty of people in chat that for some reason you can't gamble uh, your internet points, which is a crying shame. A crying shame, dude. I mean, they're just internet points. They really, literally don't mean anything. All right, chat. We're starting now. Gamba is up. Gamba is up and running. Uh, I would tell you to be a believer, but I kind of, I think I've ran through all my juice. There's no way I'm getting top three again, right? Just kidding. Of course I am. As long as I deuced with maximum efficiency. Now. Man, I, I actually think I might have been too early that time. My deuce might have been too early, bro. Oh, no. I'm back in the Goonies. I knew it. My fucking deuce was too early. Shit. Shit. All right, it's still not over. Wait, holy shit. They're getting sieged. Wait, it's anyone's game, bro. Well, how am I all the way in the back? God damn, my deuce was fucking shit. Yo, you are... <laughs> Everyone is getting pelted here. I'm surprised no one has died. Who's in front? Who's in front? Moonlit in front with Kat Tachibana trying to make a name for themselves. Someone has apparently died. Hunter, RIP, the first one to bite the dust. It seems the castle siege was a little too much for Hunter to take. Uh, Salty Sugar making his way to the front, surely but slowly, uh, dodging all of the castle sieges. Adam Q in first place, but looks like he's struggling to make any headway here with this absolute barrage of bombs that is going down. Holy shit, we got a long way to go, folks. It is anyone's game. Cosmic Kitten hitting an explosive barrel, going all the way back to the back. Oh my god, Cosmic Kitten had a chance here, but it seems like she has also dropped the ball. Jesus Christ, she's back here with me. Babe, this is not the time. Come on, dude. I know we do everything together, but this is ridiculous. Couple, we gotta do better than this, man. Let's pull through. You and me, babe. We we still got this. It's it's anyone's game. Oh my God! Toro Shin wiped out from the face of the earth in first place. Jum trying to prove that he's got the deucing potential to be number one. Someone new right at his tail. It is still literally anyone's game. I mean, God damn! What the fuck? We're gonna be here for 35 minutes. How long is this fucking game? Holy shit. Bro, I don't think anyone's gonna make it. Did I get smited? I don't know. Let's see. Jump in first place. Oh my god. Holy shit, jump. Oh my god. He got sent to the fucking nether realm. Yo, jump got sent from first place all the way down to the fucking sunken zone people are dying left and right i can't even tell who's still alive i think katachibana did in fact bite the dust as well it looks like i'm playing the slow and steady game here a strategy that might actually pay off for me jum is trying to copy oh no that's fine that's we still win these we still win these it's okay. Look, it's a smart strategy. I'm letting everyone else take the bombs ahead of me so that I, I have a, a smooth sailing ahead, you know? Nothing but smooth sails. 
everyone else is taking all the heat and then i'm gonna come in from from behind i'm gonna be like that fucking uh like you know when someone like bowls with both of their hands and like sends the bowling ball like as slow as they possibly can and they still get a strike that's gonna be me wait a minute snowbound whale is taking advantage of the bombs first one i've ever seen with this strategy using the the concussive blast to propel herself forward incredible strategy here peacemaker flew a little too close to the sun god damn it icarus you should have known snowbound whale once again taking it to the top using the concuss concussive force to go forward but it seems like she's having a little trouble here everyone else is still all the way in the back my girlfriend has somehow made it to the front wait a minute she's in here to win it taking first place apparently she uh she really took what i said to heart she was really offended by what i said she left me but what am i doing what am i doing bro how am i all the way back here bro i'm all the way to the beginning of the fucking map can we get some momentum shuggy ball please bro how do you take fucking second place and then first and then leave it like this bro that deuce really fucked me over apparently my god yo moonlit all the way in front now wait a minute uh oh it's about to be decided here chat who's gonna take first place who is gonna take first place moonlit is all the way in front someone used i mean this is like it's crazy how much it shifts one second you're in first the next second you're like treading water all the way in last snowbound whale has met my fate used all of her momentum a little too early jum proving he is actually not the king of deucing has moonlit already won We had even wait. I think he did. Did he? I don't see him anywhere. I think he did. I think Moonlit. I think Moonlit has taken first place somehow. While I took my eye off of him for a split second, he has made it all the way to the first place. Not bad. All right, but hey, uh, don't be too don't be too sad, my betters. Okay, it's still anyone's game. I can still make it to third if I play my cards right. Oh no. Babe, you're going the wrong direction. Babe, you're, you're going the wrong direction. Oh my God, Jump's taking third. No way. No way. No way Jump pulls it through and makes it to third place. Where am I? I got bit by the fucking dust, dude. Rigged. Fucking rigged, dude. You know it's rigged when literally Jump with his awful deucing skills somehow makes it the third place i mean that's just that's rig bro moonlit congratulations a first time in the marble championship looking like he's going to make a, a name for himself taking first place with plenty of time to spare uh, someone news uh, is uh, definitely no stranger to the marbles but uh, it seems like he is also here to play jump with his disgusting deucing ability somehow managed to make a third uh, place squeak and then snowbound will who had all the momentum in the beginning has uh, you know has fizzled out a little on fourth place but uh, at least she did better than quite literally everyone else who uh, died <laughs> dead last my god I request the rematch <laughs> I got second place in uh, half the game. I was taking care of a cat. I mean, now that's impressive right there. Good job to all the winners. Um, unfortunately, this don't mean shit because now, now we're playing for all the marbles. Okay. Keep in mind, this is a preseason, a preseason game that we're having here. All right. We are in the preseason. This isn't technically the first game of the season. We're just... Uh, you know we're warming up but uh there is there can't be a marbles championship without of course the battle to take it all chat this is for all the marbles scarlet specter forest sounds kind of cool we'll do it here all right chat this is the one that actually matters 
for all the marbles. Who's going to take it home today? It's a battle royale. A fight to the death. May the best marble win. Let's see who's going to be the last one standing. Are we on one day left? Uh, for what? The sponsorship? Yes. I was mistaken earlier when I said today was the last day. Uh, we actually have one more day for it. Um, so... While we're waiting for people to join, uh, I guess this is a great time, considering that I do actually still have time to say that this week's streams are sponsored by Honkai Star Rail. If you want to help out the channel, we have three goals available for you, one of which is as easy as downloading the game and pressing start. Quite literally, that's all you got to do. Download the game, press start game, you count for that first goal. The other two goals are getting to level four and level eight. Um, but uh, yeah, if you wanted to help out the channel, this is a great way to do it. It's free, easy, only requires a, a little bit, of, a little bit of space, tiny bit. You won't even feel it. Such a small amount of space. Gamba is up, all in on the Gamba. Now that's a not, that's never a good idea, Zetel. Brother, you never want to be all in on the Gamba. That's how you lose your life savings. All right. Remember what mother told you, Z-Marb. <laughs> Alright, chat. This is the one for all the marbles. Pun completely intended. Whoever wins this gets to take home the marble championship belt, which I still have not made. But I'll, I'll, I'll make an actual asset for the season this time, the real season, which is going to start next week. This is just a little taste of uh, what you can expect on come day. Which is, uh, I guess now is another great uh, another great time to say that we are, in fact, having a come day next week, chat. We have earned it. I have streamed successfully for three weeks. We did a sponsored stream. You guys pulled through. So we've earned ourselves a nice, long, thick come day. And we're going to be having it next week on Saturday. Um, same time, same place. We'll be doing this. Uh, we're going to officially start the season of marbles. This is just a preseason game. That's why it's pretty short. We've only had three games, so. Next week, we're starting the actual season. We'll do that. We'll probably play some garlic phone. Um, and yeah, maybe we'll see what else we can do. What are we playing? What? Uh, on come day? Uh, like I said, we'll be playing marbles. We'll be playing... Um, We'll be playing uh, Garlic Phone, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what we do. If we have time, maybe we can do some more Fall Guys or something. That's always fun. Um, but yeah, it's going to feel good to have Come Day back. We'll do some reacts. I think we can do some reacts. Actually, I'm not sure if I can react on YouTube. That might be a quick way to get my fucking channel banned. I'll have to I'll have to get back on back to you on that. Oh, I bet you can't wait to come together as a community and play games together i'm excited too all right chat for all the marbles let's see who's taking the marbles championship belt i unfortunately have not been lucky enough to take that belt home with me not even once uh, but we have i think a couple of people in here have taken it home once including zetel you've taken the belt home once right zetel let's see who wins for all of the marbles, that's right, every single one of them. All right, they're off, folks. The battle has commenced, and it is already getting bloody. Bitbike is literally almost dead already, dude. Trying to take out... Uh, Jum is actually on a tear right now. Blue, oh, my God, he's blowing Bitbike out of the water. z -Telt not looking too hot either. Situation. We already have a top 10 situation. Good Lord, it is a massacre out here. I can't even keep up with all the action that's going on. Peacemaker holding on by a thread. Snowbound Well's thread is even tinier than Peacemaker's. It seems that Snowbound Well has been taken out by Moonlit. And then Moonlit went out and to take out Jum right after. Moonlit seems to be on a tear today. He is looking to win his first championship belt. Holy shit. What happened to me? Am I dead? Wait, I'm still in it. Wait, I'm still in it. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where, where the fuck am I? Am I dead? No, I'm dead, actually. Never mind. I fucking died. I fucking died, dude. 
Oh my we God. Have a winner. Yo, Peacemaker. I, I literally happened so quick. I couldn't even fucking keep track. Apparently, Peacemaker is the bloodiest marble of them all. Good Lord. Holy shit. What a preseason finale. I cannot believe my my eyes man in my 26 years of marbles broadcasting i've never seen a bloodier battle things happen so quick i could barely keep up now that is an incredible incredible win give it up for your winner peacemaker let's go dude congratulations you have won the marbles championship belt for the week uh, you will have to return it of course next week when we have our season one uh our actual season you know premiere games Congratulations, the marble butt is yours, Peacemaker. Take it home, show it off to all your friends. Uh, be sure to text your mom, she'll be very proud of you. Um, and yeah, congratulations. I mean, give it up. Give it up. Did I kill four people? I think you did. Hunter and uh, <laughs> Hunter and Moonlit were literally blowing people up, man. They, uh, they killed people so quick, I couldn't even keep up. Another second place. Let's see the final results. Let's see, Hunter, you blew through the, the, the rounds here. You had the most kills, four eliminations, 125 damage from Hunter. Moonlit was also on a tear with two eliminations and 116 damage. I mean, he kind of was, was throwing it back out here, bro. Peacemaker only had one only had one elimination, but it was the only one that mattered because it nailed him that first place. Great job, everybody. Uh, regardless if you died, everybody did well, except for Kat Tachibana, who got dead last and did zero damage. Never mind, actually. It seems like Scooby did the least amount of damage. 15, but still somehow managed to outlive, outlive both Bitbike and Kat Tachibana. Hey, yo, dead last. Come on. <laughs> it's okay, Kat. Don't worry. Look, this is the preseason. This was the preseason, you know... Just to get the hype up for next week's real start of the season where things actually matter. All right. You enjoy your preseason belt, Peacemaker. Next week, I'm coming for that ass. I am going to win me that damn belt this season. If it's not, if it's the last thing that I do, bro, that belt is coming home. That belt is coming home. All right. Great job, competitors. I hope you worked up a sweat. I hope you worked up a sweat, and I hope you, that you're ready for next week's uh, Come Day Royale, where we will have an actual, an actual tournament. I I literally always forget how to leave this fucking game. How do I leave? There you go. All right, never mind. Simple. Okay. I literally just killed Hunter. <laughs> That's the only one you needed to kill. <laughs> All right, chat. We're going to be playing Omori now. We're going to be finishing the game. But before we do that, it's time to spin the wheel of destiny. The wheel god will decide our fate for whatever game that we're going to play next. All right. I got to make a couple of changes here. I got to make a couple of changes here. Okay, first of all, Omori. Officially done. We can take that off. Place of Omori, we're going to play. Time to get my fix, baby. It's Adam's favorite time of the fucking stream. The only reason he's here, some might say. Okay. Okay, what are we gonna place replace Omori with? Um, ba -da -ba 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 What did you guys say that you wanted me to play? Uh, crime scene cleaner could be fun. I I heard a lot of people wanted me to play. Thank goodness you're here. Core keeper is my own personal pick. I'm gonna replace Zeno with one of these. 
I think I'm gonna please I'm gonna replace Zeno with Core Keeper. Okay. Firewatch, thank goodness you're here, please. Are we doing lamb? Lamb's already on the list. Lamb is already on the list. <laughs> okay, I think thank goodness you're here. We'll play it. Jesus Christ. Thank God you're not seeing what I wrote. I literally just misspelled the word thank. How, how do I misspell the word thank? Okay, thank God you're here is now on the list, chat. Now, I think I wanted to replace one of these at least. I think I might replace... Wow! Health and wellness, we'll do that as soon as we uh, spin the wheel. Maybe I'll do it while we spin the wheel. I think I want to replace Ban Ban. I think I want to replace Ban Ban because I want to save that for our Spooktober extravaganza. Maybe Void Stranger? I think we already have Void Stranger. We have a Void game in here. Firewatch, I love being a sweaty dude from the Midwest. Are you not a sweaty dude from the Midwest? Firewatch is a good one. Firewatch... I've been told Firewatch is a walking simulator. Is that true? Would it be worth it? Would it be something you guys even want to see me play? I might. I think I'm gonna do Crying Steam Cleaner. This seems like it'd be a fun game to play with you guys. And I can get definitely get some content out of a game like Crying Steam Cleaner. I think we'll replace Beginner with Crime Steam. I've heard beginners, uh, beginners guide or beginner whatever. Like it's a good game, but okay. Prime Team Cleaner, yeah, that looks like it's gonna be a fun game to play. Okay, so we now have on this list, thank God, Prime Team Cleaner. Thank God, I. I actually put thank god backwards, but whatever, it's fine. It is the walking sin. It's advanced walking. <laughs> Firewatch can be finished in one stream. Damn, I don't know I had so many Firewatch uh, enjoyers in chat today. I play Wukong. I did want to play Wukong. Be formed on Steam. This was okay. Single player horror game set in an underground lab, kill monsters, and escaped. This actually seemed interesting, but I think we want to save this for Halloween. Horror Souls like with gun. Should we save this for Halloween? This actually looks pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie. I did actually want to play this. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna save this for Halloween now. That's gonna be a good one to do for Halloween. We've got a lot of Halloween games. Save all horror for Halloween? Yeah, I agree. 
Chat, do you really want me to play Firewatch? Will you really sit here and watch me play a fucking walking simulator? Be honest. Keep it a buck with me. Keep it a buck. And I mean a buck. Not a quarter, not a nickel, not a dime. Keep it a buck. Not really. <laughs> so Adam's not in. Kat Tachibana wants it. Jump's keeping it a buck. I request you save Crooked Man for Halloween. Okay. It's not on the list currently, so we can do that. Little Nightmares is better. We, uh, we've played all the Little Nightmares. We're actually anxiously awaiting Little Nightmares 3. Um, I'm going to be playing that with my girlfriend more than likely. Good game. I don't want to watch it. Maybe because I watched it already. <laughs> Will you play Reanimal when it comes out? Reanimal is actually on my list. Yes, it is. I am anxiously awaiting that one, too. to kick when I'm in your closet. Another one? Yo, that closet is getting fucking... That closet is getting crazy. Hold on. Let me see what people are on are playing right now on the old Twitch. League of Legends. Oh, I'm going to put League on here. Let's play League, chat. Let's become a League streamer. League of Legends. Perfect. Might as well throw Valorant on there as well. Okay. You can be a Val streamer. Valorant. I will leave forever and not come back. <laughs> All right. What are people playing? Black Ops 6 apparently is out. Let's become a Black Ops streamer, huh? Grand Theft Auto 5. Let's just do role play. Wait. We can do role play. Wukong. I want to play this shit, dude. I'm all, the only thing I'm scared about from Wukong is that I think it's going to be a long game, but it still seems really cool. I might put Wukong on this list, chat. Actually, I will, but I, I will actually put uh, Wukong on this list. Okay, Wukong's on this list. Uh, Ban Ban, we're gonna save for Halloween. Let's replace Ban Ban with something. Maybe Firewatch. I mean, Firewatch, uh, apparently Firewatch is a classic. <laughs> Wait, Star Wars Outlaws is out? Hmm, y'all think this game's gonna be any good? Hmm, Star Wars Outlaws could be fun, but that might be also something that I play with my girlfriend on the couch. I feel like it's ass. Salt, uh, sugar about to become salty salt with League. <laughs> There's going to be no sugar. No sugar involved. <laughs> Only thing sweater than a League streamer is an Escape from Tarkov streamer. Even better. Firewatch is a $20 game. You mean to tell me we can finish this in one stream? Is it interesting at least? It's four hours long. Oh, that $20 per four hour ratio. It's not a very good ratio. It has a very good story. All right, so this will definitely be a one stream game. Honestly, I'll put it on. I've, I've been interested in playing this game since it came out fucking eight years ago. And apparently it's really good. I'm going to do it.
at the end of the day, even if you don't want to watch it, it's a one stream game. So, okay. I think we are good here. Princess, we got Crime Simulator, we got Obra Din, we got Rain World, Animal Well, Ultra Kill, Wukong, Firewatch, Fierce to Fathom. That's a. Is Fierce to Fathom also a horror game? This is a horror game. Yeah, okay, we'll save that for for Halloween too. Our Halloween uh, our Halloween lineup is going to be stacked. Watch is picked. Salty needs to not bathe for a week and a half for that authentic hiking aroma. But what do you mean not bathe for a week and a half? I already have that. I already have that aroma. That just comes with being a gamer. Okay, uh, and now we need to replace that with something. What should we replace that with? Didn't we just look at a game that had like really good reviews that I said I was interested in playing? Damn it, why can't I remember? I feel like just yesterday someone recommended a game. I don't know why I didn't put it on my list. No, it's not it's not furry Hitler, dude. Bad Ben. <laughs> Yo, wait. Bad Ben, dude. There were like 35 games like this. <laughs> Maybe we put Bad Ben on here. Or I could put Metal Gear Revengeance. Night in the Woods? No. Darkest Dungeon. Maybe I should put Darkest Dungeon back on here. Okay, we need just one more game, chat. One more game. One more game, 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 one more game. Still wakes the deep. That's a horror game too, right? Still, still wakes the game or still wakes the deep is a horror game, right? I'll probably save that for Halloween if it is. But I'll put it on the list as well. I mean, it's already on here. It is okay. It's a one-stream game. Also, welcome, Viren. You are just in time to see the almighty wheel spin. Okay, I can't really think of another another game that's not horror that I want to put on here at the moment. So I think. I might just put, I might double up on one of these games. One of the ones that I really want to play. Maybe Princess. Yeah, I mean, I got a lot of games here. For some reason though, I don't know why, why do we have so many horror games? There's so many horror games here. Battle Brothers could be fun. Tactical isometric combat. Battle Brothers, huh? Shit, dude. I, I could have sworn that we just looked at a game that had really good reviews. Just the other day. I don't know why I didn't put it on my damn... Oh wait, this is this is like a strategy game, right? Turn-based tactical RPG. Yeah, I don't know about this, dude. 
me and games like this do not get along. Yeah, me and games like this do not get along. Because you were on that horror game grind. <laughs> <laughs> I am pissing and shitting right now. Well, you better have a fucking bucket. There's gonna be a lot of piss and shit. Just finished Dark and Dungeon. The, the Wolf Among Us? I already played it. The Wolf Among Us was amazing, though. I would love to play a new one. I'm gonna put Princess on here again, chat. We're gonna double up on Princess. I really wanna play Princess. And it's been on this list for a while. Yeah, everything else is just... Everything else is just straight up fucking horror. Just horror everywhere. Horror and then Noida. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but horror and then Noida, which I'm still not... I'm still not ready for. I'm gonna have to set up for Noida. That 160 fucking hour game. I'm putting Princess in again. We're doubling up on Princess, dude. All right. The list has been completed. It is time to spin this wheel. Felvid deck. Felvid deck. He says. He knows nothing about it. <laughs> it's a $10 game. What the fuck is this, dude? It's not even in English. It's not even in English. <laughs> kind of looks like... It's another turn-based RPG, almost looking a little, almost looking a little like, uh, almost looking a little like Fear and Hunger. Got translations. It's giving me, it's giving me Fear and Hunger. This screen right here is giving me Fear and Hunger. Yo, that overwhelmingly positive review though, shit came out this year. He's got that piece on him. <laughs> you have about 25 minutes to download Honkai Star Rail and enjoy the game and support Suga. We do need to update time on Discord. Yes, we actually do have one more day, Dem. I fucked up. I fucked up. It turns out that the sponsorship was for eight days and not seven days, which is weird to me. Usually it's always a week. That's why I assumed it was on Saturday, but then I looked and it said eight. There's actually eight days for the sponsorship. So tomorrow at two o'clock is the last day that we can do the sponsorship. All right, chat. Streamer apology for fucking up when? Uh, I'll record the YouTube video as soon as we're done beating Mori, okay? I'll record the YouTube video. I'll get my fake tears up. All right, chat. It's time to spin the wheel. Snowbound will help us help with this, so. Chat, degenerates, non-degenerates alike, it's time to spin the wheel and decide what the hell we're gonna play after Amori, okay? The wheel decides our fate. If you don't like what the wheel decides, well then you can kiss my fat juicy ass and the wheel's ass while you're at it okay first live wheel spin let's go dude <laughs> 
So uh, let's let's decide what the, the wheel. Let's see what the wheel has in store for us. Okay. The games that are currently on there are. Thank God you're here. Void. I forgot what Void stands for. Void might actually be a horror game, but fuck it. Core Keeper, Pumpkin Panic, Family, which of course stands for Cult of the Lamb, Slay the Princess is on there twice, Crime Scene Simulator, Obra Din, Rain World, Animal Well, Ultra Kill, and Wukong. I don't know why, but I feel like it's gonna land on Obra Din. Obra Din? Yeah. Obra Din's on there. I'm a little scared of Obra Din because Dem told me that I might not enjoy, like, the gameplay of Obra Din. But Mini says it's a great game. And also, other people have told me it's a really good game. Um, and at the end of the day, it's like a six hour long game. And it's cheap, so fuck it. Even if I don't like it, it'll only be a, a one stream thing, so. Oberdin is sick, you get to be a ship detective. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll see. It's on the list regardless, all right? Game has cool moments, even if you're Pepega. All right. All right, so let's let the wheel decide, chat. Send your energy to whatever game you want to be chosen. It is finally time. The moment is here. What we're playing after, after um, Omori. Let's find out right now. Oh my god, we're playing Wukong, guys. We're playing Wukong. What an incredible spin, Jesus Christ. Did you see the velocity on it? Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, bro. Yeah. Come on, princess. Come on, princess. Glory to the wheel, God. We're fucking pink. Play Pumpkin Panic too. Pumpkin Panic is the winner. Let's go. Some of you are probably pretty excited about that. Pumpkin Panic has been on this list for a while. Luckily, we're back to horror. Pumpkin Panic is not a horror game. Is it? There's no way that's a horror game. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I was hoping for uh, Princess. Me too. It's on that list twice. I mean, shit. There's not much else we can do in terms of that. Uh, let's check out Pumpkin Panic. Pumpkin Panic. This is not a horror game. Look at this. Ain't no way this is a horror game. Average playtime is 40 to 60 minutes. You know, we might have to spin the wheel again. Not because we're not going to play Pumpkin Panic, but because we're going to need something immediately after Pumpkin Panic <laughs> to play on that stream because a 60 minute game like there's no way. I think we have to choose two games, bro. I think we have to choose two games. I didn't know. I thought it was a four hour game. This is 60 minutes. We're going to finish this in an hour. That's going to take literally no time whatsoever. What do you even do in this game for an hour? It says plant crops, take care of plants, go fishing or whatever you prefer for approximately one hour. Okay. Look, a VTubers played it. You survived. Apparently there's an ending. Okay, so you can survive. All right. All right, well, a 60 minute game and apparently there's an ending. Take sugar time into account, uh, into account. 60 minutes is at least 90 minutes. But even if it is 90 minutes, <laughs> it's still gonna be such a tiny, tiny stream. Okay. All right, all right, all right. 
We're spinning it again. We're spinning it again. Not because we're not playing Pumpkin Panic. The wheel has decided we cannot, we cannot override the wheel. But we're gonna need to play something directly after that. Where the fuck did I put the marker? Shit, I got marker on my fucking finger. All right. Okay, uh, so I say we just put in Princess a third time. <laughs> Let's just keep putting princess on every single on every single slice until it gets chosen. I'm manifesting the princess energy. Princess keeps multiplying. <laughs> I, I say we put honest, I say we put princess in a third time, chat. I mean we were we can't we can't find anything else in this list that's not a horror game and that i actually want to play at this very moment What the hell is Expedition 33? Is that the new one that I put? No, I think that's actually one of the new ones. Yeah, that's one of the ones that haven't come out yet. Never mind. We be princessing? Yeah, I'm gonna put princess in the a fucking third time. Whatever. Princess for a third time. We are manifesting this princess energy. I think honestly putting putting the you know putting the game on more than one slice, I think is a good way to like in case like there's a game that I prefer to play on this list, I can like increase the chances of it landing there you know what i mean and right now i, I want to play princess i mean i've heard great things about it and markiplier played it so i mean i've got to do it at that point right besides straight up just vetoing certain games which i can also do um at any given point man you can't even see princess on that but i need to get the damn black marker or we need another black marker in here you can't even see princess on there but i promise it is it's right here right there okay holy crap chat i mean the degenerates are eating well today it's time already for another wheel spin the wheel god has decided that we are playing pumpkin panic which is totally fine and dandy but we're gonna need some, to do something else directly after that unless you guys want to sit through a fucking hour and a half stream um and that's it but uh Let's see what the wheel has decided for us after Pumpkin Panic. Princess is on here three times. So honestly, if, if Princess doesn't get chosen, I think the wheel god definitely has something against us. Um, but yeah, let's spin this wheel, baby. Bricked up, ready for gambling. Let's fucking go, bro. Come on, Rain World. <laughs> All right. Let's see what the wheel decides. Ooh, that was a juicy spin, baby. I'm twerking for princess. I'm twerking for princess, come on. God damn it, we didn't get fucking princess, but we did get ultra kill. Ultra kill has been chosen. Princess uh, leaves apparently more to be desired okay ultra kill is in fact the next game let's see what we have in store for us i remember thinking that i wanted to play ultra kill so let's see we be ultra killing 
Ultra Kill on Steam. Fast paced, ultra violent, retro FPS combining skill based style scoring character action games with unadulterated carnage inspired by the best shooters of the 90s. It's an early access game. It's a $25 game. That's a, that's a bit of a beefer. Okay, so this is like Doom, Doom type kind of a. Okay. I remember seeing it look pretty interesting. I think I suggested it. I know that uh, Jum also wanted me to play this. Three princesses on the wheel and still didn't get it. <laughs> the wheel, I mean, the wheel decides, dude. The wheel decides. Now let's see time to beat on Ultra Kill. Uh, Ultra Kill is about five and a half hours. Oh my God. How does it go from five and a half to 41 and a half hours. The main story is 543. Main plus extra is about 14. And completionist is 45. All right, we should probably look at the all play styles, which is about 14. Okay, that's about a two stream game. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. It's got overwhelmingly positive reviews and it's got 110,000 of them. So, I mean, it's gotta be a good game. All right, I'm down. Void is Voices of the Void, which is a horror game. Okay. Voices of the, no, 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 this wasn't it. No, Void was something else. Fuck, Void was something else. How'd I forget? Wait, tell me it's on the list. The Voidness. But I think it's also a horror game. A horror survival game, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have to save that one for Halloween too. Okay. Ah, well, when we when we spin it again, we'll take it out. Are we gonna see the first salty sugar speed run? Nah, I don't have the ugh, dude. I don't have an Amy to speed run. Are you kidding me? I don't got that kind of patience. Doing the same thing over again like fifty times. Nah, dude, that is not for me. This seems like a cool one. I kind of uh, I kind of want to play this. Hopefully, it gets chosen on Halloween. I love LiDAR in video games. Yeah, this is a LiDAR type of type of horror game, which seems interesting. Honestly, it seems really cool. All right. We'll probably replace that, though, when the time comes uh, until, uh, of course, Halloween. All right. So there you go, chat. Next week's streams are as follows. We're going to do uh, Pumpkin Panic on Tuesday, followed by Ultra Kill. I mean... We'll probably we probably won't finish ultra kill on tuesday um but we'll probably finish it like if it's a 15 hour game and I, my streams are six hours each we'll probably finish it by like and for sure by the end of the week but maybe even by the second stream of the week we'll see i'm gonna feel silly when we play pumpkin <laughs> why <laughs> is pumpkin a silly game Shiggy time is double. You might have a point. All right. So by the end of the week, for sure. For sure by the end of the week. All right. It's been decided. Chat, the wheel has spoken. Now it's finally time to finish last wheel's game. Omori. <laughs> stall time is over, chat. I don't know how the fuck we managed to stall for two hours on a day that I specifically set out to stall for as little as possible because I wanted to get off early. Uh, joke's on me, I guess. Double the game, double the stall. I'm not beating Pumpkin Panic in 90 minutes. Watch me. Watch me beat it in less than 90 minutes. All right. Let's do it. Let's play some memory. Let's beat this bitch.
Let's beat this bitch. I cannot wait to see the ending of this game. I need answers, okay? I have questions. I need answers. I've been wondering about too many things for too long. I need to know what the hell is going on in this game, okay? Let's do this. I need to heal up. I haven't forgotten. Um, I think... I think she's on the left, right? Mari? Hold on, let me go to Mari real quick. How long to finish Omori place your bets? So last time I was told I was about four hours away from finishing it. But I played for two hours after that. So I'm guessing two hours. Another cheeky save, why not? Depends in depends on the ending. How do I get out of here? Two hour finish in two hours, Gamba. <laughs> you want to run Gambas? I mean, if the if the degenerates are still here to play, yeah, you can Gamba on that. Give me give me two and a half hours. Ooh, a slimy key card. He's guessing too, so let's add three more to that time. Ah, I see you're also becoming acquainted with sugar time, Moonlit. Yum, yum. So, did you want to go downstairs now? Yes. I've got no time to spare. We're on the clock. The Gamba is up, dude. Oh, fuck me. There's literally a heal and a save right there. Doing wonderfully so far on my time here. Just wasting it immediately. Didn't see the previous stream. What's up with the pink whale guy? Uh, kind of hard to explain. It's like a, a monstro situation from Pinocchio. Stop right there. His name is Humphrey, by the way. Stop right there. You can't leave just yet, doll. We just want our payment, darling. Can't you see how upset Marinara is getting? Where's my money, lady? Give me my money. Uh-oh. It's Sweetheart and those sea witches. There's no way we're getting caught in the middle of this. Let's make a run for it. Stop right where you are, children. I must correct you, as you are sorely mistaken. We are not witches, but followers of science. It's a common mistake, I'm afraid. Humans tend to fear what they cannot understand. Besides, I think I know why people think we're witches. Hey, what are you looking at me for? That aside, we have a bigger problem in our hands. That's right, where do you think you're going, sweetheart darling? Yo was a big, big bag of clams. <laughs> I think your three presents are worthy of payment. All I wanted was for you to make me a perfect match. But you've all managed to fail me in three different ways. If you're so insistent to get your worthless clams, let these children cover the charge. Yo, what? Where do you think you're going? Humphrey, stop her now. Just keep your mouth closed. Humphrey. Bro, just keep your mouth closed. Yoo-hoo! I'm here to report that Sweetheart has been disposed of. Whoa. Whoa, what do you mean disposed of? Did you chew her up? The fuck? It's a good thing you asked. I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to hold myself back any longer. Also, this may, or not, may, may, this may or may not surprise you, but Sweetheart had a total balance of zero clams on her. Zero, not a single one. Which is quite unfortunate, as I am getting a bit hungry. That wench double-crossed us! I knew there was something fishy about her. Huh, well, not necessarily. She did say these children would cover the charges. Oh yeah, huh, in that case, she's definitely paid her due. Which parts of them should we sell off first? Don't be such a brute, Marinara. I'm sure she meant the kids would pay us, not that we should sell them. Bit her in half? <laughs> it's Uxie, Azaleaf, and Mess Spirit. Oh, it kind of does look like them, huh? All right, darlings, now be good and hand over your big, big bag of clams. Huh? 
So, uh, yeah, about that. Just curious. How much does she owe you anyway? Well, let's see here. There's consultation fee, initial fee, setup fee, inspection fee, service fee, cost of materials, warranty fee, disposal fee, shipping and handling, gratuity, cancellation fee, damages, late payment fee. So that brings the total charge to about... One million clams. One million clams? We don't have that kind of money. No. Well, that's just too bad. Humphrey, seal the exits. Uh-oh. Are we fighting all three of them? Tough luck, kids. You walked into the wrong whale. Shit! My mother always said I would walk into the wrong whale one day. I should have listened to her. Someone's got to pay for all of this. I would say desperate times call for desperate measures. Don't you agree, sisters? Oh, this one's too pretty to sell. Isn't he, Molly? Well, I like the quiet one. He would make a great pet. Don't you touch him. Let us go now. We didn't do anything wrong. Oh, feisty. I think you'd like this one, Marinara. Foo, 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 foo. <laughs> foo, 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 foo. It's mugging time. <laughs> Aubrey says we can't uh, give away that much money if you have one million clams. Wait. Hold on. It's actually possible to have one million clams. And if you do, Aubrey says we can't give away that much money. That's kind of funny. How the fuck? How dedicated would you have to be to have a million clams? I can't even imagine how you would get a million clams. Eh, well, I guess selling one will just do. Cal! Hey, let me go! If you kids can't pay us in clams, you can pay us with your arms and legs. Cal, no! Let go of me! Put me down! Put me down! Oh. What the heck? He bit me! Good job, Kel. I'll settle down, Marinara. Boop, 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 boop. What is it? Is that a laugh? Who laughs like that? Am, is that a certain sound effect that I've never heard in my life? Bro, who the fuck goes around laughing like that? Foo, 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 foo. It's just a little nibble. You'll pay for this, brat. Well, now it seems like you've gotten Marinara all worked up. Our little prey is biting back. Guys, it looks like we're going to have to fight our way out of this place. Oh, it's a fight you want, is it? It's been a while since my last hunt. Yes, it seems like our prey needs to be disciplined. Someone needs to teach you children some proper manners. For prey, you're all way too piggy. You don't want to be sold. You don't want to be pets. You should. You all should really learn your place. Well, whatever. That's fine with us. There's always another option. <laughs> if you're gonna keep resisting, you leave us with no other choice. I'm afraid we'll just have to turn you into chum instead. Oh no! Attack of the animal waifus! They've got tentacles. Shit! We're screwed. What are we supposed to do against tentacles? Okay, there's one entity. That's good. All right. Uh, uh, what emotion do you think they're going to use on us, chat? Damn, they kinky. <laughs> Dating sim when? <laughs> Bro.
Let's juice a Mori, and we're gonna cook for Aubrey. We're gonna whittle them down until they show what emotion they're working with, and then we're gonna counter. Oh, never mind. We're gonna release the energy right away. Fuck yeah. Go, go, Power Rangers! Let's fuck them up! Slap their titties! Stab them in the in the nipple! Huh, the kids are more resilient than expected. You know what that means. It's time to get serious. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Okay, there we go. They're working with angry. Ay, coño, that was close. And just like that, we're back. Okay, so if they're working with angry, I'm going to want to make everybody happy. I don't know why it's so hard for me to fucking remember what the weaknesses are happy I think it is happy Hear me out. The OST is amazing. Okay, I'll hear you out for that one. You're not wrong. The OST really is incredible. Your chainsaw doesn't bug me. Yo, y'all said the bosses were going to be hard. I'm kind of killing it right now. All right, stab them right in the uh, appendix. You go ahead and use Team Spirit. You hit him with a ricochet. And you go ahead and heal Aubrey for a bit. Damn. Yo, we're fucking them up. Hey, Medusa, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, sister. I think it's about time we switch things up. Just relax, children. This won't hurt a bit. Slime girls did their thing. Heart and juice were swapped. Right, it's a good thing we were all happy. Swap this. Okay, stab them again. Go ahead and counter. Ricochet and you cook up a nice refreshing meal for everybody. Yo, I stab her right in the tit. That's gotta hurt. We're about to get manic, boy. Mori wants to be a pet to a tentacle monster girl as they talked about making the kids into their pets. <laughs> I think we're peering a little too much into Amori's uh, mindscape here. No, not my juice! Yo, what's happening? Ah! Hello? What the hell was that? Oh, they're about to die. That's why. Okay, well. I think we're good here. And we get to release energy. It's over. You kids are a lot tougher than you look. Huh. This is much more trouble than it's worth. Ah, what a predicament. How will we feed Humphrey now? Later, hoes. Later, hoes. Give me your clams. Your, your money, not your, not your actual clan. Never mind. You know what I meant. You know what I meant, chat. Easy peasy. Huh, man, what's wrong with us? This fight should be a piece of cake. Forget hunting. I'm not cut out for this kind of nonsense anymore. I'm just... 
Gonna stick to research from now on. Well, dolls, it seems we are all past our prime. If only we were 200 years younger. <laughs> uh, I'd take their clams? Of course you would, Jump. They probably do have clams. I mean, they got tentacles, so they're probably hiding clams somewhere. Not to alarm you all, but I'm afraid my appetite is getting much, much, much bigger. Yeah, yeah, Humphrey, we got you. Molly, feed Humphrey some clams. Uh, I'm sure I fed them last time. Besides, I used up all my clams on software for the last job. I'm getting hungrier. Okay, fine then. How about you, Medusa? Well, I, I wasn't expecting to feed hungry again so soon. Humphrey again so soon. If memory serves me correctly, isn't it your turn to feed him, Marinara? Oh, wait, is it? I thought it was Molly's turn. I'm pretty sure it was Medusa's turn this time. Well, well, well. It seems you all have run into a bit of a pickle. If you can't feed me, I guess I'll just have to help myself. No, my furniture! What are we gonna do now? Humphrey's gonna digest everything. Uh, perhaps we should plan an escape? We've already expended so much energy. Perhaps it's finally time for us to swim with the fishes. Yo ho! Ah! Yo, he ate them! He fucking ate them! Sorry, Jum, I know you wanted to do that, but it seems Humphrey got there first. Mmm, seafood. Delicious. Humphrey's out of control. How are we gonna get out of here? Keep calm, everyone. Let's go. Let's look for an exit. Why don't we just give him some, some clams? Are we under some kind of time constraint here, or can we explore? Okay. Seems we can't go that way anyway. Locked. Oh, back the way we came. Surely. Humphrey, get your bitch ass out of my way. We're leaving. Calamari. <laughs> Can't have anything in this world. <laughs> You think Amori's into Vor too? Oh, man. My friends, may I say you all look delicious right now. Humphrey, stop this. Haven't you eaten enough? We promise we'll feed you later. But you can feed me now. Just let me eat you. Time to feast. Time to feast. Time for you to be deceased. Please don't eat us, Humphrey. We don't want to be eaten. Well, it's a little too late for that, isn't it? You should have thought of that before you walked into my mouth. <laughs> nyak, nyak. It's no good, guys. I don't know if there's any way out of here. Don't say that, hero. Yeah, we can't let it end like this. Nyak, 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 nyak. Oh, there's no need to struggle, children. Then again, it's always more satisfying when you prepare your own food. Now you all just sit still. The preparations have already been made. Dinner is being served, and you're on the menu. Wait, we can't fight right now. We're fucked. Oh, we got all our health back. That's convenient. Time to feast! Time to feast! Time for you to be deceased! Humphrey! Come on, man! What are you doing? We were friends! Look at that smile! Look at that blank, expressionless smile, bro! I thought that was one of friendship, not one of hunger. I can't believe this is happening to us. You think he's going to be harder than the sea witches? Or should I say the sea bitches? Actually. Definitely start with a stare. No way that Humphrey is going to be harder than the sea bitches, right? Omori stares at Humphrey. Humphrey feels uncomfortable. I love that move, dude. <laughs> Wait, he missed. What the fuck? Bro, are you gonna be easier? I'm gonna laugh if he's actually like a joke compared to everyone else. I 
I guess we just attack. We gotta wait to see what his emotion is. I'm guessing happy. Something about what I'm looking at right now leads me to believe that Humphrey is going to be happy. Okay, that's not too bad. It seems like counter isn't doing much. I would not trust someone who smiles like that. Why not? That's a trustworthy smile. That's the kind of smile your landlord gives you when it's time to evict you. Looks like a cult member for the cult of happiness and teeth. <laughs> he does got some nice pearly whites. He must have a good dentist. All right, I think it's time to do damage. He has been... He has been debuffed enough. Let's tickle him. Hit him with the tickle. Gucci, 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 go! Bop. Okay, I was expecting a little more damage than that. The final fight has just begun, but can you win if we work as one? Uh oh. Oh god, what monstrosity is he gonna- Oh, Jesus, dude. Oh god, bro. What the fuck is that, dude? He grew into the tumor that is growing inside of him right now. I think he just ate his dentist. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean, wood, Jum? What do you mean, wood? He looks like a clump of bubble gum. What the fuck you talking about, wood? I wonder if his uh, his stats are still down. I guess we'll find out now. Diglett, Doug Trio, Humphrey. <laughs> he became cancer. <laughs> Apparently, according to Phantom Eevee, or not Phantom Eevee, according to Thicadius, a lot of whales end up developing cancer, but they're so massive that the cancer cells can't replicate to a point where it's a problem. I think this is the manifestation of those cancer cells. I forgot to pay attention. Did the stair actually bring him down again? I can't remember. Fuck. I guess we'll find out now. God damn it, Humphrey. We were friends. I trusted that smile of yours. I never imagined that something with a face like that. Okay, so it is going down again. I never imagined someone with a smile like that would be capable of hurting me. My trust has been broken. Everything that I know is a lie. My best friend Humphrey is actually here to kill me. Rather, eat me. And not in a good way. I mean, Humphrey, we can still talk this out. You could eat me in the good way. I mean, Jum's here. He'd probably enjoy that. Does Humphrey have emotions? No, you misunderstand. Humphrey is an emotion.
Humphrey never feels sad, happy, or angry. Humphrey just feels Humphrey. Okay, I think I've stared at him enough. It's probably time to start the stabbing procedures. I think it could be in a good way. <laughs> Doing all that in one turn just to make his friends some cookies is pretty impressive. I mean, yeah, his ability to produce cookies out of thin air will never be underappreciated. Hero really is a hero. So we're not we're not doing any emotions? If I knew that, I would have made my own emotions. Looks like he's just... I guess I was right. I guess Humphrey really is the emotion. Humphrey is the ultimate emotion. I mean, I get it. I feel Humphrey all the time. I might even be feeling a little Humphrey right now. Just a warning, it's about to get smelly. It's time for you all to get in my belly. Get in my belly! Oh my God, everything is Humphrey. Wait, what? Aren't we already in his belly? He already ate us. What do you mean we just got double vored? What the fuck? Bro, we got double vored. We're in a new fucking era of vore. What's happening? We were already inside him, and then he ate us from the inside? Isn't that a double negative? Shouldn't we be outside of him now, by logic? We are in his deepest parts. I don't know how to feel about this. Chat, I really don't know how to feel about this. We are in Humphrey's... We are in Humphrey's most deepest parts. Humphrey's the emotion of urge to consume your friends, enemies, furniture, and everything else. <laughs> Yo, Joe, can you stop gooning for Humphrey? Come on, man. You didn't even goon for the fucking, the, the bitch sisters earlier as much as you did for Humphrey. Those bones are said to be the bones of all the characters from all from the previous fights with Humphrey. Oh no. We're not going to become those bones though. We are better than those those bones. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and play it safe. I mean, I've got a million items. I might as well. We're gonna eat a whole chicken. We're going to make fun of Humphrey. We're going to mock Humphrey's hunger by eating an entire chicken in front of him. Don't attack. All right, there you go. Yo, refreshment is really good. As a matter of fact, I like my build a lot, dude. It doesn't matter how quick or how slow. The more you struggle, the deeper we'll go. What, are you going to eat me a third time? Huh? You're going to eat me a third? He literally did. He literally ate me again. Bro, what? What the fuck? Where, where are we now? What part of you even ate me? Exit. <laughs> Yo, if you eat me too many times, we're gonna end up like somewhere you don't want us to be at. Hey. 
bunch. Bop. Just relax, there's nothing to fear. Hey, Omori, is it getting stuffy in here? Okay, what are you, the cat in the hat now? Huh? Humphrey? You the fucking cat in the hat? Are you the fucking... The, 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 the fucking... The cat from Alice in Wonderland? I'm just gonna keep staring at him into submission. That's a bad idea, actually. Let's go ahead and use our energy now. And then stare at him into submission. Are you winning, son? I think so. I mean, we're in we're on the inside of a whale currently. We're inside of a whale and he keeps swallowing us. So, you know what? On second thought, maybe not. Maybe we aren't winning. He's also been smiling at us like this for the last 30 minutes. At first I thought it was cute, but now I'm getting a little creeped out. All in all, though, I gotta say, dude, his teeth are immaculate. I have got to get his dentist's number. Cooking meat is very fun, should you be rare, medium, rare, medium, or well done. Stop swallowing me, bro. Stop, stop swallowing me. Spit me out, bro. It's okay, you can spit me out. You don't have to swallow all the time. Except for Jum. You can swallow Jum as much as you want. It's getting darker. Is it just me, or is it getting darker? Nah, we're getting bored. We're reaching the level of kink that should not be possible. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is the vor this is the vor uh, fetish's uh, like dream right here. It's pointless to squirm. Give up, my friend. I'm afraid this cycle will never end. I mean, I know factually that's not the case because I can see your health going down. It definitely is getting darker, bro. What the fuck? Am I under some kind of time limit here? I'm stabbing Humphrey. I'm stabbing him and hoping for the best. How'd I stab him right in the heart when I'm literally stabbing his fleshy wall? Are we in the heart right now?
I think we've gotten out of stickier situations than this. Yeah, we can't give up now. There's just got to be a way out of here. What if we... What if we attack his uvula? Going somewhere? Yak, yak. Aha! Heh, <laughs> you'll never defeat me, loser. Wait, it's his fucking uvula. We're just gonna make him gag us up. I've got it. Stab the uvula. Am I am I saying the right word? That's a uvula, right? Heard goldfish was a snack that smiles back, but I never thought Humphrey would be the eater that smiles back. <laughs> He's the stomach that smiles back. Okay, I'm a little scared. Hopefully this is gonna be a one and done here. Um Humphrey smirks at Aubrey. Weirdo. Stab his uvula! What do you mean it hit right in the heart? Alright, it was a one and done. Okay, that's what I figured. Oh, he didn't like that. What now? Wait, holy shit. What's happening? Dude, we really were bored that many times. <laughs> we hit the uvula that was inside the, the uvula that was inside the uvula that was inside the cancer that was inside of Humphrey. W chat, let's go. W's in chat, guys. Blah, blah. Well, that didn't go down smoothly at all. Huh. Suddenly, I feel so sleepy. I think I'll take a short nap. Huh. That was a close one. Yeah, never understand, underestimate a hungry stomach. That was really scary. But you know what? At least we got through it together. So what do you guys want to do now? I'm not sure. Weren't we looking for something? Wait, didn't Hero mention this before too? W. Yeah, we were just following Sweetheart, but that situation seems to have resolved itself. So she's just dead? She really got eaten by the whale? And she's currently being digested by his stomach acids? That's kind of a grisly way to go for Sweetheart, bro. I know, I know she was kind of annoying, but that's kind of fucked. She's literally currently in his stomach getting digested. Screaming for her life. <laughs> Here's a quick glimpse of what Sweetheart is going through right now. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure there was something else. Aubrey, you're always worrying about nothing. Come on, you should learn to relax and just enjoy yourself. I guess that's true. I am a little tired of worrying too much. The mic cut out. I knew it would, dude. <laughs> Mike doesn't let that loud of screams to us. Okay, well, consider yourself lucky, I guess. W. W. Today's word of the day. Well, today's letter of the day is W. Zero keys left. Void does he? Welcome. To black space. I mean, we knew that was it before we got all the letters. Wait, I wanted to go through the... I wanted to go through the water.
channel was built upon your stupid screaming. I guess you're right. <laughs> Basil? Voidusi! Is Voidusi Basil? Has Basil had a Voidusi this whole time? Go into the hole? Wait, not yet. Wait, should we? Should we go into the hole? Or should we go in there? Oh, fuck me. Wait, I should have saved. Oh my god, what'd I do? Go into the hole. See somebody can come back out. Okay. No, it's gone! You gotta be kidding me, dude. Ah, <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, dude. We lost the hole. No. <laughs> reload? I can't, bro. It's gonna reload me into the... It's gonna reload me before the, uh... 31 minutes. 30 minutes. Wait, maybe it auto-saves. Oh, hold on. Maybe it auto-saved. It did not. It absolutely did not auto-save. Rest in pepperoni, dude. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Wait, oops. Damn it, bro. Come on. Why would it disappear? Why would it disappear? The awkward moment where you fail to get into the hole. Chat. What's the whole cod? It's spoilers. I just want to see what the fuck the whole's cod. <laughs> I haven't seen anything yet. I haven't seen anything yet. What? Can someone send me a link to the whole, please? I just want to know what scene is in there. It was a Mori with red eyes in the hole. We already saw that. I'll find you a link. Okay, bet. Bet. We already saw a Mori with the red eyes, though. Damn it, bro. When it said go into the hole, I thought I was going to fall into the hole and start the next part of the damn story. That's why I didn't go into the hole. I don't know what we're saying no to, but I agree. <laughs> That, why would it disappear? What? Where did the hole go? Where did the hole go, chat? Where did it go? All right, we'll see if Viren can find us a link. I guess in the meantime, we have to keep going. You have come again to seek the truth. Each time your adventures may be des disparate, but as your journey nears its end, it will always lead you back here. The truth. The truth is always the same. What's the truth? Please, let me know. I need to know what the truth is. I've been playing this game for 40 hours, okay? I need to know what the truth is. The path to the truth was once here, but it has been removed. It was moved to a lighthouse in a pier. Then to a library banished deep underground. 
the truth was moved to a lighthouse and then a library. And after that, to an old barn on a distant planet. And this time, it will be in the heart of a vast forest. Shut up, dog. No matter how many times the path is concealed, the flower boy will always find it. And your dear sister, Mari, she will always guide you to it. Even as hollow shells, they will continue to evolve, and each time they will grow wings and fly too close to the sun. It's their nature. They are the ones whom, the only ones who know, and one has carried it with her to her grave. The truth? Bro, can you stop talking in riddles, man? I need to, I need answers. Not to be more confused. Death may not, may, may not be no danger here, but the memories of them do not fade so easily. Many times your friends have met with an unfortunate fate. Although they are revived time and again, the most haunting stay in this world, even if it's only their bones remain. Oh, we got a link. Pog. We got a link chat. Pog. Hold on. Okay, at least this guy wasn't dumb enough, apparently, to go through the fucking hole. Wait, if you make him sad? If you make him sad, he stays sad? Damn, Aubrey! What skill is that? Wait, there were two holes. What? Oh, never mind. I guess it just gave him the key. Looks like he missed an extra key. Yeah, welcome to Black Space. Okay, we saw that as well. The Void Dussy. Hurry up and get into the fucking hole. No answers but questions. Seems that's all I'm getting. Alright, get in there. Stop checking it and get in there, please. Why would the hole disappear? That's my only question. Why? What's the point of making the fucking hole disappear? Stay away. You are not my son. Is Basil your son? Why? Why won't you fall? This guy's a broke boy. Okay, was that it? I mean, honestly, we didn't miss that much. That's it? Literally? Okay. Okay. Why won't you fall? Someone killing... Someone was destroying the tree. That just it leaves me with more questions. The long lost ones sink here to the bottom of the deep well. 
and become nothing. You have forsaken them, yet they will still yearn for your care. Their souls know nothing but how to scream for help. Do you take pity on them? Your dear sister Mari with a bad knee. You could not bear for her to die again, so she was given the safety of a picnic blanket. Yet it is her nature to leave and to protect. And when she does, she will leave you again and be born anew with the undying soul that you have cursed her with. The souls assigned to your friends, they are fragile and must be protected, and so they must remain asleep. Yet the path to the truth is closer to your most precious room than ever before. Will you be able to bury it this time? Perhaps it is too late for you. What the fuck's the truth? Tell me the truth. That's the same curtain that Mari said that he saw, I guess, before she died in the real world. You know of the keys to the other realm. They are different each time, but they will unlock the same door. The end of this journey will lead to suffering, but if you do not face this, you cannot continue. This form, though it has not shown its true self, is evil. You will not see that unless you fight it. When your intentions become hazy, they will transpire into this world like a thick fog. <laughs> My head hurts. What the fuck is happening? When your intentions become hazy, they will transpire into this world like a thick fog. You will know when it happens. It has already happened before. At that time, return to where the truth was reborn. To the heart of the forest. And like each time before it, attempt to rewrite your fate. Will you be doomed to repeat this cycle over and over, or will you break it? Explore this world while you can, dreamer. Until there is nothing left. Boy, Dusi! You will see soon. Did we water the flowers? We did water the flowers. We watered those flowers too many fucking times. I'm just tired of watering those damn flowers. Well, that was crazy. Let's just play fucking Uno. That was an insane adventure, guys. Let's just play Uno. All right. This is my ending, chat. This is my ending. Do you like it? We're just going to play Uno for eternity. Fuck all that, Jazz. Is that a void dussy? What is this? No, it's just another way back here. Welcome to black space. So I have to return to... I'm guessing I have to return to Basil's house. Is everything normal out here? I guess this would be my final, uh, my final chance to explore this world, but I've already explored literally everything. I don't think anything new shows up, right? Should we just go straight to Basil's house? Things have changed in some places. Tip for secrets, go to the vast forest and check the places uh, in between the trees. Okay. I kind of want to save. Hold on, let me go save real quick. Before we head on over to Basil's house.
Okay. Might as well save over the other one. The eternal banana is still there. That's nice. Uh, as in where you can enter the in between the trees, some of them are different if I remember right. Okay. So like where I found doggy. That's not right. That's the way to Pyrefly Forest. I gotta go down, I think, for the vast forest. Right is to the uh, space place. Basil. I'll be down there in a second, Basil. Hold on. I want secrets. I want secrets. Go away. I don't have time for fucking sprout moles. Oh, this place stayed the same. Oh, never mind. I got a mango smoothie this time. Oh, shit. I'm getting smoothies. More smoothies? Just a couple of smoothies here. I okay, definitely don't have time for no damn bunnies. Where else can I go? I believe there might have been another one over here. This is a train station. I don't think there's anything there. So the only secrets are located in uh, these little areas here. Give me some good advice. Understood. Here's your advice. Life is short, so smile while you still have teeth. I hope this helps. Well, Humphrey definitely took that advice to heart. Under the playground to the top and left, or to the left and right. Watch an explanation video after after you finish. <laughs> Are we really gonna need one? God damn it! God fucking damn it, dude! I was hoping I wasn't gonna need an explain an explanation video, but with a story like this, it's usually always required. Even if I get the broad strokes of whatever is happening, I'm gonna like miss a few things. Let's see if there's anything new in the doggy house. Come on, I hope there's a dog in there, please. Doggy? Ah! I never get to see the doggy! Bullshit. Wait, we've, we've been through all of them, I think, at this point. Maybe we haven't activated it yet? That's the way to the other area. You can go back and look at white space. I can. Wait. Oh, it's the tree. It's the tree that the uh, boy was cutting. And now the wheel's gone. Okay. Okay. Who was cutting down that tree? Apparently, I'm not his son. Was that Basil's dad? Wait, I don't know anything about my own parents. Actually, I literally don't know anything about my own parents. Hmm. 
Maybe it's my self-inserts father, but aren't I the same? Aren't I him? Omori well, is my self-insert, right? I'm just... It's just me in the mind space. I'm gonna go back to white space. Should we? The repression of an idea. Seems everything is the same here. I can stab myself again. Should I stab myself? Fuck it, for old time's sake. We won't get to do this much for much longer. Nice. Honestly, Omori, with how many people you've stabbed, it's the least you deserve. No, hold on, wait a minute. Did I just advance the story? Wait, I was supposed to go to... I was supposed to go to Vasil. What about to go back to sleep? I guess we're skipping the basil. Wait, is that an ending for real? Wait, my friends are back. Wait, hold on. No, no, no bad ending. No bad ending. We can, we can recover. We're fine. We're fine. You guys are freaking out for no reason. Look at that. We're totally fine. <laughs> Reload. We're definitely getting. Oh yeah, sue me for I don't even know what that means. Wait, but we're good, right? Should I reload anyway? Did I fuck it up? Reload anyway? I feel like we're fine. I feel like we're fine, but fine. I'll reload. I don't think I... I think if I were to keep going down that path of the real world... I would have gotten the bad ending, whatever that means. But since I stopped myself and went back, but fuck it, fine. We'll, we'll go ahead and do this. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Basil. These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. Yo. What? I already watered all of these. Okay, well, I guess it's not working now. You woke up and went back to sleep. I assume that fucks it up. I don't know. I'd say try going to that tree again and then try checking the other spot. Try going to that tree again? Which tree? Yeah, I don't know why the fuck those plants aren't watered. I literally watered those plants every single chance that I got. Every single time we went down there, I watered them, bitches. The hangman tree? The one we were just at? You want me to go there again? Okay, I guess I'll try it. I saved after I went in that tree. Oh, fuck. Not the almighty oak. Bro. Oh, wait. I 
I didn't save after that. Oh shit, you're right. I'm gonna get my gotta get my smoothies again. Wait, I feel like I did save. Did I get two smoothies last time? Bro! God damn it, just kill it. Just kill the fucking scrap mode. Yo, Fen, welcome on in. Okay, so I didn't save. Alright, let's go back. So that's a way to the another ending, huh? Maybe I should Maybe I should save a file to go back eventually and see the other ending or I guess we could just YouTube them. Eh, it would be kind of cool to play through it though. Maybe we'll just do that. Yo, yo, ho, oh, yo, 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 oh, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. See, this is not, this is not what I remember. I definitely did save after that. The Void Dussy's attacking, bro. Do we, do we kill the Void Dussy? What is that? It's the Void Dussy. This might be a losing battle, bro. I don't know. Every time I fought the Void Dussy, it never ends up well for me. Let's try staring it down. No one else can do anything. I guess we just attack with them. Don't be afraid, friends. It's not that. Wait, do we, we can actually do damage this time. <laughs> bro, Omori's stare is so effective that even that thing feels uncomfortable when I do it. Omori is so fucking weird that even my stare is enough to make that thing feel uncomfortable, not the other way around. It's just like, uh... Uh, what are you staring at, kid? God, what a weirdo. Stare into the void and the void gets uncomfy. <laughs> now that's power right there. That's real power. This thing's getting its ass kicked. I roll. I'm sorry. Weird. Okay. It's back. I can fight that thing how whenever I want. Ha! Ah, you think it's worth checking the other spots now, chat? Maybe I'll see an actual dog this time. Oh! <gasps> the fucking, fucking doggy! Hell yeah! I want to pet the dog. You felt something in your hand. I got Sparkler. Yay! I finally saw the doggy! Oh, let's go, dude. I thought it was never gonna happen. We finally met the doggy that lives here. I'm so happy. I'm so fucking happy. All right, let's go check out the other ones. Or rather, I think there's only one left. It's a dog. It's gonna take too long. What? Doing the other ending will take too long. Is there a, a boss involved? Possibly. We'll see. We'll see how long it takes us to do this ending. Okay, I think. I think there's one left. 
Yo, honestly, the secrets were worth it just because I finally got to see the dog. I'm so happy. I'm so happy for myself. I've been in that room so many times and every time I wanted to see the dog and it never showed up and now I finally saw him. A cute little shadowy doggy. I repeat, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, wait, there it is. Wait, no, I think that's... I think that's where the mushroom is. Uh, did we find all the secrets? Yeah, it's just a mushroom. I think that's it. It was the mushroom, the hangman's tree, and then the doggy. Neutral, uh, neutral ending is five minutes away from the good one. Okay. Other bad, bad ending is a whole 10 hours away at least. What the fuck? What do you mean 10 hours? How is that even possible? You mean if I went for the bad ending, I'd get 10 more hours of gameplay? What? Unless it requires some kind of grinding. Oh, wait, did we? Is that another area we could have checked? That's just the area with the rock that gives you advice. I don't think there's going to be anything new there, but we'll check anyway. Okay, now. There's another route. There are five endings. Not answering the door is a different route. What? So I would have to restart the game, essentially. Okay, maybe we'll just YouTube them. Do the other endings come with, like, specific content? Like, an extra boss fight or something? Alright, I think we're ready, right? Final check, there's no more uh, secrets. I think, correct? If there's no more secrets, I'm going to Basil's house. Other route comes with a lot more content. Oh, fuck. Are we going to have to do the other route chat? I don't know. I don't want to... All right, so we got two files. Let's go ahead and save one to uh, to stab ourselves in the white space to see what happens later. You can look in the playground mirror. I've done that a million times, though. Yeah, that's.
a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. Nothing's happening, dude. Did I water them all anyway? I missed it. What, the, uh, the jump scare? That was pretty cool. Uh, they probably should have made the chance to get it a little higher, though. Because that would have been a lot more effective if, like, I just randomly stumbled upon it. You know what I mean? Pink roses symbolizes admiration. Orange roses symbolizes passion. Yellow roses symbolizes friendship. And the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all roses because he's versatile and universally loved. Like, if I randomly stumbled into that, like, I looked in the mirror and that happened, that would be more freaky. Supposed to randomly stumble upon it either first time or on replay, unless you're me. The thing is, like, after a certain while, you stop worrying about the mirror. Like, I just ignored them after a while because nothing ever happened. There's always, there are a type of flower called the gladius, also known as a sword flower. As you might guess, they represent strength of character, someone who's honest with strong moral values, someone who stands by their convictions. The gladius reminds me of Aubrey because she's always true to, her, true to herself. Should we water all of them? Am I wasting my time? I'm probably wasting my time here. I said look in the mirror three times. I did though. I looked at it like 400 times. I just realized that we didn't finish watering this up here, so I'm going to do it. Fuck it. Sunk cost fallacy chat. Sunk cost fallacy. We're, we're going to do it. We're watering them all, even if it doesn't matter. You're wasting your time, I think. Well, we've come too far now. All right, fuck it. It's the thought that counts. I'm kind of pissed that they're all dead, considering how many times I've watered these flowers in this playthrough. Cacti are very sturdy and resilient, resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care and can survive even in seemingly impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is that even you could take care of a cactus, Kel. The secret broke or something? Normally something scary happens the third time? Well, we just finished the... Uh, we did it like a million times and eventually we got that one secret with the little jump scare. But it didn't happen necessarily the third time. It just happened randomly. And these, these are white tulips. Tulips aren't very flashy plants. They're not too big or small, not too elaborate or flamboyant. If I could put it another way, I guess I would say that they're comfortable, simple, modest, and perfect. Just like Hyrule. <gasps> me? Oh my god, that's the sweetest thing anyone has ever said to me. That's so sweet. What the fuck? Hell yeah, I'm gonna water my plants. Come on, little tulips. Chat, why can't you be that nice to me? I mean, except for someone you. Someone you is that nice to me. But y'all could learn a, le learn a lesson, honestly. Yo, Bazo, I watered all your plants again. Even though it did nothing. This okay, this is definitely longer than I remember. Uh, what's happening? God damn, there's no fucking way. What? That was definitely longer than I remember. Oh 
Amori, I'm scared. Let's let's go back. Too late, Aubrey. It's too fucking late. We're going to finally face the void dussy. It's a long, long way down. Do we want to jump chat? We are nice, but you ignore it and go for the jabs. I mean, that's a streamer's job at the end of the day to hyperfixate on the negative comments, right? <laughs> What's up, by the way, Crying Wolf? Embrace the Void Dussy! All right, into the Void Dussy we go, guys. So there's five endings. Okay, so there's a neutral ending, a good ending, and three bad endings? Getting ready to go to a wedding that I don't know? Oh, fun stuff, dude. Let's go. Weddings are fun regardless because you get to eat free food and drink alcohol. So, yeah, enjoy it for what it is. In this chat, we all love holes. Yo, what's up, Willow Wispy? How about your mom, huh? Did you get your wheel fixed? Did he ever? We spun that wheel twice. Don't worry about the endings right now. Just save every time you get the chance from now on and focus on the experience. Should I save on different slots? For example, should I save that slot from earlier so that I can go back and stab myself awake instead? Would that be worth doing or nah? Why not? Yeah, I guess you're right. Might as well. I do have a lot of free slots. Oh boy, are we about to face some hard truths? Oh shit! Hello? Something is preventing you from getting any closer. I guess we're going to black space. Black door casts a heavy shadow. What would you like to do? Open the door. Into black space we go. That's looking a lot like white space actually. Did not like that. Did not like that at all. <laughs> so, could you have missed keys? It seemed like the keys were all, like, presented right in front of you. I feel like it would be hard to miss keys. Not the essential ones? Okay. Some keys are locked for the other route. Bro, I can't believe there's a whole other route. Like, what? How bad could the... How, how bad could that ending even be? 
Okay, we'll save this file down here for the one ending where I stab myself awake. I can probably overwrite this one, right? I'll tell you when you are in a door, you can do extra exploring in. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm going to... I'll go ahead and save that here. This save is from before I did anything back there. I honestly think I could overwrite it, but it's fine. A tissue box for, exp for wiping your sorrows away. Does it loop? It does. Okay, well, let's explore these doors, I guess. Basil? These rooms are full of broken things. But at least in here, I can see who you really are. The world that you created above this one. Did you make it to protect this place or to hide it away? Either way, it's become more powerful than you. This is where broken things go? Is this like hell for the mindscape? Are we in mindscape hell? There's a fucking whale here. So much pain, so much pain, so much pain. Oh, dude, the fucking whale's in pain. Dude, this game just took a fucking 180. What the fuck? What even is that? Crows. Void Basil. Omori's a horror game. I think for the first time ever, I'm now seeing that. <laughs> I'm now seeing that. All up until this point, we've gotten nothing but glimpses of horror. I'm guessing now it's really going to ramp up, huh? Hi, friend. Well, you're kind of cute. Honestly, he's pretty cute. Chat, how can you be horrified looking at that? Look at him. I want a little plushie. I want him to sleep next to me. And keep me company in my dreams. So much pain, so much pain, so much pain. Is that a void dussy? Is that Mari? Wait, is the Voidusi Mari? Has it always been Mari? Black space. Hope you have a therapist with you. I do not. I am an American with no health care. I can't afford a therapist. Are you kidding? I'm just going to have to swallow what I see here today. There is no therapist saving me.
I don't like it. Yo, chat, I don't like it. I don't like black space. Can we go back? Yo, can we go back, please? I don't like black space. Let's let's just go back to let's just go back to the mindscape where my friends are. We could play cards and build sand castles and go to orange oases and hang out with the burning man. Oh Christ. We can take a dip in the pool. Fight our way through wacky adventures. Oh shit. Doors disappear. Okay. Got to Trailblazer level four. Did anything get added to your counter? Did anyone see anything get added? Let's check right now. If you did it through PC, I highly doubt it, but we'll we'll double check. Let's see. Wait. Did it count? Oh no, that was just counting. Uh, okay, that was counting the other guys from earlier. Yeah, I was counting. Uh, that was counting bit bikes. I don't think it counted, Mini. Unfortunately, quite unfortunate. I don't think it counted. Um, but yeah, like I said, I didn't think it would. Not if you were doing it on PC. Regardless, hey, I appreciate you giving it a shot anyway, man. Thank you for trying. You also reached level 8, but it was on PC, so it didn't count. Yeah, that's probably why. Yeah, they were the one thing that they were very clear about is that uh, it was for mobile only. So it, it makes sense. Regardless, hey, thank you to, to both of you, honestly, for trying it. At least you gave it a shot. That's all I can ask for at the end of the day. Especially if your phones just weren't compatible, which makes sense. Oh, Christ. What the f...
OST is peaceful? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> the most potent of all. Trauma. <laughs> you should explore all the doors before deciding to finish? Oh, dude. Of course I am. I've got a mental illness. There's no way my mental illness would let me not explore every single door before going forward. I have to know. All right, take me out, hand. This is what two men saw. <laughs> is it too soon? Nah, fuck it. Two men's a fucking piece of shit. It's not too soon. I fucked it up. Shit, I fucked it up. Okay, you want me to talk to him? Are you lost? Not to worry. The red hands know the way back. It's a scribble. Shigo was laying as straight as a pole when he was a fetus. <laughs> yeah, I came out. I came out looking like a log. Hello there. Hi, friends. Hello, friends. You ring the bell, but it doesn't make a sound. Someone's done this before. Was it you? Was it me? Was it the flower boy? If you were lost, where would you go? Somewhere familiar, somewhere safe, full of good memories. If only there was such a place. There's nothing here. There's nothing left. Pitter patter, pitter patter. That one makes a sound. Yo, these guys are jamming. Dance, skin boy. Dance, skin boy. Dance. Come on, skin boys. Dance like your life depends on it. Pitter patter. Pitter patter. Spooky, scary skeletons shivers, send shivers down my spine. Na, na, da, 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 uh, I'm guessing we can probably go now, right? It's probably everything here. Those guys were cute. They were jamming. All right, I think it's time to go. Yeah, that does nothing. All right, later, guys. You guys keep jamming away, all right? Is this just their existence? They spend all of eternity sitting in black space, dancing, jamming, shaking your gats. I guess there are worse ways to live. At least I don't have to worry about taxes. They just got to worry about shaking that yet. How have I never seen the, the skeletons before? <laughs> I'm just built different. It's fine.
spend the rest of the eternity uh, with your two bros dancing in darkness. Not bad, not bad. Not a bad way to go. Not a bad way to live. That thing is going nowhere fast. Buddy, are you okay? Is that a fridge? A street fridge, okay. Upside down. Ding dong. Ding dong. All right, that kind of got me. All right, Omori, that one kind of got me. I think that's the first time Omori has actually ever jump scared me. That's not fair though. I mean that that got you too, chat. Don't even try to don't even try to lie. I know you got scared. What a quaint house full of hanging women. Voidusi! Oh my god, Voidusi! Voidusi! As you chew, you begin to hear the crunching of bones. Give me a second, boy, Dussie. I'm eating crunchy cake. You chew a little slower and realize your molars are missing. Ah, dude, no. I've had this dream so many times. I hate it. I literally, we were just talking about that dream. Are you not going to attack me? Oh, I think she just wants to hang out. Hey, yo, listen, boy, does he? I'm sorry, but I gotta go. Bro, she's about to fucking soft lock me. Has me caught in the corner. Yo, what are you, a fucking linebacker? Give me some space here, dude. Oh, I guess she's just my friend. I wonder if she'll follow me outside. I think that's all there is here. I mean, I've checked everything else. Let's go. Talk to it? I tried. It doesn't say anything. It just wants to stare at me. So, uh, what now? Do we just hang out? Yeah, got any cards? Maybe some Jenga? Not much of a talker, are you? Don't you quack at me. Don't you fucking quack at me. How dare you? I'm leaving. I can go in here whenever I want. Is she back in the picture? Oh, no. Hey, what's up? Are you just hanging out? Were you taking a shower? Sorry to interrupt. Um, I gotta go, though. Sorry. I must be on my way now. Her mom was a linebacker and her dad was a refrigerator. <laughs> yep, another poor, unfortunate soul going nowhere fast. When you hid the truth, you sealed a part of me away with it. He's been waiting for someone to save him all this time. On that day, when you became nothing, I was split in half. When I became nothing, I was split in half. Which one do you think was more painful? Who are you, Basil? Who are you?
right, am I done here? Been doing good at finding your secrets, uh, the secrets uh, yourself so far. All right, that's good to know. I mean, like I said, my natural instincts to fucking explore absolutely everything are definitely real. Ah, fuck. I wanted to turn all the trees upside down, but I'm probably fine, right? Your sketchbook. Take a look inside. Not yet. Hold on. I'm scared I might fuck something up if I do that. No, don't stab the cat. That's the one thing you can't stab. It's the same sketchbook as in the white space. Except a little more fucked up. There's pocket cat. That's me and Basil. Voidusy. Voidusy evolved. Voidusy and Voidusy evolved. Okay. In through the next black door. Just came in. What's going on? What's up, it carrots? What's up, new starting point? We are finishing Omori. We are towards the end of an ending. I don't know which one it is. Uh, but goddamn, did this game just take a fucking turn, bro? Just just yesterday, we were fighting quirky creatures like the fucking the shark, the lone shark guy, and killing Stanley. And fighting fucking, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Pluto. And now, like, this is a different game entirely, dude. It's kind of crazy. Liar. Sorry. Liar. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I didn't see you there. Oh, fuck me, dude. You, oh, you really gotta get out of my way, man. I'm so sorry. Oh, jeez, dude. You're showing up everywhere, man. Truly. Liar. Liar. What are you talking about? I'm not a liar. God, dude. I'm getting, even I'm getting PTSD. Liar. Shut up, chat. I'm not lying. I swear to God, there's only five minutes left of stall. I promise. I promise, dude. I'm checking my I'm checking my watch. Liar liar and I'm not lying, chat. I promise. No more stalling. Oh Christ. Liar, liar, liar! Game could have been inspired by Earthbound a bit? Oh, definitely. I definitely see some Earthbound inspirations in this game for sure. If you go to the main menu, it'll have a different starting screen now? Oh, really? That's interesting. We should go check it out after we're done here and we can save. Liar, liar, liar. This is literally chat calling me a liar at the start of every stream. I'm tired of it, chat. I'm not a liar. You have no proof. Shut up. You have no proof. Sup, Void Dussy. I roll. I love you. Oh, dude, Void Dussy. I'm so sorry, but I have another. 
Oh, Jesus. No, dude. What do you mean? Get away from me. Please, Void Dussy. Not like this. My girlfriend's gonna get so mad. No, please. You don't love me. You don't even know me. You, you love the illusion of me. You, you love the thought of us together. You don't love me. You don't know me. We've never been together. You, you can't love me. Go away, Boy Dussy. I'm not ready for this commitment, Boy Dussy. I am betrothed to another. Stop saying that. You're freaking me out. What's happening in the background? You see that? What's happening in the background? Hold on, I'm trying to f see these pictures. It's Amori and, Am it's Amori and Mari hugging. I see Mari again. Amori hugging Amari. Shut up, Void Dussy. I'm trying to see the pictures back here. God, you're so clingy. Not sure what's happening there. I guess it's another hug. Uh, is that oh, is that Mari crying on the bottom? Yo, boy, Dussy! Shut! You don't you don't know you love me, okay? You, 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 bro, we have to live together before you decide something like that, okay? You don't know my nasty habits, boy, Dussy. I fart like all the time, every day. Do you still love me? That's your party member now? <laughs> oh, I was gonna press X to see if he shows up. Hold on, I'm gonna try juking these guys. No! If you loved me, you wouldn't have done that, you fuck. God damn it, I wanted to keep exploring. What an ass. I wonder if that's Mari. How would I quit the game right now? I can't even open up a menu. I literally can't even quit the game right now. Have you figured out who the Void Dussy is? I think the Void Dussy... I think the Void Dussy is some kind of manifestation of Mari. All F4. Escape was not it. Did I just all F4 it? All right, you know, I'm just curious to see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Even the music is different. Oh, we are in dark space now, boys. What happened? Why all, uh, why, why all F4? We just wanted to see the new, uh, the new starting screen. That's a cool little, uh, that's a cool little detail right there gotta admit that's pretty dope yo ike revolution of course i remember you brother how could i forget man how you doing whatever it is when you think about it too closely slash too much you instantly flee back to your safe space that's true yo it's pocket cat Miwu has been very, very bad. You got a key. Whoa, what's happening here, dude? Miwu stares at you. She does not know what is happening. 
Do you want to cut open Miwu? What? No? I don't care how bad that kitty's been, bro. What? There's a pair of scissors there. Is this one of those situations if, that if I say no, I miss out on content? Do I have to cut open Mule? Bro, I don't care how bad Mule's been. I, I doubt he deserves this. No, I don't think I don't think I want to cut up Mule, dude. But what if I miss out on content? <laughs> no, leave Mule alone, dude. I don't care how bad you are. He doesn't even know what's happening. I'm not going to I'm not going to cut up Miwu, bro. Please no, you monster. <laughs> There's no way I'd actually kill Miwu, right? Miwo? Bro, what are you doing? This is your own kind. Oh my god. The curiosity is gonna kill me. I think I have to cut open Miwo. Bro, I doubt it's gonna kill it. I doubt it's gonna kill it, dude. I mean, how horrific can this game possibly get? Do not chat really does not want me to cut open Miwo. Alright. I guess we'll let curiosity fade this time. Here I go on my way out. I'm cutting open Miwo. I'm cutting it. I'm cutting open Miwo, bro. I need to know. Miwo stares at you. She tilts her head out of curiosity. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, don't make this fucking hard on me, man. Chat, I had to do it. Chat, I had to do it. I had to do it. Do you want to cut open Miwo? Ah, oh, what do you mean you're gonna give me another shot to do it? The fuck you think? You don't want to cut open Miwo, but you. I want to know what happens if you do cut open Miwo. No! <laughs> you sick fuck. No, you don't. How bad can it be? I can't. The curiosity, yo. In this case, I'm sorry to say it, chat, but curiosity killed the cat. Mule stares at you. Her eyes widen. She wants to go now. This is either some kind of sick test or... Oh my god, bro. Animal abuse bad. You think it's gonna fuck up my ending? <laughs> That's fine, I can just save Scum, bro. Are you a sociopath? We are canceling you for this. Tell Twitter. Go ahead, tell Twitter, bro. Whatever. What the hell's Twitter gonna do? Do it, cats are delicious. <laughs> you can look up in the video afterwards what happened, not now, leave her. <sighs> ah! Oh, this is killing me. Ah, this is killing me. Yeah, you have to know what happens. I have to know what happens, dude. No, we can't. We can't kill me, well. We can't we can't fucking kill me, well, bro. I literally have two cats of my own. I can't fucking... I can't cut open Miwo with a fucking pair of scissors, dude. It's gonna give you a bad ending. It's... There's no way, bro. It doesn't... There's no way. Nah, but I can't do it. I feel bad for Miwo. Psych, I'm fucking doing it, chat. I'm fucking doing it. We're, we're killing Miwo, bro. Miwo stares at you. She struggles to break free. Do you want to cut open Miwo? I said yes. Kill the fucking cat, bro. Just kill the kill kill, kill Miwo. Her eyes are filled with desperation. Do you want to cut open Miwo? Why are you making this so hard? Why are you giving me the option and then making it so hard for me to say yes? God damn it. And then you're describing in grisly detail how cute and cuddly Miwo is. Miwo stares at you. She tries to scream, but there is no sound. Do you want to cut open Miwo? <laughs> oh my god. Let's see what the other cat thinks. What do you think, sir? Miwo has been a very, very bad... Alright, well, what if Miwo, like... 
Dude, what if Miwo has been very bad? What if Miwo is a serial murderer? What if Miro what if Miwo blew up an orphanage? Like, we don't know the we don't know the, the history here. Miwo could be literally Hitler 2.0. And in that case, I think we would want to cut open Miwo. All we know is that Miwo has been very bad, so we Miwo needs to be punished. She does not know what is happening. Do you want to cut him open? Yes. Cut open. Oh my god, we just killed it. Oh my god, I feel awful. You cut open me well. That's it? Re that's it? Waiting for something to happen? If you want a way out, there's always one, but... Waiting for something to happen. I can I can stab myself. Why? <laughs> you disgust me. But I had to know. Hey, yo, you don't know how bad Miwo has been, dude. Miwo definitely could be so bad. Miwo could be Hitler 2.0. And then how do you feel, chat? that you let him live huh how would you feel it could have been the second coming of satan Mio could have caused 9-11 for all we know okay like stop defending Mio. you don't know enough now we're gonna stab ourselves because honestly we deserve it after what we did to Mio. <laughs> you failed the test. <laughs> you could have stabbed yourself from the start. There's a semi-popular fan theory that this room is Sunny revisiting memories of Miwo being put down from the vet when he was younger. Oh, oh, that's kind of sad. That's kind of sad and almost accurate in like a trauma sense. Because when I put out, when I put down my dog, I even told my girlfriend when I put down my dog. I couldn't shake this feeling that, like, I killed him, you know? Like, it was my decision. I literally had to press a button, actually, to, to get the, the person in there to put him down. And I couldn't shake this feeling for a while that I was responsible for his death, even though, like, I really wasn't, and I was doing him a favor, and I did the right thing. But that's really interesting. I would believe that. Should I, uh, should I save scum? Is there any reason to save scum? Honestly, you know, honestly, I think I will save scum. Would it really be a good ending? Would it really be a good ending if, if Mule's dead, you know what I mean? Like, I can't live with myself. Even if I still can get the good ending, I couldn't live with myself if Mule's still dead. Look, look, chat. Miwo's fine. Are you happy? Are you happy? Miwo could have blown up an orphanage before this, and you'll never know. But at least he's still alive. <laughs> You're making what if scenarios to justify in your own mind what you've done when you are in the wrong. <laughs> I thought I'd have to unsubscribe. You've redeemed yourself. I should have killed Miwo again. That was rough. What the fuck was that room, dude? The fact that you get absolutely nothing for kill killing Miwo either. Like, what? I thought I'd get like a secret scene or something. No, you just fucking kill it. You kill the cat. You literally just kill the cat and it's over. Fuck this mouse. This mouse is pissing me off. Can we delete the mouse? I got a flower crown. I got nothing. 
That's not what's supposed to happen when you open a watermelon. <laughs> what more did you want? I don't know. Something. Someone to say something or I don't literally anything. Literally anything would have been cool. But no, you just have to sit there and live with your decision of cutting open a poor defenseless cat that was tied up in a on a operating table. Basil? You dropped your flower crown. Where is this? We're in the dark uh the dark space, the black space. Amori, you came back for me. Is that my flower crown? I'm so glad you found it. Let's get out of here. I'll follow your lead. Okay, but we're going to have to squash all the watermelons in our way. Growing watermelons here has been fun, but I really miss my flowers back home. How are they doing? Did you take care of them while I was gone? <laughs> yes, actually. Uh, I did. They were very annoying. They needed constant watermelon or wa watermelon. They needed constant watering. Watermelons are delicious. We used to cut them up and eat them all the time at at the beach. I can still see I can still see Kel with all those watermelon seeds over his face. <laughs> Summer vacation with friends was the best, wasn't it? Wait. Wait. Wait, there were more watermelons. Oh. Even more watermelons. Yummy. We must defeat all of the... That wasn't me, I swear to God. I swear to God, he looked like that when I found him. He looked like that when I found him, chat. That wasn't me. That was not me. And you have no proof. Uh, can I call my lawyer, please? I would like to speak to my lawyer. I'm eating watermelon right now. Well, I hope you're enjoy enjoying your juicy watermelon. Try not to think of basil blowing up into a million pieces while you do it. Yo, how many doors are there? Bro, we're going to be here for 40 years. What? There's so many doors. Why did you step on Basil twice? <laughs> Three times. <laughs> I was covering my tracks. I don't want to be... I don't want to be uh, accused of murder. Should we talk to Basil first? Our friends who have suffered because of us. Can we still call them friends? No matter how much I want it, things can't go back to the way they were before. But why does part of me still cling on? Is there still hope left for us, Hyrule? Maybe. All you have to tell me is what the fuck is happening. What is happening? I can swim? Hold on. Maybe if you explain to me what the fuck is going on, Basil. We can consider it. Hi. Don't talk to me. Okay, well, fuck you too then, bitch. God, so mean.
each door should last like two minutes. We're, we're running on my time though. Which means each door is going to last around five. If we're lucky. I think that's all the pictures. Because we gotta go for a swim now. Beesh. Beesh. Explore until you find Big Head? I've explored everything now. Yeah, I've explored everything. Ah. Yeah, I know the key was there. I was just scared that if I got that key, I would have... Uh... I was scared that if I got that key... Um... It would have transported me to out, out of the room. And I would have missed the sequence. Maybe I need to grab that key, though. Because I do not see no big head here. I put relevant fan art on the Discord. No, no spoilers. Okay, we'll check that out later. I think we got to get the key, guys. Big head? Hey! Hold on, not yet. I'm not ready. Don't tuck me in just yet. What's the Discord? The Discord is, uh, just go scroll down. Scroll down from the video. You'll see a big fat button that says Discord on it. Are you sure there's something to find here? I don't see any big head. It's not in the sea. But we've looked everywhere. everywhere I see no heads that are big who's this bitch who doesn't want to talk to us it's an easter egg you can skip it all right Take me away, my sweet escape. Take me away. Without keys of our own, we are forced to wander endlessly here. These doors will not open for us. We are not as fortunate as you. There's people here. You are here again, dreamer. To what do we owe the occasion? Are you running out of time? Has the flower boy lost his way here to save him again? How fortunate for him. That one straight up disappeared on me. You have hidden yourself away again. Hopes, dreams, aspirations. Do they mean nothing to you? With great power comes a great burden for yourself and for the people closest to you. Who are you protecting and is it worth it? This place has changed a great deal since you were last here. Will you be able to find your way back or will you finally lose yourself? Something was taken from here a long time ago. Where did you hide it? Only you know where it is now. So I've been here to black space before. The flower boy who is closest to the truth, whose eyes glow in eerie red. I have seen what you've done to him before and pray that you don't find him again. You may not be in control now, 
But do not lose hope, Dreamer. There are some who still believe in you. Behind these doors lie rooms made of scattered fragments forever changing. If you are lost, you need not worry. The red hands will guide you. And the form you've taken, it cannot die here. Redemption is hidden among one of these doors, but it will never open for you in that form. You will have to find another way in. Hmm. I'm guessing that red door is how we progress the story, so let's go ahead and check out these other doors. What up, Pop Dog? I thought Honkai ended last stream. Uh, I did too. I was wrong. We have one more day for Honkai, so if you got any more neighbors or friends or grandmas that you want to try and get to download the game, now's the time to do it. Oh, thank goodness you're here, Omori. I thought I was going to be stuck here forever. How do you keep getting into these sticky situations? Phew, that feels so much better. Can't believe you came here to save me. I missed you so much. Now that you're here, I can finally go home. Lead the way, Omori. Bro, I don't know. Last time you followed me, things did not go well for you. You kind of turned into a watermelon and exploded. You know, I think spiders are really misunderstood. They may look kind of scary, but they never attack humans unless they feel threatened. Not to mention, they're also one of my biggest helpers when I'm gardening since they eat a lot of the pests that can hurt my plants. It's all about the balance of nature. I remember a while back you told me that a big spider fell on your shoulder just as you were about to dive into the lake at our secret hangout spot. I know that spider must have looked so scary to you, but I promise you probably looked a lot scarier to the spider. No offense, of course. There's so many spiders here all of a sudden. I can feel them crawling all over me. Maybe they're just saying hello? Hi spiders, it's me, your friend Basil. Are you covered in spiders? Yo. Basil. I don't care how attuned to nature you are, bro. If you're covered in spiders, you might want to get rid of them. Are these dragons? What is that? Ah, they're biting me. Oh, I'm probably just scaring them. There, there, spiders. It's okay. I'm not here to hurt you. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. I told you the last time that you came with me, it did not end well for you. It's ending even worse for you now. Last time you just turned into a watermelon and exploded. Now you're getting eaten alive by spiders. What in the goddamn fuck is that? There's so many of them. I can't get them off. Uh, Amori. Amori, please help. Oh, I failed. I'm such a horrible friend. I let him get eaten by spiders, dude. The baby spiders grieve their mother's death. A dead spider has passed from sadness. Passed from sadness? What? What do you mean it passed from sadness? What did it watch up? This poor, this poor spider saw the first five minutes of up and it couldn't handle it. It was too sad. It had to, it had to die. Yo, Basil's not having a good time of it, huh? Blown up like a watermelon. Eaten alive by spiders. What's next? Being slowly eaten to death by insects while alive is horrifying. That might be one of the worst ways you can go. That might be even worse than like burning to death. you, Hyrule. You were always someone I could depend on to listen. No problem. My problems, my hopes, my dreams, you knew them all. So if you're still there, please let my words reach you one more time. We got another key. 
seems a lot of uh, a lot like a portrayal of survivor's guilt. You think Basil died along with Mari somehow? Maybe they both died and it's my fault. Maybe we got into a wreck and I was driving. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. He's 12 years old. But something like that. Chat, do you smell any secrets here? There's a lamp. Basil's in the real world? You're right. You're right. Basil is a... Oh my god. Uh, uh, right. Expand your mind, Amori. Expand. Okay, there's nothing there, chat. You saw nothing, we saw nothing, we'll never speak of it again. Deal? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Six head. <laughs> Big brain Mari. I mean, she's really expanded her mind. Expanded her mind past the fucking constraints of her skull. She's expanded her mind so much, it burst out of her fucking forehead. Like, how much more can you even expand, girl? There's such a thing as too much expansion. You cracked open your cranium. Expand your mind. Wait. Expand them. Wait, is she getting bigger? Oh, Christ. Bro, enough expansion. Expand. St no, enough expansion. You're more brain than Mari now. Expand. Yo, what too much reading does to a motherfucker. This is why you can't read too much, chat. This is how you'll end up. True facts. The government doesn't want you to know, but it's true. I think I'm done with this place. Get me out of here. Thanks. I've seen enough of this place to last me a life uh, a lifetime. Let's hope this mine doesn't have a stinger. <laughs> looking like Valtiel's ass. <laughs> Mari out here looking like Valtiel. You helped her do it. It's not my fault, bro. You can't put that on me. I didn't tell her to expand her mind past the limits of her own skull. Like, that is not my fault. Do you think she could see God there at the end? I mean, once you expand your mind that much. Faceless hero. Faceless Mari. Faceless Basil. Faceless Aubrey. That was a void dussy. That was a void dussy. Mari equals Void Dussy confirmed. Oh. Looks like they all get weird. How come there's only one Kel? Get over here, Kel. God, he's really... Even in the black space, he's so fast. He was not kidding when he said he ran fast. I think if I see any more secrets, I guess not. Grab the key. Okay. 
Okay, am I good to go here? Leave me alone, hands. Talk to them again. Well, the hand did not leave me alone. Feels bad. I'm sure we're probably fine. Bro, there are so many goddamn doors. I think we're almost done now. You gotta catch them all. You got them all. Talk to them again, and now Basil, you got them all. So I had to talk to them all? For what, the secret in that room? I think I fucked it up then, because I didn't see the secret. Unless the secret was their portraits changing. I took a nice nap. The secret was the portraits? I see. Is that Roar up there? How's the moon above the clouds right now? Ow, oh, Mori, is it really you? How did you find me? Are Count Aubrey and Hero here too? I've missed you all so much. I'm glad the treehouse is still standing. Everyone worked really hard to make it through. Or make it together. No, don't follow me. No. No, Bas no Basil. Don't follow me, man. Game. Cards. Cookies. Cookies, cookies, cookies. Cookies, cookies. Toy. Book. Toy. Cat. Toast. TV. Toy. Game. Dawn. Fun. Toy. Fun. Hell. Heavy. Dawn. Heavy. Friend. Gone. Look. Okay, I guess we're leaving. Post question mark? <laughs> How many different ones are there? I think we got them all. Summer. Okay. That's how she dies, Basil? I think Basil's the guy. Or at least I'm pretty sure I saw them use the uh, he, him pronouns for Basil. Why is the moon standing in front of the clouds? Yo, Basil, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. You do not want to follow me, man. I am noticing a pattern. Every single time you follow me, it does not end up well for you. An elevator? I wonder where it leads to. Maybe it can take us back home. Hold on. Wasn't there another section over here I could have gone? No. Sorry, Basil. I was feeling a little sleepy there. Please excuse me. Where do you want to go? Vast forest. Well, I guess we're in it for the long haul. Is the elevator going to fall and get Basil flattened or something? Yeah, I don't know what could happen to him now. 
Actually, while we're in here, can I share something with you, Amori? Please do. Please. I'm begging you. Did you share it? What happened? Why didn't you share it? I need to know what the fuck's happening. Bait. Oh my god. Uh, not like this, dude. Bro, not the head stuck in the elevator. Are you kidding me? Hold on, Amori. I think I'm stuck. Oh, dude, Basil, what the fuck? I told you not to follow me, man. It keeps getting worse. It keeps getting worse. First, he turns into a watermelon. Secondly, he gets eaten by spiders. Now he's dying the old final destination route. Decapitated by a fucking elevator, dude. It's Resident Evil, baby. <laughs> Ah, oh, dude. Could you help me out? I don't think there is any helping you out anymore, man. Oh, my. Okay. Right. I need a nap. I need a nap, dude. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. Oh, Maury. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck happened? Maybe that's the truth. Maybe the truth is that Basil got his head stuck in an elevator. And I'm dealing from the trauma of that day. Like the little button on the side of, of basil <laughs> oh god what now what now man back then i wanted to save what was left but even after everything you left me hyrule i waited so long for you to come back even seeing you now it's hard to think straight I can feel my heart hurting, and I don't want to cover my face and hide. Or I want to cover my face and hide. There are so many things I want to say to you, but the words won't come out. I just... I waited so long for you to come back, Hyrule. But, listen, your head was decapitated. It's not my fault. I, would you come back to that gruesome scene? But you never did. So we ditched him, huh? The fishbowl. Somehow we ditched him, chat. Secrets here. Guess not. Let's go. Maybe Basil was a dream all along. No, Basil's definitely real. He's in the real world. Apparently we abandoned him at some point. Maybe after Mari died for whatever reason. We still don't really know how Amor uh, Am Mari died. First time finishing Omori. What's up, uh, Dionys? Yes, it is my first time finishing Omori. I'm still very confused. What the crawling hand symbolize? It's a good question. Amori. Amori, I'm right here. Not again, bro. Ta-da! Surprised to see me? I've been hiding in the stump since I got here. I'm not the best at defending myself, but I think I'm pretty good at surviving at least. Are you? 
Are, I don't know. I've seen a couple of, quite a few handful of uh, examples where you are absolutely not great at surviving. Quite the opposite, actually. You're really good at dying in horrible, horrific ways. A lot like Tanaka, actually. Anyway, I knew you would come save me, Omori. Yeah, don't get your hopes up. And I'm sure we will be able to make it out of this place now that you're here. This place seems a little dangerous, but I trust you. Not again. No, stop. Stop following me. Bro, it never ends well. Oh, is he going to drown now? Which horrible, terrible way is he going to die this time, chat? Don't worry, things will come together. I hope so, dude. Yo, I sat. Welcome on in. Gonna have to rewatch your streams to catch the whole story. I did that with Fear and Hunger, but that's okay. Yeah, no problem, I sat. Hey, Omori, you're acting kind of cold. Did I do something wrong? Yeah, you've died like 70 times in front of me. I guess we'll take the raft. Chat, is he gonna drown this time? Place your bets. In what terrible ways uh, Basil gonna die this time? Amori, I don't like this place at all. It doesn't feel very safe here. Can you kill Basil? I almost feel like we... No, we didn't kill Basil. I don't know, man. There's, I just have so many questions. Actually, there's something that I've been that's been really bothering me. Would you care to hear me out? Bro, please. Please, just spit it out before you die. Come on. Spit it out before you die. Oh, no. We're going through a tunnel. I can't hear you now. The reception's choppy. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. It was too choppy, man. The reception was way too choppy, bro. We should have known. God damn it. Fuck. What do you mean, take the raft? I kind of do want to take the raft again. Hold on. What happens? Is that his heartbeat? Bro, he's still alive. Definitely choppy. <laughs> so choppy, it chopped his head right off. Have I made a mistake by taking this raft again? Does Amori not know? Does he... Can he see him? Okay. Isn't this your mind? I'm pretty sure it's your fault for letting him die. This is my mind, yes. Something like that. Do you want to be asleep or awake? There are only two options. Well, there is always another, but... What's the other option? Dead? Asleep, awake, or dead? I choose C. No, I changed my answer. I choose D. All of the above, please. I choose kill. Did you know, chat? There's actually a secret. Uh, there's actually a secret fourth option. Awake, dead, or playing Honkai Star Rail. The greatest game in the App Store currently. You too can play it if you want, chat. Then you won't have to be awake, asleep, or dead. Download a day to help out the channel. It is our sponsor for the week after all. Secret? <laughs> oh god, what the fuck is that?
Go. Oh, fuck. Why did that scare me? Why the hell did that scare me? Shut up, chat. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it. We're getting bloodier and bloodier. Now we're nothing but blood. It's getting dark too. Now we're blood and blue. We've been dead for so long, we've turned blue. Great, what a fantastic family friendly time we're having here. Yo, how much worse can it get? Oh god, it's moving, dude. Oh, I don't like that. Yo, I don't like that. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. We've made a mistake. I'm still so confused. My heart dropped and the ad just started playing. <laughs> Yo, it's following me. What is it? What is that? Okay, I've had enough of this place. Get me out. I wonder if there's anything else in my, my notebook. I got your big stretch right here. Hold on. Don't forget the stretch that goes to uh, for you too, chat. I know it's been a while. Yeah, that's like good stuff. I swear to God, the older I get, the more my back cracks every time I stretch. Is that just going to compound until, like, I'm old? Like, actually old? Every year, my back cracks a little more. I'm gonna about to, I'm about to start, start sounding like bubble wrap pretty soon here. Okay, only three doors left, chat. Somehow we have made it. Hello, Harold. We're moving away. Seems like a small room. Basil's here. For so long you kept the truth shut out. But something made it slip. And the hole that it made, it won't stop spreading until you find the root of it all. The one that has seen the truth, will you guide me to him, Hyro? Yo, win a melon. Welcome back. Okay, yeah, I think we're done here. Take me away, hands. Luca draws. Also, welcome back. How you doing, brother?
Okay, two more to go. Well, technically three if we count the red door. So you can skip all of this and just go towards the red door? Why would anyone do that? Aubrey! Hero is here. He's sleeping in a crack. You can? Hmm. I mean, the whole point of this is, like, to... To see the story, so I don't see why anybody would skip out on content. Especially since this is, like, really interesting content. Maybe I should have waited on that key. Secrets on this one? Dude, honestly, every time I stepped on these things, I thought they were like moaning in pain, but the more I hear it, they might be moaning in pleasure. I think they like it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, that's definitely a pleasure moan. Some people are cowards. <laughs> Some people can't handle horror well, despite this literally being a horror game. I guess. I guess, but it's not like uh, it's not like the horror has been crazy. I mean, it. Yeah, some things are pretty bad, like seeing fucking Basil get his head chopped off by a elevator. That was pretty horrific. But besides that, it hasn't been too, too bad. Oh my god. Oh, I miss this place. Take me back, please. Please, I need it. Chad, I need it. Take me back. I want to go back to white space. I want to go back to the vast forest. I want to go back to killing sprout moles and... Fighting with Sweetheart and... Saving Captain Space Boy and... Doing puzzles. Amori, you're here. I'm so relieved. I tried finding my way out, but I kept getting lost over and over. I'm sorry. You must be tired of saving me all the time. Maybe I should tr have tried harder. Please don't follow me. No, everything's not okay now that I'm here. It's gonna be worse. It's gonna be worse. You're gonna die. Let's go home. Yeah, let's. Your home is, of course, hell, right? Because that's where you're gonna be going pretty soon. Your home being hell, right? Are you gonna die on the swing? What are you gonna fucking swing too hard and have the stupid string wrap around your neck? Choke you out right here and here, right here and there. Right here and now. You couldn't tell me what you wanted to say? Bro, honestly, let's just spend the rest of our lives on this swing set, man. It's more subjective that Basil has horrible posture. Why did he lean forward enough just so that his neck gets stuck and chopped off? You're right. You're actually right. A normal person wouldn't get stuck like that unless he was walking like this. <laughs> like, how did that happen? The 
whole time I've been here, I've been looking through my photo album to keep me company. When I was feeling scared, I would look at all our happy memories together. It really helped me keep my hopes up. I feel like there are some photos missing, but maybe I'm just imagining things. How are Aubrey, Kel, and Hero anyway? I hope you don't... You all didn't worry too much about me. I can't wait to see everyone again. Hero? Is that you? Omori, look, it's Hero. You didn't tell me everyone was already here. Uh-oh. Oh, the corruption is starting. Oh my god. Oh, look, it's Platonic Tentacle. Oh man, things got real corrupted real quick. What is happening now? Basil? Basil, please. Now, why would you do that? Oh, no. Is, is Hero going to be eating him or something? Like, what possible horrible death could be awaiting him now? Something ain't right, brother? Yeah, you're telling me. I mean, wh what do you mean? Everything is perfectly fine. Everything is totally fine, just how I remember it. Yeah, yeah there's that OST we love so much. Perfectly good, a happy time. Oh, there's the cat. Yeah, remember the cat? Yeah, everything's totally good. Kel, Aubrey, it's good to see you guys. How have you been? Did you miss me? Well, wait, what? What are you guys doing? Nice. Good job. Yo, he's fucking good at that. Oh my god. Yo, Aubrey, not the bat. God damn, Aubrey. Holy shit. <laughs> not the fleshy sound effect. <laughs> Oh, guys, what the fuck? What game is this? You did not tell me we were playing a new game. I don't remember this one. I don't think I like it, dude. Can we stop playing? You realize that I just witnessed you guys commit a murder, right? I will be telling the authorities. Man, Aubrey always gets what she wants. Uh... Hell? The game is called Omori. The home run. <laughs> uh, guys, can we go home now? Hi, Omori. We were hoping that you'd come by soon. Aubrey? Want to play cards with us? We were just about to start another game. Yeah, yeah, nope, everything is still fine, chat. Just as how I remember. Just how I remember, dude. Kill and Aubrey have been fighting a lot again. You would think that they get tired it af after it uh, after a while, but they're both just so full of energy. Just how I remember, my good friends, Kel, Aubrey, and Hero. What a great time we're having here, killing Basil. Honestly, fuck you, Basil. With our good friend, the God Kitty. Yep, just uh, your normal run of the mill happy Omori time. Excuse me, Basil. I'm sure he's fine. He's got to pick himself up by the bootstraps, he'll be okay. I don't see a difference? Me neither. No, I can't say that I see a difference either. Everything looked perfectly fine and dandy there.
I am curious though what game we were playing. I've never heard of that game before. Never played it either. That's definitely new. It must be the game of murder. All right, chat. Final door. Statue of a religious figure. You feel as if as if it is judging you. Ah, a hard frozen steak. Would you like to eat some? Sure. Yummy frozen steak, my favorite. What, you guys never have your steak blue? It's called a blue steak, okay? And it's delicious. You know what's worse than eating a frozen steak? Eating a microwaved one. So honestly, this is a step up. The final key. It was called Pitching Basil. <laughs> This death was the easiest one so far. Uh, so far, I don't know, man. It was it. He got murdered by his own friends. Red door also has its own menu screen. So if I quit now, we'll see it. I'm gonna save again just in case. My least favorite collab, Basil and a fast moving blunt object. <laughs> Get ready to lose your sanity? Bro, my sanity has been slowly sapping away. It's been slowly sapping away since we entered the black space. I'm guessing I was too early for this. Have to do it later on. Okay. You know what? Maybe we deserve to be judged. I mean, you guys did convince me to kill a cat earlier. You should be ashamed of yourselves, chat. It was a cute cat and his name was Miwo. And you guys ruthlessly convinced me. Nay, virtually forced me to kill it. <laughs> Basil deserved it anyway. We don't know that. Hey, yo, Basil, are you finally are you finally ready to dr drop some truth bombs on me, man? I'm so fucking curious as to what this game is about. Iro, the truth is here. Finally, dude. Fucking forty hours later, you've been running from uh, this for so long. But this time, we can face it together. You killed Miwo? I had to. Chat forced me. Chat had a gun on my head. I couldn't, I couldn't fucking resist, alright? They were threatening my life. Hyrule, why did it end up like this? I'm I'm so sorry. I'm singing. 
I'm sinking. Will you forgive me, my best friend? <gasps> Did he kill Mari? Bro, did fucking Basil kill, murder Mari somehow? You want to save Basil? No. Fuck Basil. He deserves all that's coming to him and more, dude. I'm wondering if saying no is a different ending. Alright, fine. Come here, Basil, you fuck. You fuck. Why does he always end up in this sort of situation, strapped into something? <laughs> I'm starting to think Basil likes it. There's something out there. It's calling me, and it's calling you too. Let's go together. Just another basil death. There's no light bulb here. Can I leave? No? Okay. No. Finger. Oh no. Oh no. What do you mean a finger? Another finger? What is it doing to Basil, dude? Another finger. Okay. Alright, something's making a basil soup up there. Sounds delicious, actually. I could go for some basil soup. from that's three <laughs> we're gonna fight basil again strapped up like that I guess finally dude Never knew you could walk past Basil. Apparently you can't do anything else. We were trapped up there. I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me, my best friend? Yo, they are ripping him apart. Please, it hurts. Tell them to let go. Well, wait. What are you doing? Tell them to stop. Please tell them to stop. Help me. I kind of want to see how far this goes, actually. Oh... Or I could just stab you. That works too. Okay, I guess that's my decision. Leave it to Amori. He chooses stab. I mean, par for course. I've done nothing all game but stab children, so it kind of makes sense that my final act would be to stab a child. Bro, is this... Is this the seat to, to godhood? Wait, this is literally fear and hunger. Am I going to become a new god if I sit here? I've already forsaken all my friends and I stabbed my best friend. Omori is now a new god. Fear him. At least I- maybe it was an act of mercy stabbing Basil. 
Oh my god, it was all a dream. Well, I mean, we knew I was in the mind space. Where's Hero? Let's go back to bed. Honestly, back to sleep, Omori. Nothing to see here. Guess this is what winning looks like. <laughs> what the hell, dude? I fucking murdered Basil. I guess in my dreams I did. Is that the background music or is that someone playing piano? Hold on, I gotta brush my teeth, chat. Despite everything. Including stabbing Basil in the gut. It's still me. Do we save over the last file chat? Have I already made a decision that would branch out my endings or am I still, am I good to go here on file five? I don't think I did. I don't know what I could have possibly done. All I did was get through all the keys, uh, find some secrets, and then go through the story. I have not been able to choose anything. Good to go? All right. Is that Mari? Wait, that's the window. You know, waltzes were always my favorite. That's why I chose this song for our last recital. But you always hated it, didn't you? How I'd lock myself away on the piano, all that practicing, playing the same song over and over. When you first picked up your new violin, you were so eager to play with me. But keeping up with something isn't so easy. Maybe I pushed you too hard. I'm sorry, I just wanted it to be perfect. We never did get to play at that last recital. Did you want to play it with me now? Whoa, you scared me there, Hyrule. Sorry for bursting in like that. Yo, you ruined it! I could have sworn I heard some music. You must miss Mari a lot. It's been hard for me too. I still think about her every day. I just don't understand why she chose to leave us the way she did. But I knew her as a person who would always want all of us to be happy, even if it was without her. Last save is before the decision for which ending you do. You'll know when you've made a decision. If you don't notice, we'll tell you. Okay. You should really get some rest. Go upstairs. I'll come join you in a bit. Go upstairs. I'll come join you in a bit. Scared of the void dussy. Bro, we know the void dussy is nothing to be scared of, Omori. Come on.
So the Voidusi is real in the real world as well. I think I'm going to need that bandage. Hmm. He said to go upstairs. He said to go upstairs. Okay. There is nothing here. How do you know that? Huh? Oh, Mari. Is he listening to the song on his headphones? Oh man, poor hero. I guess I'm giving him his space. He's crying. Oh, dude. Bro, I better not cry at the end of this. Not like it's possible, of course. There is so much... Such an insane amount of testosterone flowing through my blood. It would not let me cry. Alright, only thing to do is to go up. I imagine I'm probably still good to save, right? Back to the piano. Okay, I guess I saw it. Whatever. I saw whatever that you guys wanted me to see there. Okay. One last bathroom check. Is it just me or is it a little stuffy in here? You ever get the feeling that someone's breathing down your neck? So, that, there's no way that's Mari's ghost haunting me, right? That's just got to be like, it's got to be some kind of like trauma or something. Some kind of trauma response. I doubt Mari's actually evil and is currently haunting me. Ghost Sisters got your back. You think so? You think this is, this is a good thing? Only thing I can do is go back to sleep, chat. But I'm kind of scared of going back to sleep. She just wants to brush her teeth, too. She's waiting in line. <laughs> She's waiting for me to finish. Even ghosts get stank breath. They got to make sure they keep up their ghostly dental hygiene. I mean, I guess there's not else. There's nothing else I can do but go to bed. I've literally interacted with everything in this house. Gotta go. So bye, yo. See you later, Luca draws. Take care, man. Mari's tall as fuck. She really do be tall. Did you see that? Daylight, it has cometh. Nah, no way we're going back to happy-go-lucky fucking family-friendly Omori after this. Right? Hey, Hiro, it's Mommy. Tomorrow's the big day. The movers will be here first thing tomorrow morning. I gave them the keys, so don't freak out if you see them. Bro, what? I thought I'd be long done with this game by now. Holy shit. It's a good thing we didn't save it for last stream. Yeah, right. Remember to finish organizing your things today. I'll be picking you up in my car out front. Just come out when you're ready. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Wait, she's already outside? Oh, fuck. Good morning, Hyrule. Rise and shine. I noticed a to-do list with the chores your mom gave you, so I finished them all. Yo, what an absolute baller, dude. Why are you wearing a thong? 
What is that? He's got like pink undies on. Yo, hero, is there something you're trying to tell me? I mean, to each their own, I guess. Also, I made you breakfast. Come down and get it while it's still warm. Hell's already on his second plate. Oh, that's an apron. Okay. Okay, I guess that makes a little more sense. Brush my teeth. Still me, despite everything. There's a lot of game in this game.
Aubrey isn't feeling well? How could this be? This must be the work of something more sinister. Perhaps an evil mastermind. We must attack we must track him down at once. Aubrey was supposed to watch the new dance I made up today. Do you think she's avoiding me on purpose? Hello? Is anyone there? Come to think of it, I have we ever been inside Aubrey's house before? I don't think so. She always comes over to play with us. I don't remember hanging out at her house at all. Yo, Lazy Sands, aka Win a Melon. Welcome to the Twitch chat, brother. Hello, Aubrey, is anyone home? Hello? Worse than killing the kitty. Like you killed the cat? I did no such thing, dude. And if I did, it's only because chat forced me. Look, in this file, that cat is alive, so you have no proof. That is a lot of trash. This is what the inside of her house looks like. What the fuck? Hello? Aubrey's mom. Okay. Oh no, dude. No wonder she's troubled. What the fuck is this? Looks like we got some kind of abusive mom here. Or rather, maybe not abusive, but definitely negligent. Okay, she's alive, thank God. <laughs> Part of me was half expecting to see her hanging from a rope, dude. Oh, okay. Okay, she's still alive. This is an abusive house. Her mom is an alcoholic. Well, that much is definitely evident. Hey, Aubrey, how are you feeling? Well, what the heck are you guys doing here? Get the hell out of my room. We're sorry for intruding. It'll only take a bit. We just wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm fine. I've been hearing some things, but I just want to hear it from you. Can you tell me what happened yesterday? Nothing happened. You pushed Basil into the lake. Aubrey and her mother lived alone in a small house on the hill. You pushed Basil into the lake. You know, you know he can't swim. I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to push him away. He could have drowned. I said it was an accident. Look, I'm sorry, okay? You're the one that keeps showing up and acting like you're better than everyone. Well, you're the one going around bullying Basil and stealing his stuff. Stop talking like you know anything about that. I keep telling you that it's none of your business. But it is my business. You... You and Basil and everyone here were my best friends. All right. All right. I see the problem here. This is just your typical Kel and Aubrey fight. Just make up, you two. You've done it so many times before. Yeah, I don't think this is the same, dude. Hey, these are the missing photos of Marty. They're, they're all I have left of her. But you know it's still not right of you to take them from Basil. These photos belong to him. Well, it's no use now. Even if we have these photos, I already threw the rest away. They must be long gone by now. That's not true, Aubrey. Harold has them right here. What? He does? But how? I could have sworn I threw them away in the trash. Unless you and Hyrule... Heh, <laughs> you really dug through my trash for this thing? You gotta love that diddle face. That's kind of gross. Heh. <laughs> Aubrey, let's put Mari's photos back in the photo album. All these photos, they belong together in one place. Please don't tell me I have to do it. 
That's way too much work. I'm trying to beat this game today. We're going to be here for 35 minutes doing this. We should do this together. Oh, for fucking shit's sake, bro. What the f... God damn it, man. I, I don't know. What do you mean? What does it say? Oh, it actually doesn't let me place it unless I put it in the right spot. All right, that's fine. We'll just brute force it. Bro, did the first one have to be all the way in the back of the fucking book? Got literally the last one? Oh my lord. Oh, it just tells you. Okay. During our recital, I wonder if we'll ever hear Omori play the piano, the piano, uh, play the violin. They were dating. Oh my God, that's so cute. Are you fucking kidding me, man? This story is getting sadder and sadder by the second. Beach day. Cookies, cookies and cards. Thank you. 
Yo, Pop Dog wants us to hydrate. I got you covered right as soon as we're done here. Shut up, duck. Who asked the duck anything, dude? Okay, yeah, they're definitely dating. We're still missing some pictures, or at least one. How do we go from bashing Basil's head into this? This is this is what the whole game has been. This has been the entire game. Only in the last two hours have we gone through the darkness that is black space and saw the things that we saw. I don't remember shit. Well, I remember the name of my grade one, zero to one friends before I moved, but not them as people. And my grade two to six friends is easy to remember, but no warmth in the memory. That's what I'm saying. I got no warm childhood friend memories. I feel like I missed out. Chat, are we going to read all of these? That might be... Dude, we, we have to finish this game today. My 12th birthday, I thought my friends forgot, but they all surprised me with a strawberry cake. I feel so lucky. This year is going to be a good year. Another group photo. This was a little after I opened all my presents. Mari bought me, bought me this photo album, and every one else bought me film for my camera. I'll try my best to use it all. Only if you want to read them. I almost feel like it'll explain a little of the story. Just Kel being Kel, so many party hats. Out playing a video game on the couch, how the little shy.
Hmm, I'm not sure what Kel is doing here, but he's probably having a good time. Hero's sleeping on Mari. He's all tired out from swimming. Well, it seems like Mari won't be able to get her summer tan after all. We're about to head home, but I managed to catch one last photo with Mari and Hero. This is so cute. Are you kidding me? It's been six hours already? God damn! God damn! I still sleep with a teddy bear I got as a baby? I have a secret. I too also own one of the teddy bears that I used to have as a baby. His name is Poochie, and I'm pretty sure you guys saw him back in the other house. He used to lay out in the back of the bed all the time. We're about to head home, but I managed to catch one last photo with Mario and Hero. They look so happy. A match ma made in heaven. Aw. Oh, fuck. Yay, Hyrule's turning 12 today. Even though me, Hyrule, Aubrey, and Kel are in the same school year, Hyrule's younger than all of us. He's a baby of the group, so we have to take care of him. Hyrule holding a super huge present from Mari and Hero. Hmm, I wonder what it is. You can't really tell from the photo, but Mari and Hero got Hyrule a giant building block set. Hyrule seems much more interested in the box, though. He acts just like Mari's new kid in Miwo. Wait, it's Miwo! Bro, it was Miwo! Chat, you heartless fucking bastards. I can't I can't believe you made me cut him open. That's fucked up, dude. We're going to be we're going beetle catching today. Here's Kel ready to pounce on his next victim. Oh, and Hyrule's uh, there too. He looks kind of sleepy. Mari says this beetle's a giant stag. It suddenly fell from a tree and surprised everyone. Hero's too gross to look. All of us hanging out in a brand new tree house. Looks like Hyrule's finally reading the book I showed him. I want to spend every day in here, but it's a shame that summer vacation is almost over. I hope we get to use this treehouse again next summer. We went to Hobbies to read the latest edition of Captain Space Boy. Everyone is so into it right now. I'm sure it's all anyone is going to be talking about once school starts. Playing cards with Kel, Hero, and Aubrey. They're so easy to read. They can't hide anything on their faces. Mari baked everyone cookies from scratch. They were chocolate chip and super delicious, like always. So Mari's where Kel got, or Hero got that cookie recipe from, huh? Yeah, I know that you guys are deaf. That's why I made the comment about it being six hours. You have 165 seconds before you uh, get your hearing back, chat. Looks like I have the winning hand, huh? Bet nobody knows that yet. It's the first day of school today. Me, Hiro, and Kel are, and Aubrey are up bright and early. Aubrey is so photogenic. Sai, goodbye, Summer. Until next year. Hiro giving Mari a big hug. Mari doesn't come home until late now because she's taking extra classes to prepare for college. Me and Hiro have been hanging out a lot, but I'm sure he still misses her a lot. Mari practicing her part of a big recital next month. We're all going to go watch. It's going to be Mari and Hiro's first performance together, but I know they'll do just fine. We will all be showing our support from the audience. What killed Mari, dude? It had to have been Basil somehow. Mari getting a little camera shy because she's made a small mistake. Don't worry, Mari. Just keep going. No one will even notice. After some begging, Hyrule came to join Mari for recital practice. They're still working out some stuff, but they already sound so amazing. I know they're going to be great. Go, Mari. Go, Hyrule. You can do it. Okay. And then after that, travesty happened. Are you done looking? Yes. There. Now everything is back where it should be. It looks like one photo is still missing, but at least the rest of them are back together. Now, doesn't that feel better? Uh, we really did have a lot of fun together, huh? Yeah, I guess we really did. I'm sorry, guys. I've been acting like such a jerk. I'm sorry, too, Aubrey. I really haven't been treating you so great, either. All right, apologies accepted. Now we can all be friends again. Who wants a hug? Come on, hero, not now. You're so embarrassing. I'm good, thanks. All we need to do now is check up on Basil. Never pay for that sound app. This is a tradition at this point. <laughs> I did some digging. It's not $5, it's $10 for the sound app, so... Why are we deaf? Because I haven't paid for my uh, voice meter. 36 seconds. I hope he's feeling better today. Aubrey, knowing everything I heard from Kel, I'm sure you know... I'm sure you know you need to apologize to him. Yeah, I know. Thanks, Aubrey. It's good to have you back. 
Now, let's get you out of this house. Leave it to Hero, dude. Huh, okay. Yo, we got the whole party! The whole party is here, dude. Let's go. Hi, bunny. Bun, bun. Bun, bun, bun. Hero is a hero, dude. How long is this game? Long, apparently. Yeah. Viren said it right. I thought we were going to finish it today. Well, no. I'm not going to say that because we are going to finish it today. There is no universe where we, we're not finishing this game today, chat. Okay, let's go to Basil, I guess. Now, where's this secret boss you keep trying to tell me about? Damn, her mom really just does not give a shit, does she? Yo, Aubrey, are you okay? Hey, Kim, I'm good. You still have an hour plus extra for extras if you do them. Explore? Okay. Hey, Kim, I'm good. Thanks for bang bringing... I was gonna say thanks for banging everyone. Thanks for bringing everyone here. Hey, guys, guys, Aubrey's here. Yo, Aubrey, are you feeling any better? We even saved the taffy for you. What happened in there? Your face is all red. Do you need me to teach someone a lesson? Don't worry about me, guys. Sorry for ignoring you all earlier. Eh, it's no biggie. We're just glad you're all right. Right, Charlie? Yeah. Aubrey, Aubrey, let's go hang out at the park. I want to show you some cool new moves I came up with. I was up practicing all night. <laughs> that sounds fun, but maybe later. I have some things to take care of first. We'll hang, we'll all hang out tomorrow, I promise. Oh, okay. Well, I'll see you later then. Aubrey, don't keep us waiting too long. You know I won't, Kim. I'll be back before you know it. This is my favorite movie ever. That guy's sleeping. <laughs> Woo! Mom says we get to go to Gino's Pizza tonight. Mmm, pizza. I had pizza last night, and it was delicious. And I still kind of want pizza again today. Do I have a problem, chat? Cat is laser focused on watching the bird cage. A bird cage. There's a pretty bird blue to, blue. Pretty, pretty blue bird in there. It looks healthy, but nervous. Am I losing frames? I don't think so. Chat, am I losing frames? It might just be you, this Ricardo. You friends aren't bad kids either? Nah, definitely not. They're just funny. Checkers guy, yo, you excited for the party tonight? We'll see you there. There's a party? Oh, hello. I remember you. You're the boy who chose wallpaper for our house. I see you brought your friends. If you're here for the party, I'm sorry, but it's a little bit early. Oh, shoot. That's our bad. We'll just come back later. Huh. Do you guys smell that? It smells like something is burning. Oh, sorry. One second. Actually, uh, you guys wouldn't happen to know how to cook, would you? I might need a little help with dinner. You need help cooking? Well, today's your lucky day. My brother Hero is an amazing cook. He'll definitely be able to cook something right up. Huh? I will? Oh, thank you. Please, come inside. Wow, there really are side quests. Bro, what? Do we have time for these? We have to finish today. Sorry to trouble you like this. It's my first time cooking for so many people. So I'm a little nervous. No worries. We'll help you out, won't we, guys? Won't we? Uh, all right, then. Come on, team. I'm going to put you all to work. Huh? Wait a second. Even me? Yeah, of course. We used to cook together all the time when we were kids, didn't we? 
Thank you so much. Feel free to use any ingredients. I don't have a lot, though. Don't worry. I know we can make something delicious. Let's get to work. Aye, aye, Captain. Wow, what smells so delicious in here? Oh, hello, Sean. Our new friends were just helping me prepare dinner for tonight's party. Well, it looks like you guys are doing a great job. I'm done setting up outside, so let me help too. Yay, now all of us can cook together. Phew, all done. With your help, this party is going to be a great success. Thank you for all your help again. You're all such genuinely nice people. Anytime. Thanks for trusting us with your kitchen. We really enjoyed cooking with you guys. Yeah, that was really fun. Can't wait to eat everything at the party tonight. We'll be waiting for you. Take care of yourselves. Is that some kind of like housewarming party or something? Side quest done. Mincy's the light diligently sketching away. Mincy, are you ever going to be finished sketching? I'm afraid we won't be holding a sermon today, but feel free to use this place to collect your thoughts. Everyone is welcome here. Can I go to the graveyard yet? Can. Where was Mari buried? Our dearest Mari, the sun shined brighter when she was here. The grave could use some flowers. Do you want to leave flowers? Yeah. Hey Mari, it's me again. Hyrule, Kel, and Hero are with me this time. You visit Mari's grave a lot, Aubrey? Yeah, I try to, although some days it's a little hard. You guys visit sometimes too, don't you? Every now and then. Though maybe I should have visited more often. Hey Hero, how are you feeling? I'm okay. I'm glad we're all here to see her. Hey, Mari. I'm sorry I haven't visited you yet. I was being selfish, I think. It's been so long, but I still miss you more than ever. I'm sorry I wasn't there. I'm just really sorry. What the fuck happened to her, dude? I need to know what happened to her, bro. I need to know now, this instant. Hero, you don't have to be so hard on yourself. Yeah, we're here for you even if you need us. Huh. Thanks, guys. Don't worry about me too much, okay? Here, this is for you, Mari. From all of us. You want to have a picnic with Mari? Sure. Oh. Oh my god, this is so sad. What the fuck, dude? Can you swap party lead in real world? She got killed by a bunny. Hero wasn't uh, there in time to be the hero. So sad. So sad. <laughs> oh, man. Spirits have been howling all day. I pray for this neighborhood. Someone will be grieving tonight. What kind of ominous shit is this, old beardy? You just sit around fucking scaring kids by saying shit like that all day? Get a job, beardy. The symbol of Fairway Town is supposed to be it's supposed to represent a great way to a better life. You remember learning about it in class when you were in, in elementary school, but you can't remember all the details. What the fuck, Beardy? Someone left bread at a gravesite. Are you serious? Someone left puzzle pieces on this one. 
What do you think people are going to leave in my gravesite? I hope on my gravesite people leave bags of sugar. Big old bags of sugar. And a little plushie of Shiggy. And maybe some pizza. Okay, definitely some pizza. A knife. Cucumbers? You better not leave cucumbers at my fucking gravestone. I will haunt you. Sugar and salt mixed in. <laughs> I'll leave a like on your grave. <laughs> I'll accept that. That's fine. Let's keep going to these houses. We'll check them all one by one. Oops, I went to the right house. Fuck! I had one job. Hey, Polly, how's Basil doing? We were wondering if we could hang out with him today. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm afraid Basil isn't home right now. He's in the hospital. Oh, my God. You gotta be... Did I fuck up? Bro! What happened? Oh, my apologies. Let me clarify. Basil is in the hospital visiting his grandma. She was rushed to intensive care yesterday evening. Oh, no. I'm really sorry to hear that. Do you know when he'll be back? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe sometime in the afternoon? Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're fine, we're fine. Sorry. Would you mind if we check back here later? We're all really worried about him. I don't mind at all. Please come by to visit. I think Basil would appreciate having some friends over. I'm happy to know that Basil has friends that care so much about him. Oh, it's nothing. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Right, Aubrey? Yeah, sure. Anyway, we'll be back later. See you, Polly. Okay, see you. Well, I guess we have to wait until he gets back. Is there anything you guys want to do until then? I'm okay with just hanging out and doing whatever. Then I vote somewhere indoors. It's way too hot out today. Sure, maybe we can hang out at our house a little. And then later, when it cools down, we can all go see the treehouse. Oh yeah, we should do that. Especially since Aubrey's with us now. Our old treehouse, huh? I haven't been there in so long. Yeah, we haven't either. We haven't yet either. We wanted to go see it yesterday, but it was too dark outside. How about you, Hyrule? What did you want to do today? It's your last day, so you should call the shots. I, I want to keep doing side quests. You should decide how you want to spend your last day in Faraway Town. Lead the way, Hyrule. All right, we're fine. I'm going to do... I want to spend the last day in Faraway Town doing what I always do in Faraway, Faraway Town. Which, of course, is breaking and entering everyone's house and checking out their bathroom. That's what I want to do. I want to leave a fat deuce in everyone's toilet. Hey, have you guys seen my idiot little brother, Angel? I gave him some money and sent him out on some errands this morning, but he hasn't come back yet. Knowing him, he's probably just forgot. If you find him, could you check up on him? Tell him his sister is growing impatient. Awoo! Awoo! Don't get excited, chat. That wasn't a real awoo. I just realized what I had done. No, you did not get an awoo, bro. I knew someone was going to say it. Come on, bro. I was reading. I was reading the prompt. Add it to the album compilation. <laughs> By the way, how did the convention go, Phantom Eevee? Hopefully no poopy diapers. <gasps> black cat, black cat, black cat. Kitty! <gasps> follow the black cat. I must follow black cat. Where'd it go?
Are you going to finish the game or do another stream? No, we're definitely finishing today. There's no way I'm doing another stream. Man, that's a lot of bread. Oh, wait, isn't this... This is the house of the twins. No wonder they were the bread boss. In real life, they're... Surrounded in bread all the time anyway. Hello, bathroom. I'll miss you. I should carry around some ramen. Put it in the toilet. I should go to everyone's house and leave a big old ramen in the toilet. And that way, if you go home and you see a fat ramen in your toilet, you know mori has been there.
Wait, you see it? You see the remote? Shut up. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me. Wrong house. Hold on. Wrong house. Wait, was that the wrong house? Yeah, that was Kel's house. Hold on. You see the remote? How the fuck do you see the remote? There's nothing here. In the kitchen? Oh my god. <laughs> bro. <laughs> it was in the fucking pie. Are you kidding me, bro? Well, you've done it again, kiddos. You know what that means. Here's another sweet can of orange, Joe. You've been a real champ these past few days. I can't thank y'all enough. If I ever lose my TV remote again, I'll know who to call. Okay, fantastic. Bruh. It was inside the pie. What? Where did the black cat go? We chased the black cat down this street and I don't see it anywhere. I'm a little pissed. All right, whatever. We need to finish this. We're almost done here. Just a few more houses to check. Leave the cat alone? What do you mean, leave it alone? I don't have any nefarious intentions. I don't even have a knife on me. Just hands. Yo, why don't I have a, a knife on me?
Yo, Insel, what happened to your grandma? Is she alive? Oh, she's fine. I see you made friends. Hello, welcome. You're also nice to visit an old lady like me on such a nice day. I'm sure there are much better things you could be doing with your time. Me? Nah, dude. Literally nothing. I got nothing better to do. We are done. Let's go. All houses have been visited. All side quests have been done and started. Now we just gotta go to the park. Puppy! The bu the puppy ball. Yeah, that's your good boy. You did your good boy. Of course I gotta pet the doggy. Of course I gotta pet the doggy. Abu Abu! They're having a picnic at the park. That's cute. Ah, oh, dog, dog Narnik. Kel, your old man is such a fool. We're at a beautiful picnic, but I forgot the most important ingredient. Meat. Could you spare some time and buy some of the old goods, cheap, cheap stuff at the other mart? Here's some cash. Just take it to the meat man in the back. He'll hook you right up. Damn, tw 20 bucks! Hello, boys. Good to see you're finally spending some quality time with me. Please stay for a while. We're having the best weather today. Immediately runs. Hey, well, look at here. It's Aubrey and the nerds. Hey, Kim. How's it hanging? Oh, you know, pretty good, pretty good. My dad said he's going to take uh, us to a sick party tonight. Should be cool. Oh, yeah, we're going to party. Kim's a lot of talk, but she's got a big heart. And me, I got some big muscles. Life's been kind of stressful lately, but people watching out here helps me put things into perspective. You said that last time. You said that shit last time. I feel cheated. I want new interactions. Fifteen smackaroos. Nice. Huh. Ah, do you smell that fresh air? This town has been much cleaner since your youngins have been starting helping me pick up the trash around here. Can't really thank you enough. That reminds me, while I was picking up trash yesterday, I happened to stumble upon this. Please take it. Ethereal CD, huh? When Bebe told me about her crush, I had to see him for myself. So far, he's a no-show, but Bebe told me that we were looking for someone with an obviously fake blonde wig. Huh. Bebe has been pretty bad. has pretty bad taste in guys. Who's gonna look after her when I go back to college? I told my big sister about my crush. She wanted me to show him to her, so we're standing around while he usually hangs out with his friends. Where he usually hangs out with his friends. I don't think he's coming. I'm pretty sure he's preoccupied playing a game. Relatable. By a stroke of fantastical luck, it seems that I have struck gold and won the lottery. Wait, really? <laughs> Are you wondering why I'm still here if I'm rich? I'm enjoying the sunshine, of course. I can figure out everything else tomorrow. Hey, can you spare a couple of bucks? Yo, spare a couple of bucks. Kitty! Damn it, we need fish for the kitty. What the fuck is happening in here? What is happening here? I'm not really sure how, but this trash heap appeared here overnight. Sorry, I'm going to be stuck here cleaning forever. We are recyclers, followers of the holy bin, as we all have littered almost accept that they are trash. True. Chat, have you accepted that you are trash yet? It's only a matter of time. You have to do it. The sooner you accept that you are trash, the easier things will be for you. Yo, Stephanie Garza, welcome on into the YouTube chat. Need to go? Yo, I'll see you later, Scoob. Good night. Never? Come on, dude. Accept that you are trash. Life is much easier. I've accepted I was trash a long time ago. 
I may be trash, but I am free. Wait, I got more trash for you. Damn it. Alright, let's go buy fish and some meat. I think we have to do something else over here as well. No? Oh, I need to give him his lunchbox. Huh? What's this? This is Dad's mac and cheese. He hasn't made this for me since I was a kid. Sniff, sniff. Fish for the kitty. The cat left a gift for you. Arcade piece. Oh, wait a minute. Wasn't he looking for like a, a super rare piece in the arcade? That's just her face. That's how she looks like. Is she just permanently in that grimace? Damn, poor girl. Ten dollars for a pet rock. Deal. Whoa, hold on a sec, Hyrule. Is that a pet rock you just bought? Sure is. Wow, I don't believe it. This is really strange since we haven't played since we were kids. But it just so happens that I have mine too. Right here. Such a weird coincidence, huh? Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we battle with our pet rocks? You still remember how to play, right? Sure. Awesome, I thought you would. Oh yeah, I'm pumped. Now let's clash. Are you ready to clash? 
Yo, it's fucking Pluto. Wait, what? It's not an actual rock? Chat, rock, paper, scissors. Hold on, I'm gonna give Phantom Eevee a chance to redeem himself. You fucked it up last time, Phantom Eevee, but here's your chance to make it up. This matchup doesn't seem fair. Yeah, honestly... <laughs> it really doesn't. <laughs> Is that his pet rock? Pluto? Super Saiyan Pluto? Paper? Okay, great start, dude. Great start. What now? I'm letting you guys decide. I bet only do paper. Paper? Paper it is. Yo, not bad so far. Not bad. Should we do paper again, chat? I mean, if it ain't broke... I know he's thinking there's no way he's going to do paper three times in a row. But he would be wrong, baby. He would be wrong. That's how you get into their head. You fuck with the way they think. I shoot. Oh, shoot. I lost. I guess I'm pretty rusty. Well, that's okay. You were always the one who was good at video games anyway. I guess you're the same old hat. Supposed to buy some harp supplies for her this morning. Uh oh, so that's why I had that money in my pocket. Oops. Hey, uh, when you were talking to my sister, did did she look angry? Yes. She she did. Huh. Should I bother going back home then? Is it even worth it at this point? 
God, no, if I keep running away, I'll, it'll only make things worse. Come on, Angel. You have to face your fears head on. Onward, Angel. You can do this. Wow! Didn't somebody need this arcade piece? Uh, it's you, right? No, it's the guy on the right. Shit. No, man. I keep accidentally... Fuck, I have to do it. I gotta do it, chat. Bro, I haven't even leveled up. Okay, chat. I don't want to pull out the ultimate strategy right away, but... I feel like it's necessary. He'll never see it coming. Get ready for the triple paper salute. Ooh, a man of culture, I see. Fair, fair. But you'll never do it twice. You don't have the balls. Shit! That's fine. You think I'm beaten, but this is actually where I pull up even stronger than before. Because when I'm down is when I come back. We're giving each other high fives. Brother, come on, man. Stream ends in 10 hours? No, it's not. We're going to be finished within an hour and a half. Guaranteed. There you go. See? It's all coming together now. It's all coming together. Boom. what I say? What I fucking say, dude. Your pet rock's pretty strong. I guess me and my and bunny still have a way to go before we catch up to you. Damn straight you do. Secret CD. This is literally me after every round of laundry. Hold on, this song's actually kind of goaded. Yo, hold on, that song was actually goaded. Where is my song? Where is my song? Now there is one. My other song. Is it even in the OST? It has to be, right? It's such a it's a banger. This might be this might actually be my favorite song in Amori. Sigh, dang it. I'm trying to fix this old arcade machine, but I'm missing a rare and important piece. You mean like uh, this one? This might even beat out the Bread Twins song for the best song in the uh Amori o OST. Might even squeak by the porn virus song. Alright, cool. Now let's see here. There you go. Good as new. Take the CD as thanks. Devilish CD. Okay, as good of a banger as this is, I do want to see what the devilish CD sounds like. Sprout more eater. Bro, how many side shit is there to do? Oh my god, I have to do it, dude. Oh my god, it's Snake. We're playing Snake. I actually fucking love Snake. Oh, hell yeah. You shit! Shit! 390, is that good? Wait, I start from 390? Ah! 
Oh, there's lives. Bro, I'm so big. I'm so big! Oh, no, I can beat my high score. I can do better than that. Oh, okay. That's the wall there. Never mind. Big in size, small in skill. <laughs> How dare you? What's your sprout mole eater high score, huh? I think seeing you just caught me by surprise. Though, I guess that's a pretty crappy excuse. I hope you've been doing okay and stuff. I'm sure everything was really hard for you to deal with. Sometimes, I think I was the one that should have been there for you. I don't know if we'll really ever get over Mari's death, but it's okay to take it slow. To allow yourself to feel every emotion and to have patience. Anyway, I just want you to know that I still care about you and stuff. Hey, Aubrey, I'm going to keep it a buck fifty with you. Uh, I'm not going to say a single fucking word. You might as well be talking to that tree there to your left. I've been thinking about this since I saw you, but I, but I think you're looking a little pale and kind of thin, too. After you move, promise me you'll go outside more often, okay? That was cute. Oh, we found another challenger. We found another challenger. I have to. I'm on a roll. I haven't been beaten. Chat, I have not been... I have not lost. What is this? What is your fucking profile picture? Is that an anime waifu? Oh, well. They're not ready for my skill. Mmm. Okay. 
Interesting. Very interesting when they go uh, paper first. Oh, you think you're smart? Well, I've been down in this position before, sir, and let me tell you, I always come out ahead. We're replaying the same thing. I know you're picking rock next. Do it. That's fine. You're going to do it this time for sure, though. It appears we have met our match chat. This seems to be a stalemate. Surely he won't go paper three times in a row like me. Fuck! That's fine. We still have an opportunity here to bring it home. You are a most worthy opponent. Fuck! My one weakness! That was a good battle. Maybe you need a little more practice. Bro, how dare you rematch right now? More practice? I am literally the master at pet rocking. The actual master. You just got fucking lucky that for some reason you didn't pick rock, not even once. Oh my god, he knows my fucking... He knows my strategy. Is there actual AI in this game? Bro! What is this? Rematch. Best, best, best two out of three. Well, hold on. Best three out of four. Buddy, you're, you're starting to piss me off. What kind of cycle doesn't ever go rock ever? Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. The game is called Pet Rocks. Go rock. Go rock. Oh my God. You're, you're really starting to piss me off, dude. The combo, the combo, uh, the more damage you do. Yeah, if you do two in a row, you get, you hit two lives. Bro, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? How is that possible? How is it possible that he hasn't gone rock once? Bro. Should I just go scissors? That would mean forsaking my strategy, but it appears his strategy is to literally never go rock once. Not one time does he go rock. Not one fucking time. In, in th three whole games, does he go rock? Bullshit, dude. No way. I'm sticking to my guns. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. No, 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 dude. I know the second I actually go scissors, he's gonna go rock. And it's gonna piss me off. You son of a fucking bitch. Fine. Fine. Let's do this. You wanna play this fucking game? It's not over yet. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm on to you, bitch. I'm on to you, bitch. Why don't you go paper again? Perfect. We got him this time. There you go. How are we feeling about this 12-hour stream? <laughs> Nah, dude, nah, it's not gonna be 12 hours. We're fine. Look, we're, we're actually going through with blazing speed. These side quests, I mean, they're getting done, let me tell you. Now what? I think I gotta go to uh, that one house. Bro, I don't remember what fucking house that kid lived in. It's currently six hours? Okay. That's fine. We got we got two hours left on a normal stream day. Okay, not this house. Doing great, honestly. Thank you. Finally, some positivity in chat. 
I am doing great. And we will finish this stream today. Well, this game today. Okay, not this house either. I keep forgetting the most right. Okay. I'm trying to go to that one house. I have to go, uh, was it you? No. I got to give the letter to that dad, and I also got to talk to, um, okay, I know where that other house is. I only can remember where that dad was. I think it was actually the first house on the right. Bottom right. We gotta become the Pokey, I mean, Rock Champion. I mean, we're well on our way. That's three people down so far. This is my house. Wait, no, it's not. This is Basil's house. Wrong house. Okay, this is the house with the leak. Angel, come back here. I'm so sorry, sis. Please, I beg you. Not that. Anything but that. Ah! He's dead. Huff. Oh, it's just you guys. Thanks for fetching my baby brother. He's he's in a better place now. <laughs> he's actually dead. Just kidding. He's standing in the corner there. Time out. Maybe next time he'll think twice before he uses my money to buy trading cards. Here, take this. A rare card. Only four of its kind. Yo, we got a rare one, dude. Let's go. What do you think the PSA on that's going to be? It's holographic chat. That's how you know it's going to be worth money. All right, that's one down. How much better place is that corner than the rest of the world? That's a good point, actually. He's probably better off in that corner. Have him stay there forever. That's the party house. Hey, it's you guys again. Do you, did you all come because you were worried about me? That's so thoughtful of you. Come in. I think I really have it this time. I can feel it in my soul. Oh, boy. This poor man. In before he makes another hole in the wall. Come on, man. You can do it, dude. It's gotta be fixed now. It's just gotta. Ah! Here. I got this. Put a bucket down. That doesn't really help, Aubrey. Oh? Yeah! <laughs> I can't believe it. It's fixed. It's really fixed. I'm so happy I could cry. You're amazing, beyond amazing, phenomenal even. How could I ever repay you? It's the uh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Everyone, thanks for being here for me through this hard time. In return, please take the CD. I found it in the hole in the wall. You know, I have a son and daughter just about your age. Their names are Vance and Kim. Their mother and I separated when Kim was just a baby. I don't see them as often as I'd like, so I make sure to spoil them with candy when I do. Oh, so you're Kim and Vance's dad. I sure am. I'm proud of it. Even if they're always getting into trouble, at least they take care of each other. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Anyway, I think it's about time that I enjoy some drip-free rest and relaxation. Thanks again, guys. You're always welcome here. You are welcome. Enjoy your life. Your drip-free life. Now, where the fuck is this last house? 
I think it's top left. Get back up on the right. Dad was on the kitchen. Upper right, one before last. You gave letter for dad to the eyebrows. Thick eyebrows. This, this is writing for my son. Oh, I've been so hard on him these past few, past few years. I... Don't make me go back to him, dude. I'm done. Thanks for delivering this for me. I, I hope to see him again one day. Maybe even on TV. Haha. <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't even get a quest complete notification jingle. Alright, well, uh, I believe that just about does it. I think we're ready to maybe find this secret boss. We've gone through all the pet rock challengers. We've done all of the side quests. We've checked all of the areas. I think we're ready to go. Save. Good call. I can go inside the trash heap. Oh, can I, huh? Hold on, I also want to check something real quick. Girl, you still don't got it? She's been screaming at you since day one. Bro, it's the bread twins. That's why they're so weird. The bread twins high key has the best OST in this entire game. stuff. Supplies, if you will. Might just manage to get this stream done in the next four hours. Oh, ye of little faith. Ye of little faith. This stream will be done before you can say Omori. You just have to say it really slow. That's everything. Wait. Wasn't there an NPC that's supposed to have the rock thing on him? I feel like we're missing something. You think you thought you'd finish this game last stream? Yeah, tell me about it. You got trash. Oh, fuck yes! I got my fucking steak knife back! Let's go, dude! No one saw me pick that up, right? Brothers and sisters, we must all accept that we are trash. Although we may be trash, as long as we, re we remain biodegradable, we may re yet be saved. In the biodegradable force name, reduce, reuse, and recycle. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, I have to fight this guy? He's literally a man with a fucking recycling bin on his head. Am I really gonna stab him? This is the real world. I'll get put in prison. Stabbing children in the mindscape is one thing, but... Stabbing them in the real world seems like it's gonna fuck me up.
Can't in instantly defeat a foe. What if it works? I'm trying it. Recycle the bath into compost. <laughs> I just realized that the, the theme, the recycling theme is actually playing in the background right now. Will this be a VOD because I need sleep? Don't worry, Bitbike, it will be a VOD. Uh, it will be on my YouTube playlist where all the other VODs go. Just go to my channel and then click on the playlist that says streams. It'll be uploaded there automatically. All right, focus, Samori. Focus your breath. You're going to want this puncture to be perfect. Aim directly under the nipple. That's where the heart is. Are you ready, Omori? Remember, right under the nipple. Fuck him up. Make him bleed. Make him bleed out right here on top of all of his trash. Damn, I didn't get a chance to stab him. Fuck. I didn't get a chance to stab him. Yeah, you probably don't care, but I don't actually believe this stuff. My girlfriend dragged me along. She can get kind of carried away about this recycling stuff. I should reflect on my life. Oh, there's more. May the spirit of the rubber glove work through me so that I may be closer to the trash bin in the sky and the trashless world. In the biodegradable course name, reduce, reuse, and recycle. All right, buddy, come on. Get this over with. I like the Morse code in the background. Forget the stabbing, Aubrey. He just hit him with a nailed bat. <laughs> True. <laughs> no wonder they die quickly. I mean, we are some well-armed kids. What's the what's the most dangerous thing that man's gonna find in that recycling bin, huh? Bottle caps? Wait, your girlfriend also dragged you along? How many girls are into this? Like, there's no way he has anything anywhere near as dangerous as a steak knife and a nail bat. Needles? Oh shit. You might- you might have a point, actually. Use needles will actually fuck me up a bit. Plus, it'll leave me with addiction. Does this give juice? That gave her one juice. Are you kidding me? Coffee was hot and bitter as expected. You don't know why people drink this. Yo, based. Yo, actually base take from Amori. Why do people drink it? I'll never know. Orange Joe and coffee combination created a questionable flavor. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I need to give her juice. All right, screw it. I guess she doesn't need juice. Wow, I just realized. Oh my god, it has pictures for real life too. That's adorable, bro. Oh my lord, I need to see them all. Aww. I think it's actually the same pictures. Yeah, it's the same pictures, just in real life. Well, not really. It looks like Aubrey's are a little different. <laughs> Aubrey's are so different. Wait, that's so cute. What the fuck? I love how Mori just hides behind everyone. What's Aubrey's to kill? 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Very cool. Damn, poor Kel. Jesus Christ, the fucking uppercut. Coffee, icky. They see Kel throw a basketball at them and they think they're fine and then Aubrey and Sonny roll up. <laughs> they're like, oh, it's just a kid with a basketball. I can wait a fucking minute. Is that a nail bat? And does that kid have a knife? Oh my God, what have I got myself into? These hooligans. Gather all the trash you want, dude. Get nail batted. I know that he's our leader or not, but building a giant trash tower seems kind of sacrilegious, don't you think? I'm not sure why we're fighting all of them. At this point, we've come in too, too much, you know? Not to be that guy, but getting hit in the face by a basketball hurts. I mean, sure. Yeah, I can agree with that. But you know what would probably hurt more? Getting your kneecaps blasted by a nail bl uh, a nail bat. Or getting stabbed in the kidney. Both of those, I think, would probably hurt a little more. I spent eight hours concentrating this unbreakable block. I'd like to see you try and get past it. Bot. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, unbreakable, huh? So about that. Wait, I have to fight you too? God damn it. Our cult is so much better. What cult? We're not we're not a cult chat, okay? You're not a part of any kind of cult here. This is a family. I've been beaten by trash. Forgive me, Holy Bin. I am unclean and unworthy of the trashless world. Start I'm just not going to talk to that guy. One cucumber a day. See what happens to your body. Bro, why do you all want the heat? I am deadly. I am armed. We literally... I, I don't have a fully developed prefrontal cortex. And I have a knife. You think I'm thinking about my future actions? No, I'm just stabbing people in the gut. Stabbing them right in the kidney. Gaze upon the sides of our army and tremble. Without loyal followers of your own, you will never be able to defeat us. Quite charming. Return when your numbers exceed ours. We will have our showdown then. Even if you are quite charming. What do you mean when our numbers are greater? What the fuck? I'm gonna need to find three other teammates? Maybe I have to kill all the trash men. I did leave one unfinished. Come here, dude. Aubrey's friends? Huh. Maybe. Would I have to recruit them all?
Chat, we have an hour left to finish this game. Oh my fucking god. What the fuck? How are we not done yet? A filthy plastic wielder demands my allegiance? Never, but perhaps if you were someone more charming. Aha! This place doesn't suit you. Why don't we take care of this mess before it gets out of hand? Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Why is there... What the fuck? One of them is a crow? Yo, what the... Why is one of them a crow? Alright, well. I guess we got a crow on our side. Good luck, bitch. Oh, it looks like you outnumber us now. It would seem that we have no choice but to surrender. All right, let's go. Anyone up for some barbecue tonight? All right, see you later. So I guess uh, we should get going too. All right, sick. We're ready to go here. If you want, you can do next stream, Star, Omori, Pumpkin Panic, and Ultra Kill. Nah, dude. We're finishing this fucking game today, dude. It's gonna happen. Welcome to the top of the Tower of Rubble. It's this guy. It is I, the Recyclopath. The only, uh, the only one chosen to speak in the Holy Bin's name. I had a dream last night. The spirit of the rubber glove told me that this world is no longer fit for us. We must build as the Holy Bin in the sky commands us to reach the trashless world where humans and biodegradable materials may coexist in harmony. You kids have reached a long way up this tower, but I'm afraid this is where your journey ends. After all, you are nothing but trash. Rubbery, senseless trash. May the grace of the biodegradable fork work through me. Prepare to be recycled. Okay, do we even bother going for the recyclemen? I mean, we probably should take care of the ads, right? Ouch! Wait, that actually hurts! Oh my- wait, what's happening? What the fuck? Yo, I got fucked up! Now, why would you attack him first? Nice, one down. I know he's the cult leader cover covered in trash, but hear me out. Oh, not again, dude. Not with the fucking permanently replenishing ads. Can we attack him directly? Will it do damage? I'm just gonna try taking out the ads again. We're kind of screwed as soon as our juice is out. We have been blessed with victory! All hail the holy bin in the sky! Wait, I thought Omori can persevere! They fucking attacked Omori. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Hyrule? Uh, Hyrule? Hey, you alright? You've been staring into space for like five minutes now. What were you daydreaming about? Your expression, it was so peaceful. What the actual figgity fuck? The hell? Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Duck, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, Duck. Shut up.
We lost? Well, not for long, okay? I'm not gonna bother with the damn trash people now. We're gonna go straight for the head honcho himself. Yo, Doug, I swear to God, if you don't fuck- if you don't fucking shut up. Better not be a zero damage situation. Yo, Kel, you gotta stop whiffing, dude. What the fuck is that? How am I almost dead already? We got him. We got him. We just got to focus on him and nothing else. Looks like we're going to have to whittle him down. Fuck. Bro, he's smacking us with trash bags. Bro, we really have to whittle him down here, huh? Maybe we'll encourage me to do more damage. Yeah, I keep getting my attack up. Damn, okay. Now that's a lot of damage, baby. Okay, we'll do this. We'll encourage again. And we'll smack him up. You ever been smacked with a trash bag before? It hurts? I can't say that I have, actually. No. Alright, so it's a one-time thing with that uh, attack buff. I typically avoid uh, picking fights with my local garbage men, so no, I can't say that I have been attacked by a garbage bag before. Ow. R.I.P. Aubrey. I don't think we have a way to get her back to life. 200 damage, god damn. Oh, holy bin in the sky, please grant me the power to recycle thy enemies. I'll recycle your mom. Yeah, I said it. I said it. And I don't regret it. What do you mean he tends to me? I, I fucking I picked Aubrey. Sorry, he's dead. He's dead as fuck. Come here, bitch. No. Don't you dare. Don't you dare one-tap me. Oh my god. He's so close. Oh, dude. Oh, I don't want to die here. Just went for a walk. I got a suit vest and a tie for fifteen and uh, fifteen dollars, and there was also a fifty dollar offer for a sword. Did you take that offer? I know you took that offer, right? That's a whole ass sword, bro. Come on, bro. Come the fuck on. What the fuck are you talking about? That's bullshit. Literally, he was one health, man. Oh my god, dude. You're fucking pissing me off, fucking trash, man. Oh my lord, bro. What the fuck?
91. Get that bullshit out of there, bro. He was one health. Literally all my health, man. Seller was willing to uh, lower the price to $30. Damn, dude, you missed out on a whole sword. Feels bad. Okay. Now we go in for the kill. Omori is nice and buffed. Aubrey is still alive. Hero and Kel aren't going to be doing much damage. Oh my god. The 198 damage is fucking dirty. Holy shit. You know what? You guys can just heal yourselves. You don't do much damage anyway. Yeah, we can't use the power of friendship in real life. No. Unfortunately, in real life, all we have is the power of a nail bat and my steak knife. Honestly, a little weird that we literally can't, like, heal ourselves once we die. Bro, come on! I'm still doing damage. Alright, I think we got it this time. As long as he doesn't fucking one-tap me. Alright, it's fine. You can slap him. Or her. There you go. There you go. Easy. How are you not dead? How are you not dead? In what world are you not dead? Bro, if I get one tapped. Okay. All right, we, we passed the RNG test. We win. Oh, why? Holy bin, have you forsaken us? Get the fuck out of here, trash man. I'm sending you to the dumps. No, how is this possible? But you are all just trash. We are destined to reach the trash this world. Has thy holy bin forsaken us? No, I must have misinterpreted its message. The holy bin makes no mistake after all. It is I who must have been wrong. Wait, I understand now. The holy bin must be telling me that there is no trash this world. We can only make the most of the world that we live in. Yes, come brothers and sisters. The trash this world is not up in the sky, but on the ground that we stand on. We must make this our trash this world together. <laughs> but everything's trash. Wait, it's the same ending? No way. What did I get for that? D dog. What did I get for that? Bro, no way. Nothing? The truth, there is no point in it. 
It was just a random event. Bro, I got nothing for it. But I bet I still have no items, right? I bet all my items are gone. All right, no, actually, oh, what the fuck? It really was just in my imagination. Bro, what did I do that for? We have 40 minutes left to beat the game, bro. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's all right. It's okay, now we speed run and we're gonna beat it. Now we speed run and we're gonna beat it. We did all of the side quests. There's not a single thing missing for us, right? Not a single thing missing. We've done all of the side quests. Bro, what satisfaction? Beating up a fucking recyclable homeless man? I don't give a shit. I don't care about him. <laughs> Damn, hero's one true weakness, dude. Oh, uh, no. What's wrong, hero? Oh, I know. There must be a spider in this room. Don't worry, hero. I got you. Now, where's that pesky little... Aha! I got you now. It's alright now, hero. You can take it easy. The spider's gone. Show it to me. <laughs> He really doesn't like spiders, huh? <laughs> huh? Did you say something? Show me the spider. Oh, that's right. He looks like Pluto. He does. <laughs> he does look like Pluto. Here, look. See? It's really dead. I'm going to go flush it down the toilet now, okay? My god, bro, you can really shut him down, huh? I don't think poking him is going to work either. It, it needs to be gone. And I'm back, but the spider's gone. It's like magic. <laughs> yeah, he's back. There you go. Ah, thank goodness. Hero, I feel like your fear of spiders has gotten worse. You really should try to work on that. What if a spider shows up when I'm not here? Ugh, you really think that could happen? Man, Hero, this is one of those rare times where I feel like the big brother. We can play video games. Yeah, kill it. Kill it. Now, this is more like my childhood. We are not beating it in 40 minutes. Watch me, dude. Watch me. Now time should have passed, right? Wait, what? Or do we have to go to my house? Looks like the sun is about to set. Do you want to go see the treehouse now? Uh, after a save. All right, we're basically done with everything else, right? Let's do it. Forty minutes is plenty of time. Yeah, listen to Little Pink Moth. All right, they know what's they know what's up. Wow, I guess you really are moving away, huh, Hyrule? When I see this empty ha house, it all feels so sudden. But for you, moving away must have been a long time coming. I hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, some happiness. There have been a lot of things that were unsaid these past few years. And painful memories that we kept to ourselves. But even through all that, I'm relieved that we were still able to become friends again. I'm happy that we're all here so that we can all face the truth together or face this together it's okay hero i'll go first
Hey, Hyrule, when you move away, do you think it'd be too much trouble if you could... Aubrey, Hyrule, are you guys coming? Actually, never mind. It's nothing. What was she going to say? Keep in touch? Impossible. Do I even have a cell phone? Void Dussy? The last time we were here, there was a Void Dussy. Oh my god, wait a minute. The tree's gone. This is where Mari... Oh, wait. Yeah, it is. It feels like forever ago, but I can still remember that day perfectly. Oh my, are we finally going to figure out why Mari died? That, that day was really busy. In the morning, I went out with mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't get home until the afternoon. I remember that day too. I went out to get a haircut with dad. Oh yeah, you were there with your dad too, Aubrey. You were preparing for something, weren't we? Yeah, we were. We were going to watch Mario and Hyrule's music recital. It was supposed to be that night, but when we came home in the evening... Even after all this time, I still don't understand why she would do it. No, she did not kill herself. There's no way. I don't think any of us ever will. What? What? Hey guys, let's just keep going. Why? Everyone looks so happy. I guess that's always the story, isn't it? What the? F what the fuck? Nah, Basil has to be involved somehow. What, did Basil tell her to do it? Did Basil snap one day, said, kill yourself, and then she actually did? Man, I had the sneaking suspicion that it was something like that, but I just, I couldn't find a reason why she would do it. Oh my god, it's literally... It's the same room. It's the same room we we started in. This place has seen better days, but it looks like everything is right where we left it. All our old stuff is still here. Hey look, here's our playing cards. It was the best card- I was the best at card games, wasn't I guys? Mr. Plant Egg. Oh, you're so dirty. Look at all these old books. So this is where all my cookbooks went. Da! I think I just stepped on a jack. Oh man, such good times. Hmm. Why do we have a toaster in here? For toast? Duh. Mr. Plant Egg is so dirty. There. Good as new. I remember now. Kel brought this toaster in here. He said he wanted me to cook with it. Kel was such a weird kid. Man, I was the best at card games. So she injured her knee. photo don't forget it's in the toy box in the toy box is the cat on the calendar it is yes depresso is invisible to many apparently hey look Cairo found a photo of us but how was how does Basil tie, tie into all of this? Is my question. We all look so happy. Wasn't there a photo missing from the photo album? That must be it. Hey, you're right, Cal. Take your photo album out, Hyrule. We should add in it.
Basil's memories. There, now the photo album is complete again. You know, this is probably the last time that we'll all be together here in this treehouse. Now that the photo album is complete, we should look through it one last time. Good idea, Hero. The photo album's already out, so we might as well, right? Let's start from the beginning. I literally just did that, so we're not going to do that. But I do want to see this entry. Ta-da! All summer, we've been working on the treehouse in Hyrule's backyard, and today it was finally finished. Hero and his dad did most of the work, but Aubrey and I made paper plants to put in the windowsill. We all did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. The day the treehouse was finished. Dude, why though? But why? What could possibly have caused her to fucking off herself? Look at her! Dude. Oh, Mari. I miss her so much. I... I miss her too. Hey, come on, guys. Why the long faces? Look at all of us back here together again. Mari would be so happy for us. Yeah, you're right. She would be. Uh, if only Basil could be here too. Huh? Hey, Aubrey, what's up? Now, where the hell is there a toy box, chat? I don't remember seeing a toy box ever. Wait, remember the... Remember the vision of the dad cutting down the tree? You think this was it? Maybe the dad was cutting down this tree. You know, after everyone drifted apart, I felt so alone. But now I realize that I was the one who was pushing everyone away. In the few months after Mari died, everything changed so fast. Tyro and Basil became more closed off. Kel made a bunch of friends playing sports. And Hero always seemed to be busy studying. I was so angry at how life kept moving on. I felt like everyone abandoned me, and abandoned Mari too. But I couldn't see that everyone was dealing with the pain in their own way. After Harold stopped coming to school, I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch, so I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed like kind of uneasy about it at first, but after I begged him, he agreed. It's hinted that she felt like she needed to be perfect, maybe golden child syndrome, maybe. The walk there was really quiet. Basil wouldn't even look at me. And when we got to his room, I tried to talk to him, but he said he had to go to the bathroom and ran off. That's when I spotted his, his his old photo album on his bookshelf. I just wanted to go through the photos because, well, I just, I guess I wanted to see everyone happy again. But when I opened it, Basil had blacked out all of the photographs with marker. I couldn't believe it. He even had blacked out Mari's face. All of our memories together, I f it felt like he had destroyed them. I was so confused and angry. I thought he was a nutcase. So, instead of trying to understand him, I stole his photo album and started calling him Creep and things like that. And eventually, I wasn't the only one calling him names. I feel like scum for that now. But you know what? Ever since then, all I've been doing is trying to cut myself off from everyone. It's kind of funny, but I've been doing this worse than what Basil did, yet I'm the one who's angry at him. I'm such an idiot. Hey, it's okay, Aubrey. We've all made mistakes. All that time, I didn't really understand what was happening. I was afraid that I'd somehow make things worse. So I just decided to stay out of, out of all of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey. And I'm sorry to you too, Hyrule. I was, pretty, I was a pretty crappy friend. You were still pretty young then, Kel, but I'm the oldest. So I should have known to take care of everyone. I just... Ah, uh, no. It's fine. Everyone's here now, so it's okay. I don't... I don't deserve friends like you. Don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious that you still cared about us. I mean, just look at the photos in the photo album. 
There's no trace of any of that black mark uh, of the black marks you were talking about anywhere. You sh you can see all of our faces just fine. I don't suppose they all just clean themselves. I would be reading everything, but my fucking throat is starting to hurt, so I'm only gonna read these story beats. Good old chicken roast. I want a chicken roast. Chicken roast sounds delicious. Wait, there's nothing in this party. What the hell's the point? What the hell's the point of this? Maybe we're supposed to bring Basil in? Could also be in Kel or Aubrey's house. You think so? I don't think there's gonna be anything here, but I'm gonna check anyway. We already did this. Oh, kitty. Oh my god, I need to go get fish again. I gotta go get fish again. Wait, all the flowers are dead. Wait, that's kind of weird. Weren't the flowers alive the last time we came here?
You'll find it along the way, don't worry. Okay. All right, that saved us some time. Uh, we gotta go get fish. I'm sorry, I have to, dude. We've fed this cat so many times. I can't leave it hungry. I hope I have enough money for it. There's no way I'm about to take a job. Not again. Does that have a hamburger for me? A coin. People are in different spots. Man, so that whole thing was literally just a, a fever dream? So this is your hangout spot with your new friends, huh? Yeah, so what? Uh, nothing really. Can't really blame you. It's a pretty cool place. The lake's a little murkier now, but I remember we used to swim here all the time. It looks the same as it always did. You just had lower standards. <laughs> maybe so, maybe so. So why did we stop swimming here again? You don't remember? Mari stopped wanting to come here after the time Hy Hyrule almost drowned. Oh man, I completely forgot about that. Kill and I used to do tricks jumping off that statue, but when we asked Hyrule to try it, he froze up and fell onto the lake. Do you remember, Hyrule? It all happened so fast. And even though we were already in the water, it wasn't uh, us who saved you. Nope, it was Mari. She dived in before we could even react. I'll never forget that moment that she carried you out of the, wa the lake. And when you finally opened your eyes, she fell on top of you and burst into tears. I had never seen her that way before. Mari really loved you, Hyrule. You know that, don't you? Internet said you can't miss it with the box. Noted. Hey, Aubrey. What do you want, Kel? I've been thinking. We get into fights all the time, huh? Yeah, we do. But even after everything, we're still friends, right? Yeah. I guess we are. Huh. Isn't that weird? Maybe. I don't know. Huh. <laughs> oh, you two. That just means that you two are really comfortable around each other. I'm a little jealous you two can be so candid even after all this time. I think that's something really special. Really? I was just about to say that I find it kind of annoying. Ugh, you're such an idiot. Okay. Hopefully we don't have any side quests to do here. Oh, buying fish. Fish. Fish for kitty. With my final ten dollars, I can no longer afford fish for kitty. I hope that it's satisfied after this. I got your health and wellness right now, coming right up. Uh, uh, where was Kitty? Oh, Kitty was over here. 
I'll tell you to stretch and hydrate right now, but it's been a uh, it's been another hour, but I'm too poor. Well, luckily Dem Jike is here. By the way, Dem, did you hear? You got uh, you got company. Jum is now also a cucumber god. For whatever reason, I mean, I don't know, but I'm done asking questions about Jum. You get the feeling that's the last time you'll see that cat again. But I don't even need a seashell. Is that just an extra seashell in case you didn't get the other ones? Stretch and hydrate. Final one before the ending of the game, chat. Let's fucking go, Jum. <laughs> Yo, I fucked up my knee. Jesus Christ. Alright. Have we ever checked this book's bookcase? No? Okay. I'm guessing that's just an extra, uh, an extra seashell. I doubt that I have to bring it to Sally or whatever her face is. I think we're ready to go to Basil's. I'm ready to get this answer, dude. So we figured out what happened to Mari. That's great. That answers a lot of questions revolving, you know, their relationship. But now, what is the tie with fucking Basil? Why was why is he acting so weird? Why do apparently why does Amori hate him? What's with the black space? We still got questions, dude. Self-wellness time. That goes for you too, chat. If you haven't gotten up or drank water in a while, that was your cue to do it. Thank goodness you came back. Is something wrong?
<laughs> Hero's always been such a big softy. Just like you, Aubrey. What did you say? <laughs> it's nice to hang out like this again. I've been so busy with school and studying. I don't really have time to make friends anymore. That's cute. That's how you know Kel cares. Kel literally called the couch and he gave it to Aubrey. Well, you'll always have us, I guess. See, I was right. Look who's so softy now. Huh. The ending is long. You should do it tomorrow. <laughs> Not when I've already decided to do it today. It, as long as it takes less than an hour. But yeah, it's true. I know we'll always be there for each other. Just like how I know that Mari's still here with us too. You know, I hope we'll, we'll be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow, Hyrule. It would be nice to have a proper goodbye. Yawn. Man, I'm getting sleepy. And he's gone. What the? Is he asleep already? Full speed ahead, chat. Fuck it. We're finishing it. Yep, that's Kel for you. That part of him hasn't changed a bit. Hey, Hyrule. Thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time, but I really appreciate you for doing it for us. And hey, tomorrow's a big day. I hope you're not too worried about moving to a new place. If anything, you got us. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. Huh. Life gets better, huh? Hey, Hyrule, after you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something. Yeah, then we can all go out for some sandwiches. Or maybe we can all go out to the park or the beach or just sit at home and watch TV. Who knows? We can do anything. Yeah, that sounds kind of nice. Do you think my new friends can come too? Of course they can, Aubrey. You don't have to ask. The more the merrier, after all. Come on, guys. It's time to sleep already. Yeah. Good night, guys. Well, I don't have the feeling we're going to get a 10-hour stream. We're not going to get a 10-hour stream. God damn, we've been live for eight hours already, though. Jesus, shit. Holy fuck. Good night, Kel. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, Hyrule. See you all in the morning. Maybe if I didn't have to sit and do absolutely everything, man. I really did do this to myself. I always go into a game going like, oh, we're not going to do a completionist run. There's no way we'll actually sit, sit down and do everything. And then, of course, look at my dumbass... Fucking 50 hours later into this game, having done absolutely everything. Every side quest finished, almost all of the side quests in the, in the fucking real world finished. Don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Okay, what is happening with Basil here, huh? Will you forgive me? My best friend. Please. Back in white space. But wait, we're in white space as me. Well, hello there. Nothing but static, a tissue box. Oh, shit. I didn't realize the prompt said to destroy it. Did I just fuck up? Bad ending achieved. I messed it all up, chat. I'm such an idiot. Voidusi! Oh, 
Oh my god, the final boss is Voidusi! We've been running from Voidusi for so long, we're finally facing it! In hand-to-hand -hand combat! Something drags Hyrule into the shadows. Hey, thanks, babe. These two. Actually, all three of them. Give me all three of them. Thank you. How can you tell it spoils? If spoils are a worry, should mods purge all and any comments that are near to spoil spoilers? I give you permission, yes. I don't want anything spoiled. Babe, can you take Kitty out of here? She's not gonna let me eat. <laughs> okay. Are we going down the line? This is the first thing that we fought. Calm down, Amori. It's just the shadows. Okay, my attacks are still doing nothing. I guess we just have to keep calming down. Wait, he's winning. It bit me. Gross. Do we focus or calm down? I'm gonna calm down more. I don't wanna die here. trying to talk to me I also need to know what this void does he is and how it relates to Mari Try to look in here to purge uh, passing people that are spoiling or joke spoiling. I appreciate that, them. What did I miss? Uh, well, you didn't miss the end. <laughs> you literally just missed me doing every single fucking side quest. Despite knowing that I had to finish this game today. So now we're going overtime, naturally. Swathed in the wind. Focus on it. Is that? Oh no. 
Oh God. Oh wait, we've, we saw that. We saw that in the dark space. That was fucking Mari. Oh my God. My life is not in danger. Oh my Lord, dude. We really are just fighting through trauma here. That's what it is. It's just trauma. I was the one that found her like that? My god. Your lungs tighten up. We're literally trying to focus. We're literally trying to like fight our trauma right now. Our own memory of our sister's suicide. It's actually a really cool way to do it, I think. Calm down, focus, persist. Heart beats out of my chest. Persist. We have to face it someday. Fingers won't stop trembling. You hear your breathing begin to steady. You gather all your courage and learn to overcome. Oh, dude. This is fucking, this is so sad. This is like heartbreaking. Is this the ending choice? What do you think? Either fighting her or trying to overcome? I mean, shit, man. What a roller coaster of emotions. Tell me about it. I think it's beautiful the way they structure the fight. In comparison and like just like thinking about the story and what's actually happening. I got a light bulb. Wasn't there a spot where a light bulb was missing? Have we overcome the death of our sister? That's the fucking tree, isn't it? Basil. Basil, what is your deal, dude? I know you're responsible somehow for Mari's death. Hyrule, you're finally here. I've always dreamed that you would come back for me, but maybe it's too late. The truth of that day will be hard to accept. When you see it, you have to stay strong. And if you can, please forgive me. What the fuck did you do? 
Basil, what the fuck did you do? There's still hope for us because you're here. I believed in you and you came back for me, so please believe in me too. Are we dead? No, we're not dead. As far as I'm aware, we are currently trying to deal with the trauma of seeing our sister hanging from a tree. Um, that really fucked us up for years, and now we're uh, we're facing it head on. I think that's probably what the the void shit has, you know, to do with it. But my question now still remains: What does Basil have to do with any of this? photo of something daughter is gone and you you are my only son I can't lose you as well okay so that fucked up our mom I mean as it would naturally fuck up any mother this doesn't go anywhere. There we go. That's a picture of Basil opening the screen door. And apparently Omori was there, or Sunny. Okay, we've seen this picture before. person is breathing steadily. What is happening in this picture? Oh, I think it's a Mori hugging Mari. A dead Mari. You see four kids climbing a ladder to space. You see five kids having a picnic. You see four kids riding an elevator. You see four kids talking to a whale. This is what's happening in my dreamscape. Mori and Mari. That must be rough, bro. My god, I can't imagine, dude. Especially considering that Omori and Mari were obviously very close. Like, to see something like that, oh my god. That... No wonder Mori's fucked up. Age makes it even harsher. Literally, 12 years old. You are 12 years old. And you see your sister, who you love more than anything, who's been with you all this time and has been a great sister, and you, you share all these great memories with, hanging from a fucking tree. Her corpse, lifeless corpse, hanging from a tree. 
as a 12 year old kid. Oh my god, dude, that would fuck anyone up. No wonder he's mute. This person is not breathing. know how to feel if I saw my sibling like that it's like it's almost like you, you can't like you can't imagine the level of pain you would feel what's happening in this picture I can't my brain isn't working what, what is this is someone dragging her body up the stairs A photo of her back? I think it's someone dragging her body up or down the stairs. I think that's exactly what that is. Hyrule, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. What the fuck is wrong with my face? We saw this in the black space again when we were looking during uh, in the mirrors. Omori Omori's pulling her, yeah. Omori, don't worry, everything is going to be okay. Today's the day of the recital. This person is not breathing. Wait, so we found her in the tree and we dragged her upstairs. So I guess it was me and Basil. Me and Basil found her in the tree. We cut her down and we dragged her lifeless body up the stairs. Then what happened? You should still keep a lookout for a toy box, by the way, chat. Oh my god. Why would we do that? What are we trying to do? What are you trying to necromance her? Are we cutting off her fingers? Feels like my fingers are being cut off. How the hell did he take this picture? He's looking at both of his hands. How the fuck did he take this? What is he holding the camera in his mouth? Ah, my fingies! My poor phalanges! Just got my thumb left. Hey, yo. What's that? Broken violin. 
I don't think these are photos, but memories. Ah, Basil's memories, maybe. Because it's from his perspective. We didn't, we didn't push that bitch down the stairs, did we? There's no way we killed her, right? Did we set up her suicide? No, what is she doing up? It would be strange to take a photo of a dead person. You're right. So from Basil's memory, he looked up the stairs and I was there with Mari still alive. At that point, Mari was still alive. My god, did I actually fucking kill her? Why was there a tussle? Wow. Don't you wow right now? Wow. Is that a tussle or are we hugging? Oh Jesus. Oh god, wait. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Please. Please, I'm not ready. at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Why is my face like that? Did I fall down the stairs too? Threw in the light bulb. Wait, I didn't see the picture. Oh, thank God. I thought I fucked up, dude. Do you want to pick up this photo? Yes? I have to face the truth. Looks like sister attacked you? Yeah, it's kind of str- But why would she do that? I fucking did push her down the stairs. God, it kind of looks like I karate chopped her down the stairs. Look at the swag on that push, though. Just started my lunch. How the fuck are you still streaming? <laughs> Bro, I said we were going to finish the fucking game today. So we're going to be finishing the game today, okay? But was it self-defense? I'm sorry, chat. I'm so fucking hungry. Was it self-defense? Because it looked like she was either hugging me or attacking me. So why would she do that?
Well, hello there, Omari. You're looking as spry as ever. I love what you did with your jaw. And are you doing something different with your hair? Because it's really working, man. Gotta say. Oops. I don't want to sit here right now. Can you fill in the notebook more? <clears throat> I still have my pet rock, by the way. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Yo, wait. We did miss a side quest. I wonder who the fuck was the, the master rock guy. No, it wasn't you, Side Duck. Pipe down. Pipe down, bro. I know it wasn't you. Wait, hold on. I want to. I want to actually go through it now. Damn it! Let me go through it. Shit! I can't. Guess we have to wait until we get more. Game will make you do the album when it's time. jump rope did we really set up her own death was it basil's idea is that why i hate him i wonder if it has something to do with the recital maybe i didn't want to play maybe i didn't want to play so i broke my violin and then she confronted me about it for some reason, it got physical. I accidentally push her down the stairs, kill her. I come down. Oh my god, what have I done? Dot PNG. Then I pull her up the stairs, put her in bed. Oh my god, I will never forgive myself for my actions. Dot PNG. Basil is freaking out because he saw everything. He wakes up Amori, then takes her body. She So he Basil takes her body without Amori's help, actually, because I think Amori... Actually, I'm not sure if it's with or without Amori's help. Basil takes her outside. And ties her up. So, sh damn, they really... Why would they try and hide the death, though? It's not like it, he did it on purpose. It's not like fucking Omori set out to kill her sister. It was obviously an accident. Yo, he really did. He really did. He faked her own death? That's... Honestly, worse. Why would why would you do that? It would be much easier for everyone if the truth was out, wouldn't it? That it was a horrific accident, but no one's fault, and that Mari wasn't actually depressed to the point where she fucking killed herself. I 
I just don't see why you would try to hide this death in this way. This is something you do if you're guilty. Like, if Omori wanted to kill his sister and wanted to hide it. But it was all an accident. God damn it, of course the fucking toy box is right under her dangling corpse. Why wouldn't it be? What a nice fun time to fucking... What a nice fun time we would have playing toys under her fucking hanging corpse. Amori was also 12. True. I don't think the parents or his friends would forgive him. You think Basil was trying to preserve that aspect of it? You think Basil thought everyone would hate Omori for it? I mean, kind of, but it's a flawed way of thinking. Like, it's it's just, it was an accident. Like, what are you gonna do? It wasn't his fault. I mean, technically, it was his fault, but it wasn't actually his fault. When Aubrey pushed Basil into the water, if no one had been there to save him, wouldn't you have said she was at fault for killing Basil? I guess it gets a little tricky. I guess you're right. Because technically she did it and that's, you know, it's in self-defense. Well, not in self-defense, but with not the intention of killing him. But people would have definitely thought that that was the case. Okay, so Omori did help. Omori did help uh, hook her up. God, no wonder they... No wonder they got so, like, to themselves after everything. Damn, dude. No wonder Basil started acting so weird. And Omori shut himself out from absolutely everything. I mean, this is a new level of trauma. That's even worse than what I originally thought. It's one thing seeing your sister string strung up from a tree. It's another thing literally being responsible for her death and then faking it so that no one knows what actually happened. And then you just got to sit there with this dark, horrible secret as a 12-year-old boy. God damn. God damn. The Void Dussy. I knew it. Well, we, we, we've been known that the Void Dussy was her. Oh, shit. I didn't make any choice yet, right? I can save. I can save, right? We judge others by their actions. We judge ourselves by our intent. Save? Okay. Hell has always been there for you. And even though he's a bit careless at times, you know he has a good heart. 
More than anything, he just wants everyone around him to be happy. He's always been someone you can count on to lift your spirits. You will really miss him. Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Wait, hold on. Oh, no. Hero has always been someone you can rely on. He is wise, capable, loving. Oh, wait. I think he says that because he's leaving. Unless he's thinking of doing something else. He is wise, capable, loving, and always puts others above himself. He's the kind of person that will always make himself available to help you, even if to a fault. You will really miss him. Aubrey has always acted true to her feelings, even though she has trouble admitting how much she cares, her actions have shown otherwise. She has been a little hard to understand, but you can trust that she always will try her best to do the right thing. You really will miss her. People think that the eye implies she was still alive when you strung her up and then she actually choked to death? Uh, I mean, she... The eye... In order for her to open her eye, maybe... That would be even f more fucked up. That would be horrible. Especially for her, like, to see that. Thank you. Whatever you do will have consequences. Save every time you have a choice. I'll tell you when you need to do something for the ending, though I think you'll figure it out. I'm kind of scared for myself. Will I? I don't know. Will I figure it out? I guess we'll see. If I save every time, it doesn't matter. I'll see the ending anyway. Even if I fuck up, I'll save scum. No wonder that void dussy has been following him, or following me around, dude. I've been haunted by my actions. By the sight of my sister's dead eye looking at me. Okay. <laughs> I threw up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I just randomly decided to take a piss. I mean, uh, you gotta go, you gotta go. She is not leaving me now. Dude. You want to save Basil? Love this game, such a cool premise. I will say that's probably my favorite thing about this game is just how everything is like put together. Like, the whole story and the way it's being told. I mean, it's just, it's really cool. There, I don't think there's anything else like this out there. I mean, yeah, we have to save Basil, right? I hope I didn't have to go outside for anything. I probably couldn't. <laughs> Sorry, did I ruin it? My bad. Quality content knows no bounds, chat. It will find its way to your ears regardless of the situation. We dodged one ending? Wait, there was already a fucking ending I could have gotten there? Maybe if I had left? Ah, Hyrule. It's just you. I'm glad you came. It's so good to see you. Or maybe one of the endings would have been to not save Basil. It came to you that day. The day Mari died. When Mari, when Mari fell, you, you couldn't have done it. It was something behind you, wasn't it? You're a good person, Hyrule. I know you're a good person. A good person wouldn't do something like that. After all this time, you finally come back for me. But tomorrow, you're going away. How could you do that? That's mean, Hyrule. That's so mean. 
Ah, there's something all around us now. Can you see it, Hyrule? There's no way out of this, is there? Where are you going? Stop trying to leave me. S stop it, stop it, stop it. I don't want to be alone. Not again. You can't leave me again. Basil. We are partners in crime, okay? We are going down together at this point. They'll put a, they'll put me in jail, but they'll put you as well. Hopefully we'll get a cell next to each other. No, you wouldn't leave me. That's not like you, Hyrule. It's something behind you again, isn't it? Was it? Hold on, is there some kind of like uh, ethereal force here? Some kind of demon? Or is that just cope? Is he just coping? Ah, there it is now. Do you see it? Stay away. Stay away from Hyrule. I'll protect you no matter what, Hyrule. You can count on me. When something killed Mari, when something ruined all my photos, I didn't say anything. I didn't want people to think it was you, Hyrule. Hyrule. Hyrule wouldn't do something like that. Don't worry, Hyrule. I'll save you again. Something behind you. I'll get rid of it once and for all. Hyrule, don't be scared. I'm scared too, but this is for the best. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Come on, you've been training for this, Omori. You tried to calm down, but your lungs fought to breathe. You want to run. People say it's guilt and denial Basil's going through. Yeah, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's an actual demonic force. I think it was a, truly just a really bad freak accident. You tried to focus, but nausea overwhelmed you. He poked me. He poked me. Oh god, he poked me. Persist! Hyrule. There's no way out of this, is there? You tried to persist, but you couldn't hold steady. Basil reaches inside me. Oh my god, you want to run. Okay, I know for a fact one of the endings is probably running, right? Run? I want to run. I probably shouldn't, though. Dude, I'm afraid. My heartbeat keeps going up. Maybe I have to wait until that gets to 10. Do we attack Basil? More, I feel like that's not the right choice either. Isn't it crazy that even after Basil yelled, no one heard him? Everyone's sound asleep, okay? They got that itis after eating that roast chicken from the party. I'm gonna try attacking to see what happens. Tell me, Hyrule. Am I selfish for doing this?
So I can do damage to him. Okay, I'm seeing three outcomes here. I can run. I can actually do enough damage to kill him. I'm scared it's an instant death slash bad ending if that uh, little bar gets to 10. Or it could be the opposite. That might be what I have to do is wait for that bar to get to 10 and then it'll unlock something. Slap some sense into him. <laughs> Basil, come on. Get your shit together. We gotta cover our tracks. They will put us to jail, Basil. We did a fucked up thing. We did a real fucked up thing. We should have just left her alone and told the truth. Hyrule. Do you hate me? You want to run. The game really wants me to run. But that's a cop out. That's a bait. I know it. I feel it in my gamer blood. The choice is not to run. Please, stop it. Come here. Slap some sense in th into that noggin. Okay, one more and then I either die and get the bad ending or something happens that I can do that'll save the day. Stop struggling, Hyrule. I'm... I'm so tired. You want to run. Uh-oh. I am stressed out. You are not alone, Amori. Dude, you are not alone. I am also very stressed out. I feel you on that, brother. I'm not gonna lie. I do. I feel you on that. Everything is going to be okay. Here's my guess. The MC has been running from his problems all this time. Running now wouldn't fix anything. Fighting your fears would probably be the better option. That's exactly where my head's at. I feel like running is definitely one of those endings. Running is an ending, and then this is probably the other ending. We just gotta keep fighting. Although, I'm not sure how this is all gonna end. Do we forgive ourselves? Do we come out with the truth? Do they put us in juvie? Does the whole town hate us? Do we get put on the news? Become martyrs? Get our own Netflix special? Uh oh. That sounded like a stab. Bro, we have literally just two options, attack or run. And it looks like we're going to die before Basil does. You still have a knife? I think I do. Fight or flight, literally. Literally fight or flight. I choose fight. Stop reaching inside of me, Basil. You do not have the consent. I do not consent to you reaching inside of me. Wait, I'm actually going to kill him before he kills me. But it's a close one. Looks like we were evenly matched. Why? Why won't you stop? Sorry, man. I've been trained in the arts of stabbing children. 
It's my favorite thing to do. Oh my god, no way he took out my fucking eyeball? This isn't dreamscape either. This is the real world. Comfort your panicking friend with a few gentle stabs. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. I got you. Shh, shh, shh. Come here. Come here. I got you, friend. It's going to be okay. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be okay, man. Just, just be calm. Just be calm. Did I fuck up, dude? No, oh, God. What the fuck? Why is there another choice? What do you mean? There's four ways to go. What do you mean there's four ways to go? I'm going to the park. Or maybe I should go to the left. To my house? What's happening here, guys? Don't worry. Okay, good. I don't have to worry about my choices right now. All right. In that case. Giddy. Giddy. Are you trying to lead me somewhere? Giddy. Hi, Giddy. Where are you trying to take me, Giddy? Back home? They're kind of just manifestations in actuality. I'm pretty sure they were just fighting. Okay, so my eyeball's okay. Hi, Harold. You found your way back home. I don't know if I've ever said this properly, but I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble. When I gave you my photo album, I really did want you to have it. But somehow, whenever I try to help, I always end up burdening you instead. Even back then. All this pain we've been feeling, the guilt in our hearts, even if you try to bottle a lot up, it all comes out somehow. I want to say that everything will be okay, that we have no choice but to carry on, but that's up to you. Aubrey, Kel, and Hero are good friends. You have to trust that they'll forgive us. It's hard to truly believe that, but the photos in our album they're not just photos. They're real memories. Our memories. It's proof of our friendship. Hold those pictures close and remember what you want to protect. <laughs> I'm sorry. It looks like I'm burdening you again. The path to your future will open soon, but only you can decide what to do in the end. It's not much, but I'll be cheering you on. You know, on second thought... That is kind of fucked, dude. Telling your friends, like, hey, so about Mari. You know how we led you to believe she killed herself for four years straight? Well, here's what actually happened. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn. That's a tough pill to swallow. Bruh. Let's make some new memories together, okay? Should I go home? Don't forget, it's in the toy box. Look at baby Omori. Mom's flower arrangement. Mom and Mari.
That's the point of con contention within the community whether Mari was annoyed at you or if he did it without thought. From my viewpoint, from my viewpoint, I, I almost feel like she was trying, knowing like what I know about Mari, it doesn't seem like she would be the type of person to get annoyed. I think Omori was just feeling a lot of emotions and he did not want to do the recital and he was already angry. So I think, I honestly think Mari went in for a hug there in that last, uh, in that one memory of Basil's. I think she was trying to comfort, like comfort him. Go in for a hug to try and like, you know, rein him in in that way. And then in my, you know, fit of rage and emotion, I just, I pushed away and that happened. I don't imagine that Mari would be the type of person to get really angry. Even if she was waiting for that moment, that recital for a long time. Like, think about it. We literally have never seen her angry. I would stab him. <laughs> Isn't about being forgiven. This is about doing the right thing in, the, in spite of the consequences. Yeah. I mean, in Amori, in Amori and Basil's shoes, for sure, the right thing would be to tell the truth, regardless of what your friends think. That's definitely true. I think I wouldn't be able to blame someone in this situation, but also probably won't be able to look at them in the same way. Pity mostly, I think. I think that's another thing. Like, I put I put myself in Hero's shoe, and like, I would not be able to see Omori in the same way. But maybe that would change after time or like understanding, especially given the circumstances that it was a, a big mistake. Okay, I still have the key. I guess I can just open this, right? Do I have no toys, no snacks? Okay, I'm guessing the fighting part is over. Please don't let there be some other ridiculous fucking secret that changes everything again. It's the broken violin. I got a violin. Strands of a long black hair are entangled with its strings. Oh, yikes. Fuck. Shit. That's evidence. Burn it, Omori. Burn it. They've got DNA evidence. Sheet music. Paper is torn and wrinkled by blood, but it can still be read. You see that light bulb up there? The violin is broken, right? Would I be able to play it? Oh, I have it equipped. Okay, where could I play my violin? I figured it was in here, but I guess not. Might be that Sunny didn't feel comfortable with the hug and the emotional moment and pushed her away accidentally too hard. That's my rendition of it, yeah. I think he was, like I said, just feeling too many emotions and he just wasn't comfortable with it. He was angry and frustrated and he just pushed her away just to push her away. Obviously not to kill her. And then the absolute travesty happened. She fucking fell down a goddamn flight of stairs like a slinky. And broke every bone in her body. Where would I play this? Maybe in my room? 
Maybe outside. Probably my room. We already know she wants to be perfect. It's possible she planned to have him be a part of it and got angry when he later refused. I can see why there's conflict about it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's like we're all just guessing at this point, right? And it's definitely true. The game did make it a point to be known that like she was looking forward for this recital for a long time and she was practicing it, practicing for it for a long time. And she was really excited to have Omori play with her. So I can see if, why she would probably get angry. But I don't know. She just seems like such a sweetheart that... I don't know. Okay, I guess we'll go to the room. But not before we brush our teeth, because we're good boys. Look, she's gone. The Void Dussy, a.k.a. Mari, is gone. I really should be sleeping right now, but I can't miss this now. <laughs> yeah, you you forced me to keep going, though. Uh, so, yeah, you, you're you're you better be strapped in. I mean, we're we have to be basically done now, right? This is definitely the final stretch. I gotta find a place to play my violin. It has to be my room, right? Oh, this used to be our room. Oh, God. Mari's bed and mine when I had nightmares. It used to be Mari's, but she switched with me when she noticed I had trouble sleeping. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Am I missing something? The violin's broken. It can't be played. I don't know why I'm trying to play it. But I have the sheet music. Backyard time? Uh, backyard time? I've tried going into the backyard. It never lets me. I've tried multiple times going back here. Yeah, I can't. You're missing one important. You're missing one important place. Can you go outside? Yeah, I can. It's the only thing I can do. Yes, I got just what I needed. Uh oh, my hand doesn't look so good. You can't just tell people that, Kel. You have to keep it a good poker face. Ah, when did you get behind me, Mari? I just got here, silly. Here, I bought I brought cookies for everyone. Basil, are you taking a photo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man, don't take a photo when I'm struggling like this. Oh, don't be so dramatic, Kel. It's just a card game. Hee <laughs> hee. Huh? Another photo? And what's so funny anyway? Is there something you're not telling us, Basil? Don't worry about it. You'll find out soon enough. You look at Kel's hand. A four, a six, and a six. Don't look, Carol. It's it's too horrible. 
Uh, I'm gonna lose, aren't I? What are, what are we playing? 466? Is that... Is that poker? That's not too bad. You got a pair. Mari's cookies are the best, huh, Hiro? Oh, Hiro, don't be so humble. You know your cookies are way better than mine. Hey, that's subjective. Mari's cookies. Mari's cookies have much more love baked into them. I could eat them forever. I'll stop it. You're embarrassing me. You look at Aubrey's hand. A two, a five, and a ten. Hmm, what do you think, Hyrule? What should I do? Decisions, decisions. Welcome back, Pop Dog. A toaster. It does not make toast. You look at your hand. It's an ace and an ace. Tough luck as usual. What are we playing? My hand is amazing. A pocket aces? It was perfectly crisp on the outside and sweet and gooey on the inside. Two cookies. Fuck yeah. Can I just sit here eating cookies for the rest of the game? Yo, Mari, can I get a third cookie, please? Hello? Oh, hell yeah. That's the good ending. You just sit here eating cookies all day. King, a queen, and an ace. Talk about luck, huh, Hyrule? That is actually a pretty good fucking hand. Although, I think pocket aces is better. I guess it depends on what we're playing. You sure you want to go? Do I? Don't. Pop, you're stressing me out. I don't like decisions. Twenty-one? Oh, they're playing blackjack. Ah, okay. Now that makes more sense. Wait a minute. A six, a six, and a four? I mean, that is pretty bad. <laughs> Poor Kel. Okay, I think we're safe to go now. After I eat my fourth cookie. Mmm, cookies. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna go. You remembered the smell of freshly baked cookies. It smelled better knowing that Mari made it from scratch. The violin mended a part of itself. I walk this lonely road, the only road that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes. But it's only me and I walk alone. And there, the watermelon's all cut up. Come on, everybody, take a slice. Yay, thank you, hero. Look at you, such a big, strong man. Oh, not now, Mari. Woohoo! Nothing beats a nice, juicy watermelon on a hot summer day. Hey, don't take a picture of me while I'm eating basil. Huh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Aubrey. I just thought you looked cute. I'll show you when it's ready. Well, okay, fine. I trust you, basil. Oh, that's so fucking cute, dude. Jesus. Ew, gross. Stop spitting seeds on me, Kel. Heh, <laughs> you have seeds all over your face. Well, how about this, then? Stop, Aubrey. You're give, you're gonna give me cooties. Not the cooties, dude. Let them play, hero. They're just teasing each other. Remember how we were when we were younger? I used to hide bugs in your desk all the time just to see your reaction. You were always so funny. Wait, that was you? <laughs> Uh-oh, secrets revealed. Uh-oh, a tear in their relationship. Maybe this is why he's scared of spiders. Audio has uh, gotten a little crunchy. Seems like it's passed. Okay. Everyone's still good, right? 
Nine hour stream, by the way. Holy shit, they were not kidding when they said 10 hour stream earlier, huh? Am I in, uh, am I in trouble now, hero? Guys, come on, we're at the beach. We're supposed to be relaxing. Yellow. Uh, I should probably save on another file if I want to go back and do the other ending. Because this save was right before I fought Basil. So I'll save on file four so that we can go back and do that ending if we need to or want to. You want to go? Wait, not yet. Actually, I think we can go. I think as long as I see the picture, it, uh, it counts. Basil on basil cannibalism. <laughs> you remembered the taste of watermelon. It tasted more delicious when you ate it with everyone in the hot summer. Can't imagine the pain of hero having to find out that his girlfriend at the time had done that one thing, even if it wasn't actually that one thing. <laughs> the pain, the torture. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely see that. I don't know. Now that I think about it, I don't know if Hero would be relieved. I don't know if Hero would be more relieved that she didn't do that thing. Um, Because I feel like... I don't know. Like, if my girlfriend suddenly went and offed herself, I would feel horrible for a lot of reasons. But mostly because, like, I would feel like almost it's, like, my fault. In some in some weird way, you know, like I, I wasn't making her happy enough or whatever. And I'm sure Hero probably had some feelings like that. Cause in his eyes, they had a really great relationship and they were very happy together. And then she went and did that. So maybe when if and when Omori tells him, it might even relieve him in some way. Because then he would feel like, okay, so, you know, she wasn't miserable enough to the point where she did that. It was.
Now I got poopy feet. I guess I can try just rubbing it off on the grass. I told him last time it could be done, but not in six hours. He wouldn't listen. <laughs> What's funny is that it's, it's taking me exactly double that time. Actually, more than that. You sure you want to go? Yeah. You remembered the feeling of sleeping in Mari's lap. It felt more comfortable because you knew that no matter what, Mari would always keep you safe. Is the violin fixed yet? It's not my fault, okay? It's my mental Ill illness that refuses to not try in 100% every game that I play. Like, if there's an objective I know about, I have to do it. So we spent the entire time doing all of the side quests. And picking up all of the items. When we could have just went straight for the ending. Hey, Hyrule. Hey, Basil. What took you guys so long? Sorry, we got carried away playing this new game where you fight each other with these things called pet rocks. Basil, Basil, take a picture of my new raincoat. Oh, okay. One sec. Do you like it, Hyrule? It's my favorite color. Pink. Ew, pink is a gross color. No, it's not, Kel. You're a gross color. Ooh, tell him. Tell him. That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, Hyrule, that reminds me. Mari and I were talking about dyeing our hair together. Mari says she's going to dye her hair purple. Purple? You want to know what color I chose? Pink. Are you saying you want to dye your hair pink? Ew, that's weird. Why would you ever do that? That's funny. She literally dyes her hair pink. I don't know. I just thought it would be cute. Mari thinks so, too. Hmm. I'll never understand you two and your crazy ideas. I think pink would look good on you, Aubrey. What do you think, Hyrule? Yes. He thinks that pink is a great color. See, even Basil and Hyrule agree. You're the one who's weird, Kel. Whatever. Did we get all the art? Dude, I was not going to sit there and also farm up. Bro, we were literally not... You want the stream to be 14 hours long? It's already 10 hours long. There's no way I had the fucking... Nah, no, we're just going to... Look at pictures online. It's basically the same thing, right? I just realized that Kel's giving bunny ears. Or not, not bunny ears, but uh, the peace sign in the back there. Do I maybe sense a little crush? You feel your ears turning red. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Was it actually fated to be? Don't worry, I won't say anything. My lips are sealed. Damn it, here I thought that Kel and Aubrey were gonna end up being in love. Are you going on ahead, Hyrule? Don't worry about us. We'll catch up in a minute. Could I go on ahead? What's back here? My house. I thought Aubrey's hair was purple. I thought it was pink. Color blindness back at it again. No, I think it is. I think it's pink. It's implied in Headspace at least that Aubrey had a crush on Sunny back in the day. Oh yeah, it's definitely implied in, in Headspace because yeah, Aubrey was uh yeah for sure. Like a lot of the dialogue hinted that she liked Omori. You remember the sound of falling rain as it hit your umbrella. It sounded more calming knowing that you were standing next to your best friends. Damn it, chat. Am I gonna cry? Fuck, man. 
I, I can feel it. I can feel the the pre-sadness hitting me right now. Especially, especially picturing what's about to happen. You know damn well I'm gonna play that violin. And I'm a sucker for sad music, bro. I'm such a fucking sucker for sad music. Are you sure you don't want to be in this photo, Hyrule? Hyrule is a bit camera shy. We all have those days, don't we? It's okay, Hyrule. You'll get used to it soon enough. Wow, this cake looks so amazing. You really outdone yourself this time, Hero. Yay, thanks, Hero. I love strawberries. That's why so many people think it's true. The reason Headspace crew have purple hair is because Mari wanted purple hair, but that never happened. Ah. You're right, everyone did have purple hair in Headspace, except for Mori, of course, who was monochrome. Basil, Basil, what wish are you gonna make? Hey, you can't ask that, Aubrey, or else it won't come true. Huh? Is that how it works? Then in that case, I wish that Kel would get straight A's in school. Hey, you can't do that. Smart. Huh, a wish? Ah, but what should I wish for? I have everything I could want right here. Oh, I know. I think I'll wish for... Just kidding. It's a secret. Oh, I want to know, though. Guys, if we don't hurry, the candles are going to melt. Are we all ready to sing? Yeah, you bet. Did you want to start us off, Mari? Sure thing. Ahem. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three, four. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Blow out your casel ba ca candles, Basil. I took that picture. You remembered Basil's smile as he was about to blow out his birthday candles. But you also remembered, as Basil made his wish, you made one too. At that time, you wished for everyone to be happy. Yikes, dude. Why did it have to go so horribly wrong? It's crazy how just one moment, one decision that you don't even think about, one second in time can inevitably just completely derail your whole life. Everything would have been fine if that one moment didn't happen. If anything played out differently in that moment. If like, if we weren't at the top of the stairs, you know? If I hadn't decided not to play in the recital, if I didn't throw my violin down, Wow, a new basketball? Thanks, bro. No problem, Kel. You can thank me by doing a little better in school. Uh-huh, you bet. Okay, Hyrule, it's time for you to open up your present. This year, we get just one present from all of us. It's probably It probably doesn't look like much, but we all have to save up for it together. Yeah, me and Basil even started selling cookies and lemonade in the summer. And Mari and I took a job at the bakery for a while, if you remember. And me? I had to deliver newspapers every morning for like three months. And you know how much I hate mornings. We know this might be a lot of pressure, but it's been a while since you quit playing the violin. Mari told us about how you always sit in the room with her when she's practicing the piano. And there was even that one time I caught you trying to play your old mini violin, even though it was too small for you. Anyway, this was Basil's idea, but we all decided to pitch in for a really nice one. So, yeah. We hope you like it, Harold. This is from all of us to you. Wait, it was a violin they gave me? I thought they gave me a uh, building block set. Ta-da! It's your very own violin. We hope you like it, Hyrule. Go on and try it out. You felt a tingling in your fingers as if, on its own, your body readied the violin to play. Different birthday? Oh, okay. Birthday, and then that's Christmas. I see. You remembered the anxious feeling in your heart as you played the first note on your new violin. That it scared you, but you didn't mind because they believed in you. And no matter what, you didn't want to disappoint them because they were your friends.
Not the existentialism overthinking time. <laughs> the violin regained its shape. You remembered the smell of freshly baked cookies. Okay, these are all, all, my, mem all my memories, I guess. finally here after this point it's going to be up to you you know before we met I had a lot of trouble fitting in even after we all became friends I always assumed you were going to leave me eventually but when the others were busy doing things you always seemed to have time for me you would listen to me talk for hours and hours I could always rely on you to do that I know we've missed out on each other for the past few years but it doesn't have to stay that way. People always tell me that I'm dense or that I'm kind of careless. But I'll always be here for you if you're okay with that. Hyrule, we know that you're not someone who likes to take the lead. This has been really hard for you. But you have to put a, a, put a little bit of trust in us too. Just because you're, you've done something bad doesn't make you bad. You've had to live with this pain for so long. And you've been keeping it all inside. It might be easier to ignore your problems, but it's okay to cry about them, too. There's more good times to come. Life gets better, and you can be the one to make that happen. Whatever happens next is going to be your call. But we're here for you because you want us to be. And we really hope that this isn't goodbye. No matter how far you push your feelings down, they'll always come back somehow. And what you do with those feelings, that will be your truth. Hey, Hyrule, break a leg for me, all right? Naturally, I'll go straight for the kneecaps. Whatever you end up choosing, we'll always want what's best for you. Keep us in your thoughts. We'll be cheering you on. You can do this, Hyrule. I promise to stick with you until the very end. Yeah, I think we'll always be best friends. That's okay with you too, right? Uh, save over file four? I don't think... Well, there's two decisions we can make from this on, this point on, I'm pretty sure. New file? I think... I don't think from the last time we saved that anything different happened. I'm pretty sure we can just save over. Yeah, no need for a new file here. Army Tell wants there to be an ad time. That's evil, dude. <laughs> We're gonna have to veto that ad time, dude. That's fucking evil. We're literally about to make the most important decision. We believe in you, Hyrule. How do I make the decision? I have to play the song, don't I? Empty music stand. Do you want to place down your sheet music? Yes. You place the sheet music onto the music stand. Stage is ready for you. Do you want to play the violin? Do it. That's okay. <laughs> Just because, like, we're literally, we're about to, you know, this is it. We've we've been streaming for nine and a half hours for this moment. I'd feel bad if anybody missed it because they're looking at an ad. And before I have to play a Guitar Hero mini game to beat it to beat it. Play it, Omori.
all the different times I used that steak knife to stab other children. And now I'm the child getting stabbed. Oh, the painful irony. The painful irony. Set up testosterone and accept your emotions like the game is telling you to do all along. <laughs> ah, dude. The music is the music is getting to me, especially. It seems like we won. Quit stabbing me in the heart, Omori. I know this is all that you've known your entire life. From the moment of your conception, you've been born a stab. But maybe it's time to put the steak knife down. Maybe our days of stabbing children are over. I beat depression. <laughs> Kill the depression. Kill him. <laughs> Stab himself in the heart to cut uh, out the emotions while you fight them. Uh, I think I survive another attack, right? Omori did not succumb. No, he hit me with the do not succumb. Yo, he hit me with the do not succumb. Oh, he was always so good at not succumbing. He was always the GOAT not succumbing when it mattered the most. And now he's using it against me. Is he angry now? Or is he just bloody? Amori erases the enemy. Yikes. Shit! Yo, Mori's strong. All I can do is... All I can do is calm down. What's the difference between cherish and cherish and calm down? Remove the motion and heal some heart. Heal your wounds and come back stronger. Okay, let's cherish. You remembered Kel's words. Friends. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. so much suffering yet you do nothing and so you earn nothing in return don't listen to that don't listen to that omori rather sunny your friends will never forgive you they'll abandon you like you did them and that's what you deserve 
Omori did not succumb. Oh shit. Oh shit. So this is... Remember in the dark space when Mori sat down on the throne? I guess this is the rendition of him I'm fighting. I'm afraid you can't physically beat depression? Watch me, bro. Watch me. You remembered Aubrey's wish. I hope you can find some peace. Or, you know, some happiness. You tell yourself that you don't want to burden others, but the truth is that you're selfish. You just don't want people to depend on you. When do you think about others? How long are you going to let people take care of you? You say you care, but you're a liar. You've never done anything for anyone else. You're useless. Less than useless. You're sick. Uh, hmm, things are not looking good for me. Am I gonna die? People like you don't deserve to live. People like you don't deserve to live. Come. Hurry up and succumb, Amori. Christ. Fair enough, I guess we flex instead. <laughs> Use what Pluto taught us and win this for our friends. When I flex, I feel my best. When I flex, I feel my best. Remembered Hero's promise. Last time. We made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. Your friends are wrong about you. The person they love isn't you at all. You let them believe in a lie to protect yourself. but a liar and when they see the truth they'll hate you as much as you hate yourself stop erasing me for the love of god all you do is make things worse it'll be better if you just die attack Mori's negative talks hits hard. Tell me about it. Damn, I I can't. I gotta wait until give, he gives me an opportunity. He needs to stab me in order for me to attack again. Yo, stop erasing me. There's no way. I will not be dying. Not today.
Fuck. He's winning this fight. There's still more dialogue? Where? I can't do anything. He kills me if I do anything but calm down. But all I can do is calm down. Unless I allegro him one more time. I think I kill him if I allegro him one more time. But I can't afford it. He's going to kill me. Okay, here we go. Shit. Ah, uh, do I heal up to full? Or do I take this opportunity to maybe kill him? Play this safely. Fuck. Yo, who knows when he's gonna give me another chance though. You're right. I need to I need to heal though. I really don't want to die here. Stab me, stab me, stab me. No, stop erasing me, please. Stab me, come on, you've been doing it all game. Thank you, perfect. That's exactly what we needed. Damn, all my fucking, my damage is really low. Uh-oh. Thank God I go first. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. Maybe he's right. Maybe it's better if I just die. I gotta heal, I gotta heal. I gotta heal, I gotta heal. That was my opportunity though. We just gotta wait, we just gotta, wait him out, wait him out. We'll do this for as long as we need to. You didn't cherish on the first phase? Is that actually what happened? You're right though, I actually didn't cherish on the first phase. I, for some reason, I thought cherish was like a move you used if you died. But that's probably why this is happening, you're right. Bro, stop erasing me. Okay. All right, I cannot. I cannot Allegro. I think this will kill him though. Mori will not succumb. You remembered Basil's hope. Maybe one day, things can go back to the way they were before. You killed Mari. She loved you, and you killed her. Damn. Oh my god, he hit me right where it hurt. Hero loved her and you killed her. I can cherish again. Should I do it? Should I do it or should I wait until I'm in a bad spot? I should probably wait until I'm in a bad spot, right? Again? This self- <laughs> Damn, this self-hatred got hands. <laughs> 
I think you should wait. I almost think I should wait too. I get my MP back when I Cherish anyway, so I'm going to Allegro and then Cherish. Aubrey loved her and you killed her. You remembered Mari's request. You'll forgive yourself, won't you, Hyrule? Kel loved her and you killed her. Basil loved her and you killed her. Damn it, you were you were gonna go down, Amori. We were so close. Mori, you will suck. Omori, you will succumb. You loved her and you killed her. Omori, you will succumb. Either you'll get through this. I have another Cherish. Should I Cherish or finish him off, chat? Kill this sadness. Kill this guilt. Kill this pain. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I think I'll finish him off. God damn it, he keeps making me afraid. loved her and you killed her. What's happening? What's happening? It's not working. How? I can't. We're having a panic attack. We can't calm down. Are we just being unlucky? Should I try and uh, actually just hit him? Oh, I think it's over. Bro, I think he wins. Oh, we should have cherished while we had the chance. There is no flex command. There is no flex command. I'm dead. What the fuck happened? Why was I not able to fucking calm down? They changed the rules on me. Oh, come on, dude. We were literally one hit away, too. Do you want to continue? B. Man, that's a bunch of fucking bullshit. Oh my god, Sonny did not succumb Sunny did not succumb Oh, we're back at the last phase Play Oh, maybe it was a scripted death
No, dude, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Come on. Come on. The sauce won't come in through. Come in clutch. My testosterone will overcome. Testosterone, you're failing me. You're failing me. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. What are you crying, chat? Come on, dude. It's just a game. Holy shit. We made him give up his steak knife. That was Amori's favorite thing in the entire world. That was his favorite thing in the entire world. He loved nothing more than that steak knife. So many children stabbed. So many lives ended. <laughs> I think it's losing it's a calm down mechanic. So that was the script of death, right? I couldn't actually kill him there? Is there a way to actually beat him? Beat him? I mean, probably not. Take a bow, Sonny. Take a bow. Low key, yeah. Yeah, okay. It it almost works better as a death because you go through the death and then yeah, you, you choose to try again and then you go through that whole scene of like him getting up. Bro, he did take my eyeball. God damn, Basil. Well, at least I get to wear an eye patch from now on. That's kind of dope. As far as I know, yeah. Okay. You could have won one more time. I see. Yeah, the death is necessary.
Yo, sup. Don't get your hopes up. I'm here for revenge. I need his right eyeball now. He took my left. I'm taking his right. It's only fair. <laughs> 